All right, all right, everybody, and welcome to Legally Distinct Samurai Jackie. Obviously, Samurai Jackie has uh, blue hair, and uh, Kenshi faces are very ugly. So Samurai Jackie is very different. What are we going to be doing as Samurai Jackie? I'm going to be using my overly gigamodded run, which I need to double check. Yes, it looks like everything's good. Okay, we're going to be using our overly modded mod, and the purpose of this run, the end goal of this run, is to eventually get to the point where we defeat the United Empire, who are uh, slave capitalists. This is uh, a bit of an overmodded run at this point. Okay, our character starts out with a, a zero in everything. We are abysmally terrible. We are using the UWE expansion, which, uh... I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure all that expansion really does is nerf the ever-living crap out of any ability to make even the smallest amounts of money. Plus, it changes the door, which kind of annoys me. Where is the bar in UWE expansion? Is there no bar? There's a clothing store. That's a headquarters. It changes the starting city. It changes the starting city into an Holy Nation outlaw city instead of a ninja trader city. The bar is all the way in the back? Okay. We're gonna go check the bar really quick. I just wanna see. Oh, we run fast. Probably because we're not carrying anything. Watch your step, visitor. Samurai Jackie probably needs companions, but... Oh, the armor looks cool. Oh, the armor looks cool. Plateau, a drifter. I'm wondering how many named characters are actually going to work in UWE. Versus how many are just going to break. I feel like a lot of them are going to break. Rank shaft of the shinobi thieves. This is where the shinobi thieves are. Okay. Well, we don't get anything. And we're running out of food. What, 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 what do you want? Your service is always welcome here, Vagabond. I didn't even do anything. It is insulting, but I didn't even do anything. <laughs> okay, with the mod set up in the way I have it, the only real way to make any noticeable amount of money is to get bounties. I mean, there's other ways to do it, but basically with weapon and armor selling nerfed into the ground in this mod, really the only way to do it is to get bounties. Oh, we also need, we're gonna get a pet, because I've never done pets. There has to be like a good pet system, right? So what we need to do, what are you guys, slave traders? Okay. Holy Nation Outlaws should hate slave traders, right? Okay, no, this should work. This should work. Hold on, do any of you guys have bounties? You have to, you have to click on everyone to see if they have bounties. They don't have any bounties. Okay, so you have a bounty, but that should be for the Holy Nation. Yeah, the bounties from UWE and also from the mods I'm using are actually bizarrely intelligent and seem to know who to give the bounty to. It's really weird. But there's no bounty on the slave traders. Now, shouldn't slave traders... Slave traders... should... be... hostile... Oh my god! I just realized. I didn't name myself Jackie. The entire run is doomed. Okay, we gotta start over. I guess I gotta just get my name Wanderer, but that's just not, that's just not funny. So using the UWE, that's a kind of an overhaul mod. Okay, we're gonna do Wanderer, easy prospecting, although I never even 
set up bases. Do whatever you want, Mr. McCringy. Okay, you know what's funny is I set up my character. I set up my character before I started the run because I thought, ah, this time I won't spend time in character creator. I I forgot to change the name. It's always something, isn't it, Chad? It's always something. You always you always do stuff and you always forget one small detail, don't you? Okay, we're gonna have legally distinct samurai Jackie. Um, let's see. You gotta be a little bit tall. Your frame doesn't need to be that wide. Uh, skin tone, not like that much deeper. Uh, actually, that's fine. Idle stands. Do a little pose. Hair. Let's see, the beard. I don't know. We, we want like a little bit. Well, hold on here. We need to. We need to make it blue, legally distinct blue. There we go. Like we want like a little bit of facial hair, but not that much. But this game always goes a little bit overboard. Why do I have like a pointy point? Why would I need a point? Who would make a character like that? Eh, that's fine. Your boy some male shoulders. He is a one 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 one. As of now, I assure you, he is a nerd. There we go. The Jack Topknot. Not named for any reason. Obviously named for Samurai Jackie. And now Jackie... I don't know how to do faces in this game. I mean, we need to make the eyes bigger because he's like... Jack and Jack has big anime eyes. I don't know how to do eye color. Chet! Chet! I assure you. I assure you. He is a 1111 character. He is a very weak character, Chad. I assure you. He's just not a he's not a strong dude. Okay, he's not a strong dude. Once he gets some meat on them bones, but he's Samurai Jackie, okay? He just he's not a very muscular dude. Okay, he's just not. He's just not a muscular dude. Okay. To start this game off again, this time and for the first time, obviously we never had any of the previous times. Dude, he has a literal one in strength, one in swimming, one in dexterity. He's not a strong dude. So, for mods, I'm kind of using a, a mod cocktail. I found that works best in a funny way. You basically just use a complete cocktail of mods. And, uh, let's see, I'm using 1.5x XP. I found... Regular XP needs you need to grind. Two times XP means your characters get a little bit too strong. I'm using 1.5x XP, so I don't need to ever grind. And then I'm comboing that. I'm comboing 1.5x XP with a uh, another mod that gives you more strength from combat. Are you fighting me? What are you doing? Why are you running? Why is he running? Do Black Dragon Ninjas get attacked by the guards? I need to take a save, because I don't know how this mod works. Because once again, I'm using a cocktail of a very bunch of different mods that have... Well, let's be honest, a 50-50 chance of breaking the game. Okay, so let's see here. If we attack these herbivores, will the guards assist me? Hey, Blowin, what brings you to the outskirts of civilization? Your cooperation is appreciated. Why don't you tell me? The outlaws, who you are and what you're about. Um... I'm just a wanderer on a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage, you say? What is it here for? Supplies? Food? Hmm. Doesn't seem like you have too many supplies at all. You're just a liar and deceiver. Aren't you drifter, nasty, petty chitter? Okay. That was a terrible line of dialogue, mod maker. Okay, we're gonna go get these goats killed. That's our first hit. See? <laughs> What's the goal today? As I said, we are Samurai Jackie and we're gonna destroy the United City. It's gonna be a while. Also, a goat just headbutted us for over half our head health. 
Okay, this is actually... We, uh... We got all the goats slaughtered. This, this is genius. I'm super smart. Bone mutt. Woof. Uh, I'll give you meat. And then I just get a bone mud? Chad, who wants to be named after the dog? Everything's coming up me. Ooh, boy, wait, he only has 85 HP. Oh, oh, we'll name it New Fire. There you go, new fire. Okay, so we got all the goats killed, and now we have lots of meat. Chat, look at that. I told you we are going to do a dog run, and now we got a dog. Look at that. We got a dog. It's just a pup now, but it'll grow. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the bar. Uh, probably get a bandage. Seeing as how we got headbutt by a goat. How do I get a dog? One of these mods, I just went up and talked to a dog at an accident, and it, it, it gave me a dog. So I got a dog now. Jed, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous just because I have a dog and you don't. This guy has no medical supplies. Huh. Oh, wait. Let's just buy one. Oh, I should have named it Dogfire. Damn it. Okay, the animals level up, right? Like, don't they actually have stats and shit? And then, like, the more levels you get them, the bigger they get. Okay, so we're going to go use this bed. This isn't mine. We're not going to go use this bed. How much can I sell this meat for? Not a lot. If I go cook it, is it worth more? I kind of thought this dog was going to be better. Why, why am I getting, like, the third degree from these assholes? Where are you guys? Holy no, she not loves. Oh, no! The dog is 100% gonna die. No, it just occurred to me. There's, like, no way to keep the dog alive early game. Because the second you get hit by a starving bandit, they're gonna kill the dog. No fire, your run as a dog is going to be very short-lived. The second a single bandit knocks me out, even once, they're going to slaughter and eat you. Okay, so what do we have here? A starving bandit. With a razor cleaver. Now the razor cleaver is a top tier weapon, but this razor cleaver is absolute garbage. Also, this hat sucks. I'm taking it off. It covers my everything. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think... Oh, a teardrop greatsword is good, but it's way too heavy for me right now. But I'm gonna still keep it. Let's see, another teardrop greatsword. Wait, can dogfire carry anything? Wait, can I put a backpack on the dog? I do not have the bone dog aging mod, no. Should I? Is that gonna take ages? How long is ages? Are we talking like... Is that a better stick than my stick? That actually is a better stick than my stick. Did any of these bandits have a bounty maybe? Nah, probably not. Ooh, wait, you have a bounty at the Western Hive in the Sheik Kingdom. Who are you guys? The Inhuman Tracker Lieutenant. I'll be honest, I don't know what faction that is, but I get a good feeling we should not be next to them.
Oh my god. Okay, let me let me look up the 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 bone aging. Cuz I have UWE, so when I need a I'll need a mod and then I need a second mod. Bone dog aging. Oh my god, there's a bone dog backpack. No, I think UWE already does that. No, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not mod it because so many of the mods I do already rebalance a lot of stuff. Now, what are you guys? Holy Nation Outlaws are carrying Holy Nation Outlaws. So they got ambushed at some point. Yeah, I already have, I already have Dogfire. Now they level up, right? Yes, he does level up. How good are Elder Bone Dogs? Because they can't have equipment. So won't they eventually run into issues where they just get torn to pieces by the high-level enemies no matter what you do? Because it looks like this mod doesn't add armor or anything. I can put a backpack on the Bone Dog and that's it. Aren't there some mods where you can like armor up your animals? What's going on here? Oh, that guy was a dust bandit. Did he have a... No, he didn't have a bounty. Dang it. What, what are you guys? Starving bandits. Okay. We're going to use them for a little bit of combat XP. And then sometimes they have bounties. It's all random. With the mod setup I have, it's literally all... I don't think starving bandits. I don't think anyone... We'll put a bounty on them. Let's just attack unprovoked. Okay, now they turn back. Now we sprint it back to town. Run, Bone Dog! Oh shit, they're so fast. Wait, they're so much faster than us. Uh. Okay, here we go. We got the uh, Holy Nation Outlaws to assist. Okay, now we move in. No fire took a hit. This one actually blocked the attack. Oh, come on. Dog fire. They actually do a lot of damage early game. How do you, uh... Armored dire wolf. No, the problem is I have so many mods upon mods upon mods upon mods. There is no way any of these mods would possibly work. Now, actually, it just occurred to me. No. I was thinking if I could, like, maybe get them a bounty. Chad, how do I heal my wolf? Can I, like, put it in a bed? Is there, like, a little wolf bed you can put it in? Wait, can they eat raw meat? Hold on. Campfire. It starts on foul for some reason. Okay, we're going to set up some campfires here. Did you put everything in? Okay, we're cooking the meat now. Now, does cooked meat sell for more? Yes. Well, I know it is passive regen, but is the way to heal it faster? Or, like, is the dog just going to constantly have to kind of be, like, left behind? You know what I mean?
Okay, we cook all the meat. Now we could sell some of this meat for food. We got these from the goats. It does seem that killing wild animals is profitable as well. There's a fight over there. Okay. As a uh, proud warrior who definitely doesn't just pick battlefields clean. Wait, hungry scavenger wanted by the Holy Nation Outlaws. What's he wanted for? Assault? Yeah. That's the thing. Some of these dudes... Some of these dudes will get bounties. Because they, like, they attack the guards and then they get a bounty. Dude, I don't know. One of these mods, I just... I found, like, a dog and I was like, hi. And the dog was like, food. So I gave it food and then, uh... And I got a dog. Okay, you have a scavenger's backpack full of shit. Scavengers can... Leather shirt! A blue leather shirt. You! You are going right into the police station. That's 500 gold in my pocket. Where is the police station? I know in this... In vanilla, there isn't one. That should be it. If I had to wager, that should be it. And this will giga train our strength as well. Dogfire, make sure to go inside. I don't want him to get eaten. Chad, it's going to be really sad when he gets eaten. He will 100% get eaten, but it's going to be sad. Well, there are cages here, so this is definitely the place. But sometimes if you don't talk to the people that you're supposed to talk to, and you just put your bounty in the cage, sometimes it bugs out. The horrifying leader of the Fogmen? Why, um... Why, why... Why would there be a quest in this mod? To immediately attack the fogmen. Are, are they just memeing me? Are they just trying to get me get killed instantly? Just as a joke? Okay. Um, let's see if I put this in. Yeah, see. Okay, we did get the bounty. Sometimes it just bugs out and if you put them in the cage, you don't actually get the bounty. That guy's got a bounty too. So I'm like always paranoid, especially like when you have the bounties for like 20, 30, 40,000 gold and you put it in the cage and you don't get the bounty and you're like, aww. We're just gonna, this is the early game. In the early game, we just got to, uh... You gotta work as hard as you can for all the little bounties you can. Okay, all these people just have bounties for a little bit of gold. Oh, shoot, they took him. I wanted him. Is that it? Okay, but I mean, we have... Okay, we have... We have money. We have money. We have... A weapon that I, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of don't want to use. Is there... Oh, it's too early in the day. No one's gonna be up. What we need to do, we need, what we need to do, what we need to do... We need to get a weapon that's, like, not 10 kilograms. I don't know. There's a way in this game kilograms or pounds. Does anybody know? Highlanders bounty with the anti-slavers. Wait, are the Highlanders slavers? Oh, we got a goat pack. What is happening here? 
Who's fighting? Looks like the Holy Nation outlaws are being destroyed by the Holy Nation. Yeah, that does make sense. It tracks. Um, I'm gonna give my money to the Holy Nation on this one. I've just never seen the Holy Nation do it this early. One of my mods must be making them attack early. And what's happening out here? Looks like Hini Ganeka Hantas are killing wolves. Well, wait, that's actually super beneficial to us. I don't think these guys attack me. Oh, right, I have this whole backpack of stuff I picked up to sell. Dude, loot that. What's that? Dust Wolf Alpha Pelt. You get that? Why is the dog, like, doing, like, a little... Do you guys see that? Is that just me? Okay, uh, where did I put the, the, the campfire? We gotta go to the campfire. We cook the meat, then we can sell some of this meat. I put it up. There we are. I mean, we're getting good strength training in, just lugging around all this weight. What even it was in this backpack? We had whiskey, ale, grog, stew, lots of stuff, actually. We put all the meat in here already. Oh, those dogs did not have a lot of meat on them, eh? Oh, I mean, 22 pounds might not be a lot to have, like, like, think about 22 pounds, not, like, over your body. Think about it as a sword, you know what I mean? I know what you're about to say, I lift 30 pounds. Yeah, you lift 30 pound weights, 40 pound weights doing this, right? You don't lift, um, like, like, swinging and then, oh, you know, like, you yeah, actually fall forward because you don't have full control over it. Like, that's what it's trying to simulate in-game. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but, like, this mod collection, I could put it up. It is a janky mod collection. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not even sure it all works together. Um... Medical supplies. All right, you can make first aid kits out of those, but not for now. I mean, I could do it, but, uh, brown veggie, no one cares, no one cares, sell that, sell that. Baked brown veggie, well, that's just more food. Well, this is all food, we should probably keep the food at least for now. We're on Samurai Jackie, we will defeat the evil United City and take back the future where its evil is raw. Yeah, I, I don't think if you guys noticed, but like, think about, think about like, if you have a weight, like, here, here, I, I literally have one. Like, here's a 20 pound rate, right? Can I do this? Yes, no problem. Can I do that? Yes, no problem. Can I, like, swing it forward? Because, like, that's the thing. You're, like, swinging it forward. Yes, you're going to lose balance. Like, a 20-pound weapon that you're holding around is going to be a bit unwieldy for your average person. Because, again, you're, you're throwing it forward and then stopping yourself. Um... Beating Dust King comes down to, you need a lot of, uh... You, you kind of have to just pull them, like it's World of Warcraft. I don't know a better way to put it. So what am I doing? Okay, we got money. Chat, say the name of the first companion. Unless, I guess, once again, someone wants to donate for the name of a companion. 
It's gonna be the first companion, so it'll be a real companion. Obviously, once again, I'll just give it to someone who gives me money. Vagrants. I don't like the look in your eyes. I was admiring your sword. I meant it as a compliment. I just want to be friends. No. Billy Boy? Grigor? Oh, man. Is there anyone in here who isn't a jackass? I don't know how this mod works. Can I, can I, what, what, okay, what a, that's a nomad. What do you do, Mr. Nomad? Oh, I have animals. I can get another bone dog. Oh my God, bone dogs are cheap. A pack bull, a wild bull, a dust hound. Oh, a dust town must be a better version of a bone dog. As a moderator, you can give your dog a scarf. That'd work. United Cities, you have a bounty, but you're not... Man, I don't like any of you people. Dr. Masako. Oh, I see. You, you're... Wait, is there no one to hire in here? How do you get companions in this mod? Because these are vagrants, too. Yeah, because these are hireables. Okay, come on. Where, where, where do you go to hire people? Old soldier. Old soldier. That that you just hire people. I'm pretty sure that's that's a hireable again. Yeah, where, what the hell? These, there's like seven hireable bodyguards in here. And no one... Wait, there's literally no one to hire. Hmm. I think he is the only one to hire, but I want to do a shack. Where's the goddamn humans? How much do you want? 3,000 cats. Ugh. I don't want a shack. I don't suppose any of you guys are hireable. No, of course not. Okay, well that bar was a bust. I'm gonna do that thing that's kind of pointless. And I'm gonna go down here to this inn. Which is still dying. Which isn't great. And we're gonna go check what's in there. What are my stats at? The strength is going good. How's Doggo's stats at? Doggo's stats are pretty bad still. We don't really have enough fighting. Okay, the Holy Nation Outlaws are just getting their shit canned. I'm gonna be honest, downloading this many armor mods for the Holy Nation probably didn't help the situation. I was kind of hoping the Holy Nation would lose. Because then I could take their shit. But they're very clearly winning. Evidently, in a, in a world where everyone just swings slabs of metal at each other, having full plate is, uh... A bit of an advantage. Okay, I think I think they're losing eventually. Okay. Okay. Where's Dogfire going? What is he doing? Did he just take someone's arm? He's running away with someone's arm. He just ate it. Okay, we don't want to steal from Holy Nation outlaws. Okay, the Holy Flame of Souls for 1300, so that's actually worth good money. They also have good healing. 
They have a high grade chain shirt as well. Yeah, the, the resale value on items in this mod is uh quite poor. But that sword quite good. Now what are you? Holy flamberge and a holy mace. Oh, you actually do sell for a lot. You do too. I take the medical supplies as well. Just gonna pilfer some bodies out here. Are any of these people, uh, did any of them have a bounty? Ooh. They got a bounty for 7,000. See, another holy flame sells for 500. That's not a bad deal. Let's see, we could just drop some of this shit, pick this up. Um, I don't want to use the holy armor, because last time I did it was funny, but then also just killed me repeatedly. Because everyone was like, Each holy nation. I'm like, well, I'm really not. And they were like, get them, boys. I am picking up this chain shirt, though. It's faction uniform from holy nation, but we shouldn't have a disguise. As a modder, you can give your dog a scarf. That could be good. Flat topper. Oh my god, that sells for... What is this? It's a nine pound giga katana. I'll take that over mine. Yeah, that's my katana now. And then giga medical supplies. Oh man, okay, let's drop some of these shittier medical supplies. Do we really not have any room? No, you can go fit in there. There, now we have that. Now what are you, a holy mace? You sell for- okay, I mean that could work too. And then another set of chain mail. Oh man, I am a battlefield pilferer. Is there anything else I can drop that's just kind of shitty? I never use splint kits, we don't- we don't need that. No, no one needs splint kits. Like, if, you, if your injuries get bad, you know the old saying. If it gets so bad that you are mad, then you should just probably die. Okay, I really want this chain shirt, though. All bone dogs eat human meat. It's like their thing. Are any of these useless? No, all of these are actually good, Is about No, oh, the cooked vegetables aren't good. Okay, we're gonna take that chain vest. And then... We're, we're pilfering. Is that another chain shirt? Ooh, that one's not great. A holy flying bird. Something for 1900! Dear God! Okay, I just gotta... I, I think at this point... Okay, well, let's see here. This holy kopesh. Okay, well, that sells for a lot. Uh, sells for. Okay, we're just gonna drop that. I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna take those medical supplies. Can I stack these? No, you can't stack the advanced ones. Okay, that should be good for now. And then we should be able to afford companions. Oh, that's right, because we have the bounty, too. Yeah, we are well on our way. We're on our way. And look at that strength training. The scarf mod? Oh, let me look at this. A dog scarf. UWE dog scarf. Okay, fine. We will get the dog scarf mod. Did he get another? No, he got a leg this time. He's going off to go eat the leg. Okay, you know what? It makes him happy. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let him play with the leg. 
He's still playing with the leg. Okay, he finally ate the leg. Okay, now I need to take a save here real quick, because once again, this bounty's worth 7,000, and I'm like always paranoid that like when you put the bounties in, I'm not going to get the money. We got the money! Oh, we have 13,000! We're off to such a good start. That is true, we don't really need to feed the dog. Okay, we should probably get some armor and companions. But the problem is, we don't have any good companions. And everyone here is a piece of shit. The only person I can get is a Shek. Chat, am I allowed to get a dog? Into the Holy Nation? Or are they gonna, like, murder the fuck out of me? These weapons are all way too heavy to use, except for the Holy Flamberge, maybe. This one's actually legitimately good. I mean, I'm gonna use a flat topper because it's a katana, but this Holy Flamberge... These are all way too heavy. No character will be able to use them in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, we're gonna keep two sets of chain mail. Oh, no, wait, that's chain mail, but that's just a chain shirt. Wait, the chain shirt is significantly better. Oh, no, no, it's not. The chain shirt doesn't cover your arms. So we need the chain mail. His left arm, stomach, and chest coverage. Okay. We have enough food for the next millennia. So we got a, uh, Holy Flamberge. We can give that to a new crew member. It's not counting me as a disguise, so long as I only wear the chainmail. We don't get screwed over by trying to pretend to be in a disguise. <sighs> okay, let's head up north and try to get some human companions. As funny as it is to have Shek and stuff, it's like, uh, not as immersive, you know? I mean, as long as we get the dog early, it should be fine, right? Are there any other animals that are good? What are you guys? Dust bandits. I knew it. Stay away from them. Take revenge on the holy nation for Joe. Chat, we will kill everyone. It just right now we have uh, three melee attack and two defense. So we kind of need a uh, strength in numbers type situation going on. Wait, he has a dodge? I don't think dogs dodge, do they? Why does he have a dodge skill? Okay, we're now in firm Holy Nation territory. Oh, I don't have a Bible on me. I should be fine. I just need to find the inn. There's the inn. Oh, they have two inns. Now we could get a lot of companions. I mean, I got 18,000. Okay, please one of the regular humans be recruitable. There we go. Oh, two of them maybe. Okay, chat, we got him. He's a dwarf. 
Chad, which, which, which one do you want to be the dwarf? Grigor? And we have Grigor. I'm, I'm gonna make him a little bit taller, because it's gonna annoy the crap out of me that he's actually that short. Deep's not even watching. Oh, I do kind of want to call him Deep, though, because it'd be really funny when he joins the stream and he'll be like, Yo, what? No, this is, like, comically short. I assure you, this is, like, comically short. I can still make him short without it, like, literally blowing your immersion because he's half the size of other people. Like, he'll be short, but he won't be that short. Yeah. What well, we know of Grigor? Wow. And what about you? Chat, we now need another character. We need a name. I was in chat with a name. Did anyone donate? No one donated today. Make him tallest? No, that I'm tallest. I get to be tallest. Dave? You're just coming up with names. This, you got a name. Chat, give me a name. You'll donate? Well, then donate. What do you, what do you want to be known then, McCringy? Oh, William BF. Piss flap? That's not even a name. McCringy, you got to give me a name to work with here. Grimgor? Chat, we're gonna remove this stupid weapon. It's too heavy for him. He won't be able to do anything with it. Augustine? Razor? Chat, why would we call him Razor? Bozo? Change his posture? His posture is fine. I think it's his idle stance we need to swap. Bartholomew. Thank, thank you, McGringy. Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Okay, I typed it correctly. There, we got new fire. We got we okay, so we got dog fire. We got Grigor. We got Bartholomew. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, we're gonna have a merry band. Chad, anyone else want a character? What about you, people who are actually members of the channel? Staring barbarian, horse archer. You guys gotta fight. Fight. For your right. To have a named character. Heart Archer says he can't fight. Stern Barbarian, what about you? You people who are actually members of the channel. Or people that donate, either's fine. I'm not calling your character Piss Flap. That's a stupid name. You destroy my immersion. You gotta give me a name I can work with here. Piss Flap or Riot? You want your character to be named Piss Flap. Yeshua? Okay, there. You will be Yeshua. There! Now we got, we got, a, we got a, like a party now. We got like a merry band. And we got food. You know, honestly, let's go to the other bar. We might be able to get like a full ass party here off our early game. Shinobi fans. 
Another dude. Six thousand. Hey, fuck that dude. You ain't worth six thousand. The other people were going for three thousand. Okay, this bar sucks. Let's go back to the other bar. Maybe they got more people there. Let's see here. Dinah? Oh, hold on. If they say they're from Holy Nation... Oh, okay. So they can get hired. Okay, now we got, uh... We need a female. We got Jamar. I think the only... Woman who watches me is Millie. I don't think anyone else likes the, uh... The Kenshi. Chad, I'm gonna put it to a poll. I'm gonna let you guys poll it. Name. Because none of none of the other people. Who who wanted a name? Chad, give me names. G give me give me people who want names. Hello, Millie. Alright, we got Jamar. No, then he's clearly male! Harolfer? Okay, sure. Sarg, Narg. We have one more. Six fingered man. I better go get water, chat. When I get back, those are your choices. Go vote now. Chat, there's a there was a female hire right over there. We'll get up to like seven people. We'll be a we'll be a band. Kitty, you didn't eat your food again. Kitty never goes to the top of the cat pole. Now she's on top of the cat pole, and she's doing like a cute little kitty stare at me. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, really six fingered man. <laughs> That's who you guys got. I, I feel like I feel like Millie is always gonna get named because no, <laughs> we don't have any other female viewers. But six fingered man. And then we got one more. We got room for one more. Where was she? There we go. Please don't be so huh? Millie. Dude, okay, I can't tell if it's a mod or if it's just base Kenshi makes boobs look this bad. Is this is this a mod or is this like Is that base Kenshi? Have I just never noticed how bad boobs look in base Kenshi? Okay, we got this many people now. Now, chat, it's off to fight the dust bandits. With no equipment, no training, and a dream. Well, hold on here. We did, uh... Let's see. Horse lopper, horse chopper, 
plank, horse lopper, horse lopper, ninja blade. These are just, oh god, these are way too heavy weapons. You know what, Millie's gonna get favoritismed. You can have the holy flamberge and a chain shirt. And then we'll give the other one to the six-fingered man. Oh, she already had a leather shirt. Hold on, I'm... I'm shouldn't have shown that shirt. Yeshua, put a shirt on. Okay, so the other pair that were out shirts are Bartholomew and Grigor. I mean, honestly, we don't even look too bad. I mean, we don't look good. By any stretch of the imagination. But like, in the grand, grand scheme of thing, you know. Wait, is that a better horse lopper? Yeah, wait, that's literally... Millie just had a better horse lopper than Bartholomew. Now, you have a plank. I'm gonna be blunt. Give the katana to... Yeshua, and Yeshua just dropped the plank. There's no way he's gonna swing a 10-pound weapon. I've tried this a lot, chat, and it, it it's just doomed. Okay, our first challenge. Newfire is down in one hit, and he's dying. Jackie immediately got hit in the head, and is dying. Okay, it's a Dust Hound Alpha. It's doing a hundred damage a hit. Okay. And we all got beat to shit. Is anyone gonna get up? Grigor is dead. Um, none of our characters have enough toughness to stand up, so we're actually squad wiped. Good, good, good fight. Maybe, maybe we keep a, a view on the horizon for giant alpha dogs. How come dogfire can't be like that? Damn it, dogfire. That's not even save scrumming. The run was actually over. None of our characters had the toughness to stand up and they were all going to bleed to death. He was doing a hundred damage a hit. Two more characters were about to die, and no one else was gonna stand up. Oh god damn it! Are you shitting me? See what I mean? They go down in one hit, chat. Okay. So, for those of you guys who ask, doesn't this mod make the game too easy now that you get XP bonus 50%? I assure you, Jet, I assure you, the added enemies are so ludicrously powerful. Does anyone see where that dog comes from? Behind me? I'm just gonna go this direction. What did they beat up? They beat up a bone dog. Perfect. We can feed that bone dog to our bone dog and he'll consume its power.
Bartholomew wants robot legs? Well, if he stays with me, he'll definitely get them at this rate. Okay, come on. Does anyone see the bone dog alpha? It's like stalking me. Who are you? You're a wanderer. He's got a shitty weapon. Are wanderers a faction? Wanderers aren't a faction, right? Aren't they just free game to kill? Right? Anyone know the mechanics? Th that's not like extra faction. Hold on. Uh, squad. Factions. No, wanderers are a faction in this mod. Okay. Yeah, let's not kill random wanderers then, unless they actually have gear worth killing for. Although, if no one sees us kill him, it shouldn't actually do anything. That's fine. We need, to, we need to find a fight. A good starting fight, you know? One that's not against a killer dog that kills the entire party. That, that'd be a good start. Who are you? A starving bandit escaped slave. Finally! A worthy opponent! No, no, no. Hey, hey man. What, what are you doing? The fuck? There we go, we got him. Yeah, a bit of an issue where everyone has, like, really way too heavy weapons. Chat, it's- it's- we're- we're gonna take down the United Empire, but first we need to, uh, kill this random slave to train attack and defense past, uh, quite literally one. See? I don't know why the starving ex-slave is putting up a good fight, but he is. Okay, I mean, there we go. Another heroic victory. Okay, we should distribute medical supplies. Is Jackie gonna go to... He's gonna go try to put the... F yeah, he's gonna go to the fire and he's gonna put the food on it automatically. You have a fancy looking saber? No one can have a fancy looking anything. We're very poor here. Outlaw farmer. He has a bounty with the United Cities. Yeah, Judd. Just to prove it, we will call ourselves good guys see now there can be no objection for we are clearly the good guys man I love the the nighttime music in this game Put all the food in the backpack. Okay, now we need to go find some starving bandits to square off against. Mostly get our ass beat by, but yes, yeah, square off against.
That's weird. Who are you guys? Slave traders. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna mess with the slave traders. Okay, let's just get on the road. Who are you guys? Yeah. Holy Nation Outlaws. I'm kind of annoyed that they make the starting town Holy Nation Outlaws. Because those are like a group that you can beat up early game. Islanders. The old school RuneScape first impression stream. Yeah, I think we're sooner to do a Dark Souls first impression stream. Okay, I'm looking for... Let's see. World population is 50% higher. Squad sizes are 10% bigger. Holy nation. See, that's a problem. Holy nation. Oh, what the hell? Why are there giant spiders in this area? This is supposed to be the safe area of the map. I didn't go that far south. Why are there giant spiders on the way to Squin? Oh, well, we're doomed. It's okay, chat. I'm assuming one or two of these starting people are gonna die. Okay, where are- th okay, you know what we gotta do? We're gonna go west of the hub. Yeah, here we go. As long as we avoid the giant spiders. Why is it always Holy Nation Outlaws out here, man? What's going on out here? Trade ninjas against dust bandits. And then we come in on the back. Dust bandit with a bounty right there. Okay. Well, we got one bounty. No fighting, though. Dang. Was that it? All the dust bandits got their ass beat. Pick him up. Where's the other one of the bounty? You, Grigor. Pick him up. Okay, we got two bounties. Um, shit, it looks like the drifters came through and just shit on the dust bandits. Which is really awkward for me. Because I was kind of going to fight the dust bandits. And, uh, you know, gear up a little bit, maybe. We can take some of their gear at least. We want to remember these armored rag skirts are. They're not good, but they're not bad. Well, shoot. Okay, well, let's just look around then. There's got to be some gear we can uh, yoink onto people. Oh, I had a backpack. Okay, honestly, it's like not a bad haul. We get a lot of these characters at least moderately geared up, you know? Put the boots on. Square goggles. Who wanted to wear goggles? 
That one of you guys wanted to wear goggles. So we got bandanas. Grigor. You got goggles. I think that's it. Well, shoot. We didn't really get anything done here. I guess let's just go turn in the bounty. They're not gonna die, are they? They're dying, but they're not dead. Shoot. Okay, H hold on. There we go. Now they won't die. See, chat, another successful bounty hunt. The uh, the good guys. You know what? We need we need a name. Chat. What what do I need in my group? I need I need a name for this group. What do we call them? The 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 good guys. The job squad. The gooder guys. We're not calling them the piss flaps. The cool people. You guys have terrible names. The Merry Bunch. Shit, all their cages are being used. Do they have cages upstairs? Yes, they do. Well, hold on, let's do a save, because sometimes these, like, don't count. Okay. Put them in. We get the bounty. Put them in. We get the bounty. Okay. We got money now. Okay, let's go to the armor. The ninja octagon. You know what? I'm going to call ourselves the Merry Bunch. Yeah, at least that one had a ring to it. Okay, uh... Who sells stuff here? Hello? Oh, there you are. Show me what you got. Unholy armor with shoulder, shoulder pads colored. Okay, that kind of looks badass. 100% stomach chest coverage. It's not very good though. It's prototype grade. It's absolutely abysmal. I'm trying to avoid just going with plate jackets again because it's kind of boring. It's really boring and it's really effective, which makes it more boring. Because it's just like, it's just, it's just legitimately the best. You know what I mean? Like there's literally no downside. You lose 10% dex, some dodge. And in return, you get 100% coverage on both arms, stomach, chest, and decent damage reduction. So it's, it's just like too effective. It's like the samurai cloth pants. They're just blatantly the best. I don't really mind them so much, though, but it's just like when everyone's running around in plate jackets. They should do the plugins like Charboy that makes member of your chat talk as a party member. Mm. What does coverage do? Coverage is a percent chance that it has to actually work. So if I get hit in the stomach and I have 50% coverage, it rolls the dice and 50% of the time it'll work. So a lot of high-end gear will have like 90% coverage. Like if I look at the uh, samurai armor, right? It's got 85% coverage on left arm, stomach, and right arm. So there's a 15% chance if I get whacked in the stomach that it bypasses the armor and hits me. So generally most people go with samurai armor in the late game and then find other ways to also block their stomach. But the problem is samurai armor gives like negative eight melee attack, attack damage reduction, attack speed reduction, etc., etc. Com Plate jacket is nothing. So, like, the problem is, if you just get plate jackets, they're pretty... It's just, like, they're just too good. I don't know a better way to put it. It's just, like, they're too good, and it, it gets kind of boring. I don't know a better way to put it. 
It's like you, you combo plate jackets and samurai cloth pants, and you just have 100% coverage everywhere with pretty decent damage reduction. Um... There are armor pen weapons, but most AI don't actually use them. That's the best way to put it. Most AI don't actually, like most of the enemy don't actually use the good weapons in this game. Like the only one that's actually decent is, I think the Paladins have like one of the only decent weapons. Okay, none of this armor is good. The Samurai Cloth Pants are good, I'll admit. And the Plate Jacket, but I mean, you can see here, look at the value. The Plate Jacket is 1,100 for a shoddy grade. And it already gives 100% coverage. 7% blood damage resistance, 12% uh, cut resistance. You combo that with some like chain mail you can find or leather shirts you can find. Generally in vanilla, it's harder to find that gear unless you know what you're doing. But then if you know what you're doing, it's really easy to find that shit pretty quickly. In this mod, paladins get nerfed into the ground. It's not only that, it's because paladins also have bizarrely high melee attack and defense for a vanilla enemy. In this mod, they raise the melee attack and defense on basically everything and then lower it on paladins. Which kind of annoys me. Everyone likes Universal Wasteland mod. Or Universal Wasteland Extension mod. But the fact that they nerf paladins so hard kind of annoys me. Because, like, paladins in vanilla are so goddamn strong that it actually is like a major I'm, not, I'm gonna call it a meme of this game i'm gonna call it a major meme of this game because like paladins just destroy you over and over they're just so much harder than any other vanilla enemy yeah paladins have a really good weapon and decent enough armor and because of that, paladins are also, they're just really deadly. And and the thing is, their melee attack and defense gets like 60, 70, which is like some of the highest for like generic enemies in the game. And top of that, have a good weapon. And so like, whenever you see like holy, whenever you see like holy nation fight anyone, they destroy them in the fight. So they try to make it more even. By nerfing the shit out of paladins in this mod but then it's just like i i feel like it's just it's one of those things that like shouldn't really be touched with because it's kind of just like a, an aspect of the game dude i'm trying to find some starving bandits to fight where are they I'll even take dust bandits. Dude, it's all Holy Nation Outlaws. The problem is, this mod... Okay, I'm noticing a real issue here. It's it's overriding all the starving bandits with Holy Nation Outlaw patrols because it makes us a Holy Nation Outlaw city. But now, because of that, I'm like, I can't really find these early game fights here. I can't find any dust bandits. I can't fight Holy Nation Outlaws because it's a Holy Nation Outlaw city. It's like, I'm trying to find these damn fights. Tech Hunters also have decent weapons too. Yeah, but there's, there, you'll, you'll find like one Tech Hunter. I mean, there's a Starving Bandit. There's a Dust Bandit. We're gonna attack him. Get some XP. Okay, everyone's just getting their ass kicked. Okay, no, come on, guys. Just... Dog bit the shit out of him. Use the bandana. Does anyone not have at least armored rag pants? The dog doesn't, but he's a dog. So I don't think it matters. I could unearth them myself. I mean, technically, yes. Dude, where are the packs of enemies?
You got some more Holy Nation Outlaws. Dude, they, it's like, the problem is, the way the game works, it, it spawns a pack of enemies with a chance to be something. And because this is now considered Holy Nation Outlaw territory, it keeps spawning them as their patrols. So, here's what we'll do. We'll just go out into the west. Not quite into there, but like, in this expanse, should be some Dust Bandit camps. And then we'll get our ass kicked. But because we haven't actually lost a fight yet, we haven't gotten our ass kicked. Uh, we're, we're not really training anything. Normally you get your ass kicked. And then after getting your ass kicked, you start getting good. But you have to get your ass kicked like twice about. Like two ass kickings and you'll be good. But if you, don't, if you never get your ass kicked, you never actually train yourself. Now the only problem... I mean, everyone's kind of raising their strength, because we're carrying around way too big weapons. Dude, where are these dust bandits? Normally they're at least in the caverns to the east. Now what are you guys? Okay, there's some dust bandits, but that's, uh... That's a bit too many. Are you guys also dust bandits? No, we go, starving bandits, we did it! That's a lot of them, though. That's, uh... How many do we have? Uh... We aren't really that much stronger than Starving Bandits. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna drop the scavenger's basket. If things go bad, we have to send new fire away or they'll eat dog fire. But dog fire is quite strong early game. Okay, dog fire, run. Okay, but also hit this guy. What are you? You're no faction. He is helping me though. Yeah, see, in the early game, dust dogs have just, like, they have so much... So bone dogs just have such high attack speed, they can like chew through enemies really easy. Yeah. I think we lost. Okay, but hold on. Run, new fire. Oh shit, they're really hungry. How far from the city are we? I didn't think we went this far. Does anyone have the, uh... Yeah, we got some people who will stand up. It's fine. Oh, everyone stood up. Okay, that's good, too. Everyone stood up. Everyone's good. Except Bartholomew. He got his ass kicked a little bit too hard. Our toughness didn't go... I, I was expecting to get like 20 toughness there. Okay, uh... Shoot. Well, I guess let's go back to the hub then. We didn't really get anything out of that fight, unfortunately. Our melee attack and defense are still dog. Our toughness went up a little bit. We didn't get any money. We're basically just strength training by carrying people. At least Dogfire didn't die. Wait, how does Dogfire train his skills? I'm just noticing, how does he get more strength and dexterity?
He already did fighting. Oh boy. Um, okay, we need to go get a bed at the inn. Where are the beds? There we go. It's 150 for bed rental. That's fine. Let's just do three beds then. Kinda need to heal up. I mean, he is getting older. I mean, you can see it. He used to be like half this size, actually. He's getting bigger, Jet. Okay, you're good. Okay, everyone who's healed will put over here. Everyone who's not healed will keep over here. Dang, one of the problems is all our weapons are terrible. How many people do we have? One, two, three, four. We only have six people. I thought we were up to like nine. Uh, that's not great. I thought he was gonna train more in that fight. He was like, he was like beating the shit out of people. Oh no, I left my food pack there! Wait a minute. Jed, does anyone remember where that was? It was like out here. I can't, because I put the food pack down so they didn't steal the food. But now, where was it? No, no, I went over here. Yeah. No, I know where it was. It was, it was over there. It was over there. My sense of direction is good. But now everyone's kind of mad because they have no food. Who are you guys? It's like loading. Holy Nation outlaws who randomly get their ass kicked by something. To beat the starving bandits, you must starve. Feel their pain. These are dust bandits. Okay. We're, we're gonna go try to fight those dust bandits, but we need to pick up our pack first. Because, uh... It literally has all our food. Wait, there's wooden sandals there. Who doesn't have shoes? You, go pick those up. Why are there wooden sandals here? That's random. Was that it? There it is. Okay. There, now everyone can eat. Now we're good. Yeah, we have, we have enough food in here. Okay, so now we're gonna go back here. Who got beaten down? Dust bandits got beaten down. That guy had sandals. Denny's wheel of bounties. Yes, they do. Okay, engage. Beat the shit out of the bandits on the ground. He just gave up and played dead. Okay, that's a bit boring, but okay. I can get armor for you, boots for you. All their weapons are terrible. Oh, it's way too many. Although they do have these slavers against them. Hold on. You have a bounty. Let's go pick you up. No, 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 no. Pick him up. Okay, then you come over, because he's going to die. We only get half bounty for a dead enemy. You go first aid him so he doesn't die. Then who else has bounties around here? Oh my god, you have a 4,000 gold bounty. What the fuck happened? Guys, help! Join the fray! Those bandits are not hostile towards you. Weren't they always? Which one had that Giga Bounty? You did. 
You're the good looking. Come on. There we go. Okay, you go pick him up. Oh my god, wait, that's another 4,000 gold bounty. Bartholomew, you're over here. Okay, Yeshua. Yeshua. We need that bounty too. Oh my god, there's another 500 gold bounty. There's no way they're gonna have enough, uh, cages for all this shit, though. Dogfire's kind of, not dying, but he's kind of bloody. Oh, he went down. Shit. Grigor, uh, fix up dogfire. Oh my god. Come on guys. Okay, we just need to we, we need to beat these last few people so then we can turn in the bounties. Like it's not even that important to beat these people. Like we just we just need to get them to go away. Who's helping us? Who is that? That's a slave trader. Okay, we might be helping slave traders. I can't, it's like hard to tell which ones are the dust bandits and which one are my people because we just stole all the dust bandit gear. We're all just wearing dust bandit gear. Some of us have chain mail. We're gonna have to go to the south to sell these. There's not gonna be enough cages in the main city. Fighting. Oh, it's another dust bandit. Okay, Millie, go pick up new fire. Okay, everyone's got bounties on them. Okay, everyone. Um, hmm. That's not good. He bugged under terrain. No, this is salvageable. No, 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 this is salvageable. Okay, does it heal people that we're carrying? Yeshua went down. Oh, no! That guy's one of the Giga Bounties. No, no, pick him up, pick him up. Who doesn't have someone carrying you? Pick him up, pick him up. Damn it! Okay, this is getting really messy. Okay, I, I know how to get off there, but it's just gonna be... Okay, everyone hold and sprint back here. Okay. What we need to do... We need to put down dog fire. Um, let's see. Six-fingered man, you need to put down your dude. Okay. Then Millie needs to go pick him up. Okay, then we need to drop him. Okay, then you need to go pick him back up. Then Millie, you need to go... Hope that wasn't someone important. 
Where's Dogfire? Okay, now Millie go pick up Dogfire. Okay, now everyone should be good. Oh my god, guys, just... It's not cheating. It's, it's it's how you get people off terrain like that. <sighs> yeah, sure. Get the fuck up, you lazy bitch. Okay, shit. Jackie's arm is gone. Oh my god. Okay, do we at least have the 5,000 gold bounties on us? Yes, we do. But it looks like we're going to lose other bounties because Jackie's arm is fucked. So he can't hold anyone. Okay, well, we could... Grigor, first aid here. Because that's a bounty. We need that bounty. Ish, well, get the fuck up. And go pick up this bounty! Okay, let's get out of here. They keep standing back up and it's just turning into a Giga Death match. Our stats are good though. Look at these stats. Look at this melee attack and defense. See, that's what you gotta do, chat. You gotta get your ass beat a few times. Uh. Okay, that was weird. I don't think they processed the prisoners yet, so it's not gonna be enough cages, I don't think. Well, let's see, we have. Wait a minute. Oh, guys, hold on. Are they healing the dust bandits that we're holding? Did they heal them? Yes, we did. Okay, okay, they healed them finally. Okay, now we go back to the hub with our bounties. <laughs> Dogfire continues to bug out because uh, the game really doesn't like having that model get held. Which is weird, considering that you think that would be pretty normal. Okay, Millie can put down Dogfire now. He's fine. Now we hope they processed enough people. If they didn't, we're gonna have to sprint our way all the way down to the south. But presuming this works... We can start buying some actual gear for our people. Plus, we're getting good strength training again. Lots of fighting going on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Are these Holy Nation outlaws are fighting? Dust Bandit. You don't have a bounty, though. Well, wait. Do any of these people have a bounty on the ground? Cause we got, we got like one more person who can carry people. I don't think they do. Yeah, I told you. We're we're the merry bunch, okay? And we got another bounty. Tencent just bought Pal World. What do you think is gonna get first Game Pass or microtransactions? I don't think... I think a lot of you guys have like... Really... Negative opinions... On game passes, when the vast majority of the time it actually improves the game... No, that's not true, that's impossible! No, because here's the problem. The vast majority of the time, if something is a game pass... It's especially added after the game. Now, I'm not- I'm not defending shit like Diablo 4. I'm not defending shit like New World, where the game launches, and, like, half the good cosmetics are locked behind, uh, a- a paid pass, like, instantly, right? Like, I'm not- I'm not trying to defend that shit, right? But what I am saying, what I am saying, is that, um... Like, for older games, like Fortnite, um, game passes allow those those old games to continue to make content. Because, like, without a game pass, Fortnite would have been done five years ago. 
Like, what, what can they continue to do? You know? Um, and if you don't want to look at it in a Game Pass, like, the reason I'll always defend it is I play games like Europa Universalis and, you know, all the Paradox games and stuff like that. And those games would just die if they didn't have, like, constant DLCs and stuff like that. Like, ah, oh, shoot. The cages are full. Well, there's one cage up here. Let's put one of the big bounties into that cage. No, there's one that's 4,900. You. Okay, now we need to go south, I guess, to Squin. Oh boy, it's because Millie's leg is messed up. Are there no beds out here I can use? That's just mean. That's just a mean development decision. It does seem like the PAL world developers are like a really... I'm gonna call it a motley crew of like, uh... I don't know what you want to put. They seem like a really big, hardworking bunch. I don't want to say it was like scam artists, but like, ah, oh, what's even the way to put it? They're, they're not like scam artists. It's like they're, no, Millie needs her leg healed. No one really got beat up that much. The problem is I can't really have anyone else. I can't really have anyone else heal because they need to carry the bodies. If I stop carrying the bodies, things will go poorly. So then you go heal. The only one else who can heal is Bartholomew. And he's pretty much fine. Hard-working bunch of concept snatchers. My face when people go, leave the multi-billion dollar company alone. How dare you make a game where you have Pokemon adjacent figures in an open world with base building. Everything is copied by something from some stretch of the imagination. Like, no one calls... Like, let me put it this way. You realize fundamentally Pokemon is just a JRPG, right? Fundamentally, Pokemon is an old school JRPG. Do, do you guys understand that? Like, they just took the concept of a JRPG and added cute animals to it. But does anyone ever say, oh my god, I can't believe Pokemon stole from Final Fantasy. No, because that'd be stupid. But anyone takes the idea of like, take a concept, add cute animals to it, right? Anyone looks at that and they say, how dare you copy Pokemon? Uh, what, if, what if an open world game, but cute animals? Everyone's like, oh my god, I'll take seven copies. People will say, oh, but they copied some Pokemon. They copied them and added it. Well, no, no, no. Almost every single case, almost every single case of them, quote, copying, um... Uh, what was I going to say? Almost every single case of them copying a uh, Pokemon is just in the folder, the files, and they didn't actually use it. Now, I know what you can say. Don't you have a bounty? 
Oh shit, he lost his bounty. They both lost their bounty. Damn it. Why'd I come down here? Well, I did sell the one. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Um, Put him down. And put him down. Why are they still unconscious? Get up, asshole. I don't have... Dude, can they get up? Get up, you asshole. I'm not even around them. I'm gonna run all the way out there. Yes! Did, did you guys get stuck? Okay, some of our pathfinding got stuck. Huh. Yeah, and that's the other problem, is... The people who even say that, like, when you go back and you look at Pokemon, a lot of their designs were just... Dragon Quest designs. Like, they literally just yoink shit from Akira Toriyama. I think a lot of people don't actually know that. Hmm. We could go with Unholy Heavy Armor. That's modded. I've not really ever gone with that. It kind of looks like cool Paladin gear, but it's not... So it doesn't... Masked helmets are always good, too. Yeah, that's the other thing. You take someone's idea. You take someone's idea. So what is this? this is with shoulder pads, unholy heavy armor colored alternative. Is it the same? I think it's the same quality and everything. It just looks slightly different. No, it's not. Right leg... Left leg. Right leg, right arm, left leg, right arm. Chest, head. Oh, this one covers your head. So it's the same price, but it's just directly better. Wait, it's literally just directly better. It even gives more coverage. Unholy heavy armor colored alternative. Melee attack. Okay, wait, wait. What are the... De Dexterity minus 35%. Combat speed minus 9%. Melee attack minus eight. Oh, so it gives you some giga penalties. It's like giga mega ultra super armor, but see, dude, that's why I always go back to the stupid plate jacket. But then I feel stupid because it's just like all you ever do is use the goddamn plate jacket because you just lose 10% dex and nothing else. What do I mean by it? Well, what I meant is that the, the, the people... Okay, so the people who developed... um, The people who developed Samurai Armor Light. It's got shit coverage. Very low damage reduction. That's not very good. Damn it, it's just, it just comes back to the plate jacket. Dude, I, okay, in all honesty, I wish I would either nerf the plate jacket or mod makers added gear that was at least as good as a plate jacket. But I feel like mod makers are always terrified to add gear that's too good. But you end up with these problems where if you don't add gear that's good, everyone's just going to spam plate jacket. But then I don't want to spam plate jacket. Because it kind of feels cheesy. Limited Sight Scrap Helm. That's actually a really good... Ooh, wait, that's actually really good. Oh, they, they do have some quasi-paladin gear here. There's limited... This heavy scrap helm. There's actually some decent gear here. These helmets. Hmm. I'm wondering what I should do here. Okay, this this Giga armor has way too many debuffs. I mean, I could buy a high grade unholy heavy armored colored alternative. It would make my character basically impossible to kill. But the downside, my character would do so low attack speed he wouldn't be able to hit anything.
I kind of want to buy these helmets because they're pretty good. Plus they look cool because they're like paladin gear. But are we doing samurais or are we doing paladins? Hmm. Well, at the very least, we probably do need some chest gear. Ronin's Shamurai Armor. Light. It's not even cheap. So it's a coverage. Chest, 80. Stomach, 75. Damage reductions, eh. Decent. We lose attack damage and combat, but we don't lose dexterity and we get a melee attack minus 4. I mean, this light... I don't know why they call it Ronin. It's the same gear. In all honesty, I think the best thing is just going with chain vests. Or at the very least, grabbing leather shirts. Leather shirts give 100% chest and stomach coverage. And aren't too expensive. And only weigh one kilogram. So one pound. I mean, he is an American. He probably intended to be pounds. Yeah, let's just go on leather shirts at first. Oh god, it's 4,400? Okay, at that point, we might as well try to buy some weapons and just work on... Yeah, we might as well... No, because weapons are easier to find than armor. I think. Let's see, heavy scrap helm is six pound. Okay, you know what? These helmets look cool. I'm just gonna go with it. Grigor, you also get a helmet. They're kind of cool, not too expensive. Bartholomew, you've been upgraded to spiked helmet. Okay, so those are the two blue quality ones. Now at that point, we should spend the rest of our money on leather shirts, because those are just good damage reduction. And there's all our money. Wow, we did all that for just that little? I mean, chat, we're starting to look a little bit uh, cooler. We got like we got like a, a ragtag team. A motley crew, if you will. How's our food situation? We still got way enough food here, too. Okay, let's see. From what I remember, there should be up here. There should be a lot of dust bandits we can fight. Do those helmets have spell power? No, they do not. Yeah, up here. Oh, I remember this area. I got my ass kicked here all the time. What are you guys? Shek Kingdom. Yeah, we're technically in the Shek Kingdom now. This is the Buckethead fan club. What are you guys? Garu. Okay, well they have a lot of good meat. Chat, we're gonna take down these animals. Kick their ass! But everyone should definitely spread out, actually. Come on guys, spread out. Spread out. Spread out. There we go. Take them! Oh, that's right, we're all on hold. Take them! Are we winning? I don't think we're winning. Um... Okay, I really thought... Who lost an arm? Okay, Bartholomew is down an arm. Uh... Bright side. We no longer have to feed new fire. I really thought we were going to be able to beat the Grout. 
The Garu. Oh boy. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Bartholomew, uh... Didn't we have a katana? Give him the katana. Chat, we, we can't afford another arm for him right now. He's just gonna have to use the katana. Okay, he's gonna be unconscious for a bit. On account of the whole... You know, lost his arm thing. I guess we go back to squint and heal. Uh... Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Chad, we can't afford another arm for Bartholomew. Okay, he's just gonna have to learn to swing a one-handed katana. He lost he lost his left arm anyway. He still got his right arm. He loses an arm to a herbivore? Bartholomew. Dude got his arm bit off by a cow. I'd feed him to the dog, but the dog got knocked out too. Yeah, we, we kind of need to make the entire trek back now. That's not good. Maybe it won't attack us. God damn it. Okay, it's attacking us. Who's holding the dog? You. The dog is fine. Put the dog down. Okay, get him, Newfire. Honestly, I think Newfire is dead. Um. Fine, we will load for new fire. <laughs> so new fire doesn't die to a giant spider. Dude, how did new fire get destroyed? Jesus Christ. Dude, he straight up got one shot. Like he didn't even he didn't even get knocked out. He just went straight to dead. Why, why would this mod add giant doom spiders to this area of the world? This is supposed to be the beginner zone. Okay, where is the giant doom spider? Technically, these guys are pretty beat up. We might be able to take them down in the second ringer. Bartholomew's still got an, an arm. Chat, anyone see a spider? Giant spider. God damn it. Are you kidding me? Run, Nufar. Okay, but actually, Nufar is really good damage if he gets in the back. Run, Nufar. Nufar is down. I think, I think we beat it. No, we definitely do not. We're like taking out its legs. Okay, Millie's arm is beat up. Wait, she can't even use her katana? Millie is down. Six-fingered man. Oh my god, your, your right arm is fucked up, so you can't even... Can you use a katana at least? No, you can't even use a katana. Okay, the spider actually kills you. Dude, whoever made this mod... Whoever made this mod, I beg, do not add animals that kill you to the starter area. Jesus Christ. Well, the dog is zero armor, but he should have... 
He should have higher HP, but apparently they just they take so long to grow up that it's not really even tenable. Okay, there's a Garou. The spider came from behind me last time. Where did he go? Chad, where is this fucking spider coming from? I don't see shit. Seriously, is, is he like bugged into the terrain or something? Is, is he like coming out of the terrain and ambushing me? What is happening? Where is this spider? You know what's funny? I gave Jackie, Samurai Jackie, the Giga Helmet and he only got hit in the head and got taken out. Which is, yeah. You're shocked that a Kenshi mod made the game harder? I mean, there's harder, and then there's just, I'm gonna murder you. How did Millie's leg get destroyed again? Hold on, Jackie, if you pick up Millie... Okay, Dr Grieger, drop the dog. You, pick up Millie. There, now we can move at a normal pace. I keep forgetting, you can pick up people who have their legs busted up and then you can actually move. Now we're cooking! Now we go to the inn, we heal up. Uh, Bartholomew has his arms still, so like, he, he doesn't... Like he's fine, is, is what I'm saying. Like, dude's fine. These are all Sheck. Dude, I don't want to hire a Sheck. Wendelin? Ludmila? Paid for the bed rental. He didn't even... Is he in the bed? He, he's sleeping, chat. Like a baby. Now pick him up. Then just, just drop him. Yeah, he's fine, chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bartholomew's doing fine. This is how you sleep, right? He's only unconscious for like 10 more minutes, too. He'll be fine. He's fine. Okay, if only they weren't taking the other bed here. I could heal a bit faster. Uh, we'll just pay for a second bed rental. Get in the bed! 175. Ugh. Yeah, we're on our way. Soon we fight dust bandits, we move on from fighting dust bandits, and... What do we fight after dust bandits? We're gonna fight, uh, well, probably more dust bandits. Is everyone good now? Uh, Bartho Bartholomew got thrown outside. As this did new fire. Apparently they have a no dogs allowed policy. Bartholomew! Stop floating in the sky, you lazy bitch. Did we get any loot from that? 
We got no loot. We got no bounties. Oh, that's right, because we just walked up and got our shit canned. By the herbivores. Did we at least train? Dude, why is Newfire, like, not training his stats? What is happening? I thought you guys said dogs are supposed to be good. It's like the opposite of good. It's bad. We're just waiting for Bartholomew to get up. He's gonna realize, ah, oh, I have no left arm, what the fuck? And then we're gonna be like, dude, you got your right arm? He'll be like, yeah, it's fine, let's get back to fighting. There we go. Back to the north. Kitty. Kitty, come here. Kitty. Why does she do this every time? Kitty, you are so stupid. Just come here. Why do you do this every single time? It's literally 100% of time she meows at me. I turn around, she looks at me, she sprints back to her scratching post and starts scratching it like, oh, did you want me? Did you want me? I'm like, y yes. She's like, oh, I mean, if you want me, okay, I mean, that's fine. Wait. Escape slaves ripe for the capture. No? None of us are escape slaves. What the fuck? Okay. Well, I think we won this exchange. And not only because we outnumbered them nearly two to one. Off pure skill and talent. And not only because I have a Giga Katana either. Let's see, they have the Enslaver. Anyone not a Boots? And we all got Boots now. What did they have on them? Let's see, they had some medical supplies, an iron club, an enslaver. None of this stuff sells for shit. Armored faceplate. Is that it? Wow, I didn't have shit for gear. Oh god, starving bandits. I want the food, give us the food right now. Fuck you! No fire, sprint to the side. Look at that attack speed. Goddamn dog's a little slow. Run away! Get back in there. Look at that maximum range gigabyte. Why do we have a dog named Newfire? We got a dog. We named it Newfire. Should have named it Dogfire. Newfire, run! The slave hunter got back up just to get his ass whooped. Okay. Uh, I don't think starving bandits are gonna have any gear on them worth shit. Shocking, they don't. Yeah. Did 
they have anything worth anything on them? I mean, even medical supplies. Nope. Well, that was pointless. What are you guys? Shit kingdom. Okay. Now we're back onto the road for the dust bandits. Was that a shit talking Kenshi? Are you here to watch the Kenshi or not, buddy? We're 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 practicing on uh dust banded soon. We will be kicking the shit out of the United Cities. It's the natural process. Shouldn't there be dust bandits up here? Hello? Dust bandits? Weren't there dust bandits here? Those are more holy nation outlaws. Or maybe the same ones. Where are the dust bandits? Okay, well, there's a great expanse. There's got to be some dust bandits in there. Where are the dust bandits? Hmm. This is a Sten Desert. Okay, we're in the Sten Desert now. Which is not great. You don't want to be in the Sten Desert. Yeah, I mean, they're basically talking about it. Uh, there, the desert is not good. Is that Highlanders? Okay. Highlanders run so many way stations. Dude, where are the goddamn dust bandits? I can't see shit. Anyone see shit? I can't see shit. There is nothing out here. So, something normally. Oh, okay, there's gotta be some stuff, maybe. Who are you? I see you. You're a tech hunter, a wandering monk tech hunter. It also appears to be a dust bandit with a bounty right there. But randomly, just right there, and only the one of them. Oh, no, there's a second one. But only he's got a bounty. Well, he's got a bounty four. Well, he does have a bounty in the Shek Kingdom. Dogfire, get the attack priority for once. There you go. Now bite his ass. There you go. How do you not get the attack priority of her? It's because your melee attack is super low for some reason. Nope, there's more of them now. Hold on. Oh boy. Uh, before we lose track... Wait, where's the dust bandit with the bounty? There he is. Go pick him up. There we go. Now we'll take the fight to the rest of them. You're no... You're not even in the Shek Kingdom. You're a bandit. You're an old match for the Shek Kingdom. Is a fucking bandit. Okay, he's uh, definitely taking a lot of damage. That's giving us a lot of XP, though. Holy crap, he just won't go down. I mean, that honestly is actually a pretty good thing. Because... Means they're basically power leveling. 
Up, oh, okay, and he fell into the terrain. Shit. Okay, now there's more of them. Still none of them have a bounty. Okay, and a uh, tech hunter is over here just kicking the shit out of everybody. Guys, focus up. Okay, he's, tr he's trying to somersault. His somersaulting is not working. Well, here, hooligan rags. I think that's better than a heart protector. That's definitely better than a heart protector. Can you guys please have bounties already? Okay, so, uh... Where are we finding all these dust bandits? Like, where, where are they all coming from? They're just everywhere. Let's see, Eastern Gladius sells for that. Um, screw it. I mean, let's just take the heart protectors. I mean, at least they still sell for a hundred, right? Do we have the bounty on us? Did you guys heal him? No one healed him. You guys, heal him so he doesn't die. There we go. Okay, now we go back over here. Dust bandits, dust bandits and slave traders everywhere. And how do none of these goddamn people have bounties? Isn't this the guy that we beat the shit out of? What, he got back up? Well, that was pointless. here he's got armored rags yeah it's definitely better I think we take a negative five melee defense but we get chest and well we get chest coverage this is only chest, no stomach. This is way higher chest, a little bit of stomach. Good armor. Left arm, right arm coverage as well. Dude, how do none of you bitches have bounties? How did you get back up? You just got downed and you just got back up. Screw it. Let's just, let's take at least their gear to sell. It's something, right? How, when, where are these people coming from? Like, where did you come from? Wait, why are we fighting the slave traders now? I mean, obviously we're the good guys and we're, we're here to fight the slave traders. I'm just wondering, why did we aggro on them? Good heads, good heads. I'm wondering if slave trader armor is even good. Let's see. Mercenary plate. Let's see, this Eastern Gladius sells for shit. It's not even a good weapon. Visored helmet. We can't wear too much or we start looking like slave traders. We're not an escape slave! This character is commi currently committing looting. Okay, well that's just not true. Okay, mercenary plate. Chest protection, stomach protection, left and right arm protection. 
Well, it's not great, but it's better than what we have. You can only wear one piece of gear from a faction before it starts uh, fucking you up. So I guess you can take the samurai cloth pants then. And... Millie can wear the helmet. This stuff sells her shit. And who are you guys? You guys are more shit kingdom. Oh, there's another dust bandit here. Oh, he's got a cute little hat. Look at that hat. I'm gonna take that hat. That's my hat now, bitch. Does anyone not have a hat? It's okay, it's a shoddy grade, 100% coverage, negative 5 melee attack, negative 20 perception, decent armor. Way better than an armored faceplate, I can tell you that much. Spiked helmet is probably better because it's blue. See, that's blue, 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 blue. Wizard helmet blue, spiked helmet white. You're blue, yeah, you're way better. Tin can, it weighs a lot. Oh, it's definitely better than a spiked helmet white at any rate. Let's see, oh, armored rags too. I think that's better. No, actually, this might be better because it covers your... Well, no, this covers your chest 25 left arm right. Well, it looks better at any rate. Maybe so I don't get confused so much thinking I'm a dust bandit. No, the slave traders are just mad that I'm better than them. So they attacked me out of pure jealousy. We need to get better weapons. I could go cheese to get some better weapons. I could go run to like a battlefield. That'd probably help us. Because then we would actually deal damage. We'd be able to take down multiple enemies quicker. Okay, which one of you has a bounty? You. Where is... The bounty officer. There we go. There. 900 gold. Now we head back out into the world. I mean, we're getting geared, we're getting armored. Soon we'll be taking down United Cities. I mean, what are our stats? Our stats are not a joke anymore. They're not amazing, but they're not a joke. Like, honestly, I think if we came across a pack of starving bandits, we'd kick the shit out of them. What are you guys? Dust bandits? Drifters. Ugh. Say, so here we go. Starving bandits. Kick the shit out of them. Watch this. Go, dogfire! <laughs> I mean, honestly, we're getting pretty armored. We got uh, leather shirts, we got helmets. Easy win. We just need a few more crew members. These guys definitely didn't random up anything good. Wait, what is this? A farmer's warazori? It's just a slightly shittier sandal. Okay. 
We could go down to the swamp, I suppose. Is that in my group a good weapon? Uh, I took a flat topper from a, uh, holy warrior. It's okay. Not amazing. It's okay. You know what, chat? I'm going into the swamp. The swamp is where men are men, and women are also men. We can pick up some recruits in the swamp. Wait, does the swamp do bounties? The biggest bounties are on dust bandits, but I have not been able to find... I, I thought I was going to be able to like walk out and just chain down dust bandits. And... Why are you guys in the swamp water? I thought I was going to have to chain down um, dust bandit bounties and like they just don't spawn. It's like the weirdest thing. Hmm. You know, swamp sucks. Why am I in the swamp? I have a better idea. Um. Oh boy, we could go try to do Fog Island. We actually have enough people that Foglands wouldn't massacre us. I don't think. Do you think I could do Fog Princes? We had six humans and a dog. It's a good dog too. Actually, it's not a good dog. Dog's really weirdly weak. What are you guys? Blue Cleaver. The hell is a Blue Cleaver? Do you guys have bounties perhaps? If any of them had bounties, I could see... None of them have bounties. I could see what faction that is. I have so many mods at this point. I, I, like, I find new factions and I'm like, Who the hell are you? They actually have, look like they have... Okay, they have decent gear, but their weapons are shit. And they have no bounty. So I don't think anyone's hostile to them. Blue cleavers are the good red sabers? Oh. Oh, that's right. There are red sabers down there. I could go try to do the red saber base. It's not even that hard. You know what, screw it. Let's go try to do some red sabers. Although, I swear to god, I never actually find the bases. It's like so hard, dude. I, I feel like in the swamp, they just never spawn bases. Let's see, town, raid, event size. Town attacks, frequency, squad size. So you're supposed to be squad size, but I just never find it. I used to play in five times population, and it was funny for a bit until I quickly realized the problem was um, until you got giga high level people, enemy squads would spawn so quickly that you can never actually finish a fight. It was funny for a bit, but then I realized it kind of killed any attempt. I'll be right back. I need to go to the bathroom.
Dude, I was like dehydrated as shit today. And I keep drinking water and going to the bathroom. Drinking water, going to the bathroom. It's not even because I'm. Oh. Damn you, McDonald's box. It's not even because I'm uh, drinking coffee, dude. Um, I mean, I think if I took it slow, I could do Foglands with this squad, especially because, like, Foglands is bizarrely good at leveling up your dudes. Dude, the crab people... Oh, God, dude, the thing about this game... Hounds. They have no bounty. Well, let me think here. There's lots of new areas of the world for low-level people, but UWE... The problem with UWE is it changes so much stuff to, instead of being early game content, to be mid-game content. Because, like, the base game, there's actually a shitload of low-level areas. Um, but... If you play UWE, it's a mod that makes most areas mid-game and assumes you know how to cheese your way up to good stats to like beat it early on, you know what I mean? But the problem is... The problem is that like... I don't know, because I haven't played... It's like a overhaul mod. Yeah, dude, I just can't find any starving bandits. Tech hunters, tech hunters. If we find red sabers... Red sabers are like super actually shitty. There's a lot of areas that you can do pretty early on in this game. One of the reasons they do that is because there's a lot of people with like 7,000 hours in vanilla Kenshi. And all they do... Is a, uh, they play the game and they just make bases in new areas early on, over and over again. Why is there a Shek Kingdom here? We're in the swamp. So what they'll do is they'll, they'll start a game, make a base in the swamp, start a game, make a base in the Fogland, start a game, make a base in the Cannibals, start a game, make a base. I think down here is probably a bit much. I, I remember I once... Where did I do a base? I did a base in Flat Lagoon a few times. That one's a bit too rough. Because having... Having chain beak things attack you... You can definitely swarm and beat a few beak things. But like if two or three attack you, and then two or three attack you, and then two or three attack you... You can quickly run into an issue where like... Your people are too beat up, and then you have the chance of like, oops, my limb popped off. That one's a bit rough. Doable, bit rough. Who is that? Swamp loads a lot, because it's got a lot of unique things that you only find in the swamp. Who are we fighting? Who is that? Who are you? Oh, white eyebrow. What are the other areas you can do? You can do Great Desert, you can do Holy Land. Um... I think Forbidden Coast is just all beak things, right? There's a lot of areas in the base game that are just beak things. That's the, uh, secret. Is that... The, the base game has a lot of content, but what you don't notice... A lot of this map is just beak things, is like the enemy. Like, um... Vein is beak things. Uh, Forbidden Coast, Storm Gap, that's more beak things. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Shem is beak things. Let's see. I think Dredge is also beak things. I think, uh, let's see. Leviathan Coast is... Wait, we got our ass beat. What happened? We got beat by... White Eyebrow Clan? Uh. 
fellas. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Why? Oh, because they have the white eyebrow boss, and he's, like, gigastatted. Millie lost a leg. Really, guys? Always with the limbs with you people. Who are you? You're a swamp ruffian? Well, he's not going to do well. Leather jacket. Chest and stomach protection. Shit armor. Are your weapons good for selling? No. The battle axe is okay. I'll take it. Let's see. Well, it's probably better than what we got. They got leather pants. Leather pants are actually better as well. Now, let's see. Yeah, the White Eyebrow Clan has good weapons. God damn! Well, I did say they have good weapons, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's see, they have martial arts. Armored faceplates, blue. Does anyone have shit armor? Oh, let's see, you got the tin can. The armored faceplate is less coverage, but it doesn't debuff our melee attack. We'll do that instead. Tin can's okay. Oh, a chain shirt. Okay. Does anyone not have a shirt? Leather shirt, leather shirt. Okay, take the chain shirt. Then gi pants. Um. Not good, but better than the shit we're using. Also looks better. Okay, so, uh, who got beat to hell here? Shit, did we lose any limbs? Okay, Millie lost a leg. What is it with Millie and just her legs just always getting beat to hell? Every time. Okay, please don't be bad. <laughs> Black shifters? Why is that dude got an arm like that? Dude jerks off seven times a week. Not a week, it's a normal day. Shit, are you all in recovery comas? No, you can get up, right? Damn it! Huh. We got three down people. We got three down people and only two people I can carry. Is anyone gonna get up at any point? Oh, the dog will get up soon. Okay, he ran off with someone's arm. Pick up. Oh, he's his arm is fucked. Okay, we still have an issue where you got three down people. Well, Millie will get up, but she doesn't have a leg. Nefar, can you get back here? He ran off with the arm. Wait, did Nefar just eat Millie's leg? Okay, well, Nefar ate Millie's leg. I just realized that. 
Oh, for God's sake, the dog is down. Okay, hold on. Combat cleavers are good. Razor cleavers are good too, but this combat cleaver, that's, that's actually a good combat cleaver. And outline rags, stomach, right arm, chest. That one's actually pretty good and not many debuffs either. Hold on, um... Okay, you take this. Martial arts binding. Okay, take this to Millie, put this on Millie. There, now she's got real armor. Oh my god, he has a combat cleaver too. Who doesn't have any good armor? At this point, we all at least have decent armor except Yeshua. There, now Yeshua's got decent armor. Oh my god, Drifter's Pants Blue. Oh my god. Okay, loot these. Someone please loot these. Okay. Take these back to Millie. Put the pants on Millie. Okay, so we at least have decent enough gear. Okay, the only problem... Kitty. Kitty, you are not dying. No, Kitty, you are not dying. Do you hear this meow she does? Meow. Kitty. I'm gonna go feed her or she's going to literally have a panic attack. Really, Kitty? See it? Do you see me putting it here? Kitty? Kitty! Food here. Do you see it? You are looking at it. Food. Here. It's the same place it always goes! Kitty. She is so dumb. <laughs> I literally show her the food. I put it on the cat pole and she goes, where'd it go? 
I show her the food. She's like, yay, food. I put it on the cat pole. Where'd it go? I show her the food. Yay, food. I put it on the cat pole. Where'd it go? Oh my god. Once again, it's up to you, Jackie. Samurai. Swamp ruffians are trying to butcher new fire for meat. Okay, fing six fingered man. If you die, new fire will die. Do not die. Don't do it. Come on, dude. Hit once. What are you doing? Okay, of the people up, how many of you can pick people up? Okay, Millie is unconscious. She's kind of dead weight. Bartholomew is decent at fighting, I think. Can you pick someone up? You pick up new fire or else we're gonna... He's gonna die. Okay. Now, where is the nearest town? Is it at Rot? Oh my god, why did I not get sleeping bags? Make Goku martial artist next? Oh my god. Chat, we gotta just leave those people unconscious on the road. We have no money. We can't even get a sleeping bag. We're actually running out of food at this rate, too, which isn't great. We just have to hope to not run into shit on our way to Rot. I can't remember, is Rot a good town or a bad town, even? Oh, we can just walk right through that. That makes sense. Come on, fellas. Everyone back there is dead on the road and waiting for us. We're almost there. I'm just hoping Rod is a good town. That looks like a good town. I, I think it is. Martial arts or pole arms? Dude, how about the... Dude, how did we get our ass kicked by the fucking... The shitty white fang? God, they're terrible. Now what's happening? Who the hell are you guys? Okay, well, new fire is back up. So at the very least, he's not gonna die. What is this? Someone was fighting over there. Okay, um... Bar. There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, I was like, is it gonna... Is it gonna load? Oh, bed rentals are only 50. Get out of my bed! I paid for that! Ain't that some shit? No fire, get in here and wait as well. Okay, now you three, run back over there. We need to get everyone else back too. Now they can actually make a run for it. 
This is a life of Kenshi, chat. Hover over the town. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I suppose I could have found that out. Oh, so it's a hound town. So the hounds are a good faction. Got it. I've so again, I have so many mods right now that add so many factions. It's like, again, it's like... What's the right way to put it? It's like I'm blending a bunch of fruits together. What the hell is happening out here? Wait, why are the blue cleavers? You guys said the blue cleavers were good. Why are they fighting me then? Patchwork armor jacket. Well, that's actually not a bad jacket. So you have a stunted cleaver. Oh, he's got another combat cleaver. Okay, so we basically should have full top tier weapons. Chat, you said, quote, you, the blue cleavers are the good guys. Yeah. Outland rags, armored rags. I think outland rags are probably the weakest. Now, what do you do? Patchwork armor jacket. Decent enough stats. Debuffs our dexterity a little bit. A little bit melee defense reduction. Other than that, not too bad. Yeah, let's just take this instead. This cleaver is also... Something sells for 200. That's not bad. Um, someone pick up Millie. Hmm. Chat, where can I get a leg from around here? Anyone... I suppose I could have someone just run to the deadlands real quick. That wouldn't take long. Do I have enough athletics for that? I mean, we're at 42. That's probably fine. We don't have nearly enough to afford a good leg, though. Damn. Uh, unfortunately, you're not allowed to graft legs onto people. Their sci-fi level doesn't go to that level. This is not... This is like, uh... So you got like, hard, uh, what's in the right way to put it? You got like, biological sci-fi, and this is not biological sci-fi. No, none of my characters... Oh, wait. It's because Bartholomew is wearing a slave trader. Oh my god, if he wears a mercenary plate, it gives him enough to look like a slave trader. Okay, yeah, let's, uh... Yeah, okay. Okay, I, I guess we'll just leave Millie on the ground. I'm not, I'm not really sure what else to do with her right now. Are these all my characters? Where's Newfire? Apparently he's not allowed in. Um, okay. Hmm. You're not allowed to play Godric? No. No, they don't, uh... They don't do that. Hmm. Kinda thought I would have, uh... More money. Shoot! That's not enough money. Yeah, that is not enough money to buy a prosthetic. Let me think. Um, Chad, what's the best way to cheese the most money the quickest? Yeah. 
Yeah, we sold all the armor. We're in UWE, so selling armor and weapons is like a third is valuable. Beak thing eggs, true. Okay, Jackie. Hmm. Fog princes, you don't, you can't cheese fog princes. They, they're actually quite strong. Let's see, we could find packs of animals. Those are always good money. Yeah, I think beak thing eggs are probably our best bet. Shoot. We should actually be good enough to actually beat beak things with those new hackers we just got. Yeah, our stats are 20s to 30s now. Okay, uh... Let's just go east then. Raptors are worth shit, right? Don't they not give enough leather? Oh, raptors are also way better at fighting in the mod. Yeah. These guys would be tough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's, uh... That's a bit too much. Let's go see what that unknown tower has. Though we do need food, and that's a bit of an issue. We do actually need food. Hello? A fight for us to perhaps partake in? Swamp ruffians against band of bones. I don't think Band of Bones will ever have a bounty. Will Swamp Ruffians ever have a bounty? Probably not. Because I don't think they're actually hated. I'm gonna see if they say, uh... Yeah, I think the problem... The mod I have for bounties seems to work decently. Unless it's with UWE stuff, because one of the problems is... Wait, what's that guy? Oh my god, that guy actually has a hound head on him by default. Wait, that's cool. Oh, he's just getting stunlocked. What did he have on him? Let's see. Wolf headgear. It's actually decent enough headgear. Barbaric cape. It's pretty shit. And it don't sell for shit. No armor sells for shit in this mod. Oh, it's so hard getting money, dude. Okay. Let's see, let's see, we got a plank. Oh my god, it's a heart protector green. It's also 800. Plank sells are 450, so that's worth yoinking. Um... Personally, I don't think MOBAs are particularly... 
Oh my god, a long cleaver blue. Wait, why did this guy have so much gear on him? Wait, did he steal gear from another AI? Why would they do that? I've never seen that happen. One's a chain shirt, that's good. Um... Okay, hold on. Everyone get back here. Everyone, sprint back. Problem is we're splitting up way too much, which is making this really rough, because there's like fights going on everywhere. A katana, that's decent enough. Another chain shirt. If nothing else, they sell for a lot. A high-grade spiked helmet sells for a lot. Barbaric cape also sells for a lot. That doesn't sell for much. That doesn't sell for much. Yeah, I, I, I find the problem with MOBAs is fundamentally they're actually not that great. It's like a legitimate problem. MOBAs are just kind of not that great. Another chain shirt. Well, I mean, these chain shirts actually do sell for a decent penny. If I can find them. I just need to find who has them. And these toothpicks sell decently as well. The problem with MOBAs is they were developed to be fun party games, and the more they try to get forced into being competitive games, it doesn't, it just, it doesn't really work quite right. None of this stuff sells for shit. Okay, but we did get some long cleavers. And those are just better combat cleavers. Yeah, especially this one. Like, look at that. Although it does weigh 15. Ooh. Should I really be using a weight of 15? That's fine. And yeah, that, that's the problem with uh, MOBAs, at least in my opinion, is... They were really more intended to be, like, funny, uh, games. You play with friends, like, like, um... Oh god, there's so many people on the ground from this fight. But the thing is, some of them actually have decent gear that I need. But I don't know where they all went. You! Okay, he's a swamp ruffian. These swamp ruffians... Seem to actually randomly drop decent enough gear. Leather shirts sell for a hundred, that's good. Katanas don't sell for shit. Armored rags, I mean, we can get better stuff than armored rags at this point. Oh! So what do you got here? A beak thing. Another beak thing. And a third beak thing. And, of course, we have the Baka Things mod. We're actually pretty good. We're not really beat up. As long as we split up... We have to, we have to just split up and not get AoE'd by its attack. Everyone, everyone just split up, split up. Yeah, and it shouldn't be that hard. No, guys, focus. No, 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 back, back off, back off, back off. This one's about to be dead already. Oh, we went down. Okay, if we could just take this one down, we could easily focus on the other one. Stop hitting its legs. Okay, that's one gone. Oh yeah, that's lots of leather. Okay, now we fo focus on the other one. Come on, come in from the back. Don't get a weed. Uh, 
Um, are the Swamp Raptors hitting us? I think the Swamp Raptors are helping. Okay. I mean, that worked. Yeah. Millie just got destroyed again. Do you have med kids? Yeah, you have med kids. Okay, take the meat and the leather. So it can't respawn. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, just put that here. Take the leather. Take the leather. If you remove the meat from it, it can't get back up. Wait, that's a Swamp Ruffian boss. Oh, that's why he had good gear. All right, Bartholomew, you got this, buddy. You only got one arm, but you got two dreams. And you're being shot by a crossbow. And you're being kicked in the leg from the head. Okay, you got him. He has no gear. Okay, Bartholomew, just don't get shot in the stomach and you got this. Ooh, good shooting. Take their uh, recovery materials. Makeshift razor is shit as well. Okay, we actually got a good amount of swamp things. So if we can get back up without dying horribly right now. Okay, we got three people down, but Bartholomew can't pick up. You're in recovery coma, you're in recovery coma, you're in recovery coma. Shit. But we can't do anything until he gets back up. Because especially, we'd have to move at Millie's speed. Well, I mean, we did get a lot of leather. Leather sells for a good pretty penny. We got some decent planks to sell as well. Got some decent armor to sell. Honestly, I think we can afford a decent enough prosthetic. I don't want to buy... The, 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 the shitty thing about buying shitty prosthetics, and this is at least my opinion, is that they reduce your aesthetics so much that it's like not even worth having the character around anymore. Because they literally reduce your squad to, like, half speed. It's really bad. Millie is not gonna die. Millie's totally fine. Look at her. Look at her crawling around in the swamp. Probably 17 leeches on her chest right now. Dragon's Dogma, I would rate a 7 out of 10. But I will add one addendum. There's one small detail that I think is actually kind of important. Um... If you understand what happens in the game, I don't think it'll be good. I think it's the only way I can put it. Because, um... Uh, as far as an RPG where you're gearing yourself and you, you're sick and doing pawn, there's a major, 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 like actually unforgivable flaw. That fucks it up really bad. I really hope the red sabers don't get over here. Okay, they didn't. Oh my god, they're just being chased by a blood spider. Oh no! The blood spider came for me! Oh no, we got him. We got him good. Oh, but he took down Jackie. Ooh, shit. Jackie actually got fucked up by that blood spider. That's not good. Where'd the blood spider go? We gotta remove its meat so it stays dead. Uh, shit.
Okay. Damn it. Okay, we're, he's gonna have to sprint him back to rot. It's not even like the enemies, Newfire. There's like a legitimate problem where the game just stops scaling. Even if all they did was add like red Cyclops, blue Cyclops, green Cyclops, right? It would be better. But the problem is, fundamentally, and, I, and I'll say this as a legitimate problem for the game, the enemies don't scale. And because they don't scale, you'll inevitably reach a point in the game where, like, you get bored because nothing gets tougher. Now, it could be the kind of game where, like, you, you eventually... Oh, what's even the right way to put it? It's not even the walking and backtracking. That's shit, but like, it's manageable, right? Oh, you're fucked up still. Your leg. Come on, Nuvar. Oh, it's a whole band of swamp ruffians. Well, shit. Your legs should be fine now. Exactly, no fire. That that would actually have made it a better game. But the fundamental issue, I, I'm, you know what, Chad? If you guys don't want to hear spoilers, mute for like one second, real quick. But the fundamental, oh my god! Okay, the fundamental issue with the game is that the second you can beat about a griffin, you're done with about ninety percent of the game. The last remaining 10% is beating a drake, and once you can beat a drake, that is literally the toughest enemy in the game. And it does not get harder than that. And that is it. It will never get harder than it is to beat a drake. Okay, well now we're fighting swamp frogs. Newfire is alive. I mean, there's Cyclops with, like, armored head, but they never have more than two health bars. And they never deal more damage. And they never get more poise. So, so long as you can break the poise... So long as you can break the poise of a single Cyclops ever, you will literally never get a tougher fight. Like, like, it's actually ridiculous. How come the Swamp Ruffian boss doesn't have a bounty? Of all things to have a bounty, you'd think that one would have a bounty. Rusty chain shirt still sells for 200. Okay, pick up Millie. Is everyone else good? Wait, everyone else is good. Oh wait, new fire. The dog. Okay, now we're good, right? Okay, now let's go back to Rot. Again, everyone at Rot's just like, Yo, you guys back again? We're like, yeah. Yeah. Why are you guys back? Uh, ran into Swamp Thing, Swamp Ruffians. Swamp raptors, swamp toads. I would say Elden Ring's a solid 8 or 9 out of 10. The, the problem- okay, so the problem I have... 
is I can't... I, I feel like Dragon's Dogma has a really fair base system, but the issue is, like, reasonably, it's a 6 out of 10... Honestly, it's like a 5 out of 10 game with a really fun combat system. But if you want to be fair, how do you rate a game that you legitimately enjoy playing below a 7 out of 10? Because then it's not a fun game. A shitty game gets a 6, 5, 4, 3 out of 10, right? If you actually enjoy playing a game, how can you put it below a 7 out of 10? But the problem is it's like a shitty 7. And I feel like in my mind, the gap between a 7, 8, and 9 is fairly large. So if I put Elden Ring as an 8 or 5 or 9 out of 10, right? I think that's a significant... Like, like let me put it this way. Dragon's Dogma, even if I put it as 7 out of 10, would need a significant increase to its quality to get to that 8 out of 10. Now, I think Elden Ring has a... I think Elden Ring has a fun combat system that gets bogged down in too many boss fights. I think Elden Ring's combat system excels when you're not doing boss fights. Which makes it really weird. All I do is buy bed rentals. And that's kind of the problem, in my opinion, that's the problem of Dragon's Dogma, is that it's a game that is almost good, but just has so many flaws that it's actually ridiculous. Chad, what do I do with the dog? How does the dog get more healing? Like, if I put the dog in a bed, does it heal quicker? No, it doesn't. So are dogs just doomed like game because you can't really heal them? The pawns are better than in the first game? That seems embarrassingly bad that seems like a bad thing if you look at those pawns and you're like oh yeah way better than the first game i'm like uh what Uh, what happened to the dog? There we go. Um... Yeah, it's just the biggest issue... The biggest issue with Elden Ring is that its combat system, uh... The biggest issue with Elden Ring's combat system is that it's really not that fun on boss fights. People will go, scree, but it's true. The Elden Ring combat system just kind of sucks on boss fights. Like, it's just not that fun. Dodge roll, 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 dodge roll. People are like, oh my god, you don't understand. This is the best gameplay of litter. Dodge roll, 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 dodge roll. That's 100% subjective. Okay, do you want my opinion or do you want someone else's opinion? Does everyone have changed shirts by now? Wait, literally everyone has changed shirts. Huh. Let's keep around one extra changed shirt. 
Damn, I spent all my money on leather just to get infinite chain shirts later on. I know I shouldn't have bought it. That's the fundamental flaw with Elden Ring, is that its combat system just is not fun in boss fights. Dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll. You get bored of dodge roll, what do you do? Jumping heavy, 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 jumping heavy. The boss hits you enough, heal, jumping heavy, jumping heavy, jumping heavy, jumping heavy, heal, jumping heavy, and you just do that forever and ever. People go, oh my god, no, you can't do that. You can't just trade with the boss. No, you can't. That, you're ruining the game. You're ruining the experience. The experience of what? Dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll. Yeah, the boss fights are just a rhythm game. Chat, what do I name my new character? Oh no, that's a Hiver. I don't want a Hiver. Ew, no. Hivers are funny until they just constantly explode and then you lose all your money and shit. No, we'll go to the main city. Neo Scavenger? I never actually played that, I don't think. That's loud. Blazen Rock. Wait, Blazen Rock, you're not a member. Members and donations get priority because I enjoy money. Let's pause because we're loading. The swamp, a lot of people don't like playing in the swamp because there's like a lot of loading. Because, uh. It, uh has a lot of very unique assets that do not load in other than if you're in the swamp so is this a good village or a bad village i think this is also a good village oh this is a black shifter village swamper village why is the gate closed then Well, there's your problem, though. I think, I think Dragon's Dogma is a better combat game. So you might be saying, uh -huh. yeah. you're saying Dragon's Dogma is better? No, because being a combat game isn't the only thing in the world. Okay, well, we're going to have to level up our swimming then. It's like, let's look at Kenshi, right? Is Kenshi a good combat game? Not really. You literally just right click people and then watch. Yeah, you can kind of micro it a bit, but that's about it. So far as RPGs go, this is a pretty shit combat system. Therefore, is it a bad game? No. So, your, your problem that you're looking into, you can't just make a combat system that's fun and then be like, good, that's the game. Like, now what do I do? Now I have the combat system. That's why I keep calling Dragon's Dogma 2 a minimum viable product. They created a really fun combat system, put in just enough classes with just enough abilities to get you stuff to do, and then they were like, good, ship it. Okay, now what? N now what do I do in the game? Okay, I believe this town should have... Although I don't... Diplomatic status with Holy Nation. Is there no one here to hire again? 
I was hoping to get like one more person. Wait, are you serious? Does UWE remove all the swamper hireables? Damn remember when you go to the swamp, you get like seven people. There's there wait, there's literally not one person to hire. There's not even a person to talk to. Huh. Is there like a second bar? There is a second bar. But its entrance is all messed up. There we go. Is that everyone? Where's the dog? Alright, the dog's not letting the bar. Okay. You guys gotta have hireables, right? Roulette dealer. Dramatic set of the hounds. Dr. Stone from the drifters. Okay, in the base game, there are like 900 people to hire here. No more in this world is truly safe. Even with the famous swamper capital, there are eyes everywhere. You, Darrow, you look well traveled. What are your thoughts on slavery? I think it's an ugly practice. Slavers are scumbags. One day they'll get their comeuppance. I do too. The slavers, they took someone from me. So if I go to the slavers outpost, you'll join me for free? I'll join you for free, and you'll join me in the fight against slavery? Of course. Of course I will. I fight for the oppressed. Let's do this. See, there we get... I knew we could get people. Now we got Hamut, but, um... Oh, God. I don't want to... Hiver. Hivers are, like, funny, but they're also not that funny. Because, like... They're funny. But then they just die repeatedly and you're like, oh. You eyeballing me? No, you were eyeballing me. I was? Sorry. I got bulgy eyes. Need a mark? I got crazy sword skills, you know. Well, about average, whatever. What is this, an interrogation? What do you say? 4,000 cats? What about 3,000? 3,000? You're trying to mug me? 3,000 cats. Take it or leave it. Oh, I guess he left it and now I can't hire him. Stubbs Momuso. Well, I kind of want Stubbs Momuso. Hold on, I'm going to load and get him. Chad, it soft locked me out of getting him because I lowballed him too many times. This game just does not fuck around with that sort of shit. You will literally be locked out of your entire run from ever getting him. It's still loading, you know, when you can see that. But yeah, I would say the thing is, Elden Ring had significantly more content, which made it way more fun. You again? I want you to join us. Okay, you're hired. Oh shit, he, I don't get to name him either? Damn it. Okay, well we got Stubbs Mamuso. He's got average skills. Hamlet is also about average. Actually, Hamlet's decent enough. So how many people are up to? We're up to eight people. Chad, I think we can get one more in here. Dr. Stone. Oh, no, we can't do Dr. Stone. Crab Stealer. It's a ball. Okay, I just don't want hivers. They just... They die, and it's not as funny as you're thinking. What about you, Batai? You look like a generic character. I 
Chad, hivers are so lame. Chad, I need a I need a hiver name. I, I don't have any. I need a character name. Chat, this mod restricts your money so hard. It is very difficult, I find. Well, I mean, we already got nine people. Should we be the, the eight people and the dog, or we should go to nine and a dog? Naked dog? Well, he won't be naked forever. Let's, uh, let's stick to this money for now. At least until we get a base. Also, we're nearly out of food again. Didn't we get meat? Okay. Put that chain shirt on Stubbs. Put that leather shirt on Hammond. He has a noble Nadachi katana class. It's very weak and bad and underpowered because it's a shitty grade. So everyone's got chain shirts except you, Hamad. And then Millie has no leg. Oh, we just spent Millie's... What? And quit my days shooting green fruit off our heads? Like I already failed my crew before. Life holed up in a bar is actually starting to grow on me. We all fail sometimes. No one's perfect. Join me. They sip on their drink. You don't want to spend your days a bar fly. Alright, I'll shoot for you. But I wasn't kidding about paying my bar tab off, you know. Okay, chat, fine. I will buy green for 2300 There, we now have a hiver. Green. And he has a spring bat. Pretty decent damage. And uh, four heavy bolts on it. Okay. Wait, he can't wear a shirt, can he? No. Damn it. Goddamn hivers. Chad, you know he's just gonna get massacred. Okay, Chad, we now have a crew. A motley crew. And we're on a mission. To go get the money back we were saving up for Millie's leg. Again. Because, you know, uh, we were saving up for Millie's leg. And then we spent all that money hiring these new people. So now we don't have Millie's leg. Are you seriously attacking me? Are you serious? Is this guy for real? He starts a 1v10 with a broken leg. Hello, Sailor Ivo. How you doing? What did you have? You had a horse chopper. You had a loop saver, which sells a decent amount. Well, at least we gave green some armor. Well, out of trading range. Green, get over here. Pick up this armor. Pick up these pads. Pick up this hat. There. He's now... He's now the Hiver with no name. It does give him a perception bonus. What is perception again? So, okay, that's right. Perception... In this game... Ranged isn't just one stat. 
Let's see, yeah. Ranged weapons have dexterity scaling and perception scaling and crossbow scaling and precision shooting scale. Oh wow, green is actually not even a bad fighter. Well, I should say shooter. Jared, look at this. We got we got a whole ass crew here. Who are you? Red Saber again? Green stump getting killed. Oh my god. Sixty-eight to the chest, that's pretty good. Oh, well, there's a lot of red sabers out there. That's okay, we got a whole ass team. Honestly, I got a good feeling we can start taking down uh, slavers at this point. Oh, your weapon's bad. Ugh. It's good we got a whole team. Although, now that I think about it, we don't have any food for the team. Um... What did he have on him? That sells for 200. Katana sells for 200. Leather, patchwork, caress, it sells for shit. Oh, you have samurai boots. Why do you have samurai boots? Let's see, you sell for 180. That's not worth it. Let's see, armored, I mean, it sells for 200. Is there anyone on the ground here? You! Horse Lopper, 200, okay. Uh, where'd everybody else go? Where's everyone else going? Oh my god, there was a gunner all the way out here. Loot! I'm trying to loot. Okay, the problem is... There we go! I saw some 174, that's not even a bad deal. Oh, we got a toothpick. Good toothpick. Armored rag, so it's for 320. Where did we put our food in the campfire? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Of course Jackie's over here. Jack, where's the campfire? Now, Green's not fighting, he's shooting. Oh wait, no, he is fighting. What are you shooting at, buddy? Oh my god, you're having a 1v1 duel. You missed. You both missed again. Aren't you supposed to be good at this, buddy? You missed again. Okay, you actually hit him in the leg, but only once everyone else was blocking you. Which is very curious. Let's see, that sells for shit, shit, shit. Okay, um... Chad, where did the campfire with all our meat go? Is anyone? Did anyone, did anyone the, the campfire with all our meat? I 
Anyone, uh... It's a goddamn swamp, so it's hard to see shit. Okay, we ran over here. But we were, like, up... Here, right? Damn it. There! I mean, our gear isn't the best. I think we already looted everything off you. Yeah, we did. Now for you, that loot's good. What is that? A Chokuto. That's a pretty good sidearm. Way better than an iron stick at any rate. Okay, uh, let's see. Take that meat. Okay, go here. Take that meat. We probably want a third campfire at this point. Put your meat in there too. Is that all our meat? I really thought we had more meat at this point. Oh my god, everyone's like knocked the fuck out. Oh, you had meat on you. That sells for a little bit, I suppose. Uh... That's just free training right there. Oh no, it's another fresh red saber. Kick his ass! Patchwork armor better than outlaw. No, probably not. Yeah, the hiver can eat rotten meat. Who had the rotten meat? Was it you? It was you? Uh, you? You? You! Okay, take the meat. Take the meat. Take the meat. Okay, that should be good for a while. I mean, everyone's full. Everyone's happy. Everyone's eating. Good job, everyone. Another successful... Seven feet out of town. Huh. Nah, we got enough storage space. We can go. We're, we're gonna go try to take down beak things. Beak things are worth lots of money. Okay, whose leg is all messed up? I mean, we're still carrying Millie. Hmm. Nice meat collection, thank you. This should last us for a while. I have way too many bandages. That's uh... Well, the thing is, once you start getting large parties, these bandages start going away really fast. Where do we find Green Flyer Village? Rot- uh, Hivers can eat rotten meat. Not because it makes any sense, but just it's their thing. Doesn't really make sense when you think about it because like rotten meat is rotten because it's rotten. Millie's being carried. She doesn't even walk anymore. Jackie is just permanently carrying Millie. We're gonna head up and get a prosthetic though. Well, we're gonna get enough supplies to afford a prosthetic. See a sailor Ivo. Oh my god, I forgot about swamp turtles. From what I remember, swamp turtles are really good, right? Mm. 
Yeah, I think if we kill Swamp Turtles, they're worth a lot. They're like really tanky, but their stats are super low. And they award so much food. Okay, how about we like space out here, fellas? Stop getting AoE'd. Stubbs Mamuso. Yeah, they give you 14 meat. They will literally bleed out before we can even get through any of their HP. That's kind of funny. Because, like, they literally bleed out by blood loss before we can get through that much. <laughs> Whoever designed that didn't think that went through. Okay, well, the dog got its ass beat again. Oh my god. Go, go, go pick up new fire. Okay, everyone kind of got their ass beat by the sea turtles, and it really wasn't worth it at the end. Why are there just baby bone dogs all around here? Bone Dog Alpha. Guys, we're we all gonna get our ass beat by the Bone Dog Alpha one by one. We really do not do that much damage to it. Oh my god, that did 64. Holy shit. Okay, but the Gray Flares are coming to help us. Bartholomew comes as one-handed swing. Wait, is he... Bartholomew, are you one-handing a long cleaver? How can you do that? Hold on, we need, we need to find all these dogs that are dead and loot their shit. It's free meal estate. Bone wolf alpha pelt. Okay, Jackie, pick up, pick up Millie again. Stubbs Mamuso. I don't think he's getting up. Your arm is fucked, so you can't do it. Green, you do it then. And Six Fingered Man, you pick him up. There we go. Now they gotta have a bar. Yeah, they got a bar in here. Uh, we kind of gotta go heal. We walk seven feet in the swamp. We got our ass beat. I'm not selling the meat. Chat. Taste the heat, not the meat. We eat a lot of meat. We got we got nine people and a dog, chat. There's a lot of people to feed. You don't want to run out of meat with nine people. Taste the meat, not the heat. I normally don't run parties this big, but uh, Chad, I'm gonna admit it. I'm a little bit OCD and it, I, I'm kind of addicted to micromanaging large amounts of inventories. I don't know what it is, Chad, but like if you give me a large inventory and you give me lots of people 
and many items that I can micromanage. It's just like fun. Oh, I have 10 people to manage all the items on and I'm just sitting here like, ooh. Did someone just walk away? No. Okay, you get up, you go heal. No, you go heal. Uh, everyone who's healed, step outside. That's how we'll manage it. That's always the best way to manage it. I mean, it's something that a lot of people don't realize about Kenshi that's actually, like, really funny. Well, I don't know funny. It's really fun. Is that you have, like, a lot of people, so you'll end up having, like, a lot of weapons. So, like, it's like, it's like, the game is fundamentally, like, an RPG with, like, stats and leveling and items and shit like that, right? But, um, this is three-speed movement? Oh, right, because we have Millie on the ground. Again. Okay, let's see. Let's sell you, sell you, sell you. If I had anything that I wanted to keep, I would have uh, kept it, I'm assuming. Splint kids never do shit, I swear to God. Are teeth even worth looting? Shop gear can't afford that. Oh, for the love of God. We always have people carry Millie. I don't think she's been like on her own in quite some time. Let's see, two trading. Traders are about to wake up. Wait, there's slavery in the swamp? Huh. Let's see here. Sell you. Sell you. Sell you. Oh my god, we have so much meat. Maybe I have too much meat now. I, I might have entered the too much meat period of the game chat. <laughs> Huh. I'll be honest, chat. Uh, might have gotten too much. Might have gotten too much. I could have a party of like 30 people running on this meet. Okay. We're gonna go beat up the big things. We're gonna go beat up the beak things. Oh god, that's gonna give me even more meat. What do I do with all this meat? You guys better stay well fed. Uh, what was I gonna say? We're gonna go beat up the beak things, take some eggs, get some leather. Dude, how many goddamn outposts are there in this town? I should say in this map. Oh, well what the fuck is this thing? A mire skin spider. It does not take much blood damage. No fire, get out there! Oh my god, he almost died. Heal no fire. Heal no fire. You don't have a med kit? Which one are you? Did I do not need this much meat? Uh, 
what's the lore behind the spiders? Someone said they're genetically modified humans. It's loading. Millie's been a cripple for quite some time. I won't lie to you, Jet. Okay, let's go see what this outpost is. Those that enter the swamp, they don't leave the swamp. Green katanas? Slaughter them and ship every... Strip everybody to let from their carcass. I don't think you're gonna do well, Mr. Green Katana. Oh, but there's a lot of them. Oh shit, it's like a whole ass ambush happening right here. What kind of loot do they have? Let's see. Oh, they got flat toppers. And machetes and Patrick armor jackets. Eh, that's just normal. But they got flat toppers. We could do a full ass katana build here. I think we're winning. We're definitely winning. Your katanas are no match for our giant cleavers. As well as Bartholomew's one-handed combat. What are the downsides from having one arm again? Because he seems to be doing just fine. The one-armed samurai. Yeah, he seems to be doing just fine. Look at him, dude. Look at him go. He's on like his fourth ninja kill. Oh, this guy's a robot. That's why he's taking so many hits. What are these things? Blood spiders? That's not blood. Oh my god, there's blood spiders everywhere. <laughs> Skrager, I've repeatedly warned you that the game fucks with you all the time. This game is so stupid. Okay, we should work together with the ninjas against the blood spiders for now. That's probably the best way to go about it. Okay, they have so many robots. Why are there so many robots? <laughs> Millie just... Okay, so this guy's doing pretty good. What is this, like the final boss? There we go. Oh god, some of them are getting back up. Green Katana Bowman. Don't run for the Bowman, just heal yourself. Oh god, she doesn't have a med kit. Okay, the bowman can't even get through my chain vest. Uh, the best is when you get beep. Beep talks himself up. He says he's the greatest ever. Beep is terrible. Okay, uh... Did they just all get back up? Okay, so I guess it's round two, motherfucker. Bartholomew's down again. 
Melee is somehow still fighting. Jackie continues to carry. Five-fingered man. It's like six-fingered man. You might want to bandage yourself up a bit. I know you have med kids. Okay, fine. Just take the fight then. Oh my god, dude, you gotta stop getting downed. God damn, how many more are showing up? Okay, that, uh... That might be the end of us. No fire, you gotta help Jackie. Oh shit, no fire, run! Uh Huh. Is this their base? Are they just gonna camp me? There's like 30 of the bitches, dude. Where did they all come from? You do get a lot of stats from standing up with red HP. Ah, oh, fucking blood spider. Grigor is dead. Stubbs Mamuso is dead. Green is dead. Okay, I think I might have entered a fail state here, chat. They're camping my bodies. I did not realize this was going to be a spawn point for them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The, okay, the problem is this is a spawn point. So this is like their base. If we pull out even a little bit... We should be good. We just gotta pull people out. Hmm. Okay, the problem is I keep coming back because the goddamn blood spiders. I don't know why he's not medicking himself first. He's kind of the most important character here. Oh, goddamn blood spider. Oh, he hit for 71 damage. Oh, that guy's leg is... Ugh. Okay, Millie might lose the other leg, too. Uh... Fucking blood spiders. Okay, we kind of need these flat toppers. Who else has a backpack that can carry them? Oh, your backpack can't. Didn't someone have a backpack that could actually carry them? 
No, it's only Jackie. Oh shit, we need to wait for Jackie to get up then. I want to get all these flat toppers. They sell for a lot and it'll disarm them, so the next time we come back here we just have to fight a bunch of uh, shitty ninjas. With no katana. Yeah, we're camping their bodies now too, so we could probably actually just camp them till they all die. Okay, take that. Ooh, wait, the Wakazashi also sells pretty decent, especially for its size. A Katana Rama, that's a pretty good Katana too. Take that, that doesn't sell for shit. Millie's down. The Wakazashi sells for a good amount for its size. Do you have any bodies under you? No? Okay. Okay, they're all getting back up, but they don't have any, uh... They don't have any weapons. I'm just trying to find where the bodies are. It's a bit hard to see in this swamp. Are you a body? Yes, you are. You have a... Ooh, what were you? A Chisa Katana. There were definitely... What, we only downed, like, six people? Are you kidding me? Kill that dude. A guardless katana. And a chisa katana. Goddamn blood spiders everywhere, dude. Okay, we should... Get the damn teeth off them. So they stay dead. You guys, what the fuck? Do not sprint your ass in there and aggro everyone again. What is wrong with you people? What the fuck was that? Did you guys sprint in and aggro everyone again? Oh good. Now there's a giant spider. Okay, well, you gotta finish him off, and then we gotta fight the stupid giant doom spider. Oh my god. I like how he's attacking us while the fucking giga spider is killing everyone. There, giga spider down. Okay, loot it so it doesn't get back up. There we go. Take his katana as well. Fuck it, take his mini weapon so he doesn't even have that. Bartholomew, take his shit. Yeah, see, now they're getting up, but they don't have their weapons. Where are you guys getting these stupid weapons from? I took them all. No one's actually dying. 
dude? Where the fuck do these green ninjas keep coming from? I swear to God, I killed like 700 of them. Jackie's not even getting levels from this shit anymore. Which is weird, because they're actually pretty good fighters. Did they just yoink the spider? Why did... Why did they take a spider? Kick their ass! Why did he have a... L that dude had a really good long cleaver. You're stronger than this? Yeah, now you are. You got like a giga cleaver. Hold on. Take every weapon off these people, dude. They're gonna keep getting back up, so keep taking their shit off them. It's a fight of ultimate destiny. Where we, uh, honorably, continuously beat the fuck out of people. With honor. I need to make sure every single motherfucker on the ground is no weapon. I don't think that guy had a weapon, right? Yeah, I remember his stupid hair. Now what? Where did you even come from? Another one? Where the fuck do these green katanas come from? That guy just block like seven people all at the same time. Jackie, you gotta stop going down, buddy. You're like my hard carry. Millie, just go for this dude. Stab him in the dick. Good. Hold on, where did the dude you went down? You. Okay, he already has no weapons. I'm not bugging it, chat. We're winning. The green bitches will never return from this one. I just wish I could see easier. I'm pretty sure I have all their weapons off them. In only 20 minutes, new fire will recover. Yeah, I got all their weapons, chat. It's another guy! Wait, where did you get that? Where did you get that weapon? Okay, hold on. You put those here, then you give that to Jackie. Okay, no. You give this to Jackie, and then... You pick up his topper. There, now he doesn't have a weapon again. i seen Dune 2? No, I have not. Okay, we just need to wait for enough people to wake up. We uh, don't actually have enough people to get out of here yet. A lot of people in recovery comas. A lot of people waking up. Honestly, I would say this is a pretty good win.
easy. Bartholomew. That's right, you don't have an arm, Bartholomew. Okay, go pick him up. Okay, so there's one. Go pick Grigor up. There's two. You go pick green up. There's three. Okay, now who isn't moving? Shit. Everyone who can... Oh, dang it. That's not great. Okay, so the problem is... The problem is everyone who can carry stuff is already carrying stuff. Why oh, is green still down? Uh, Because his toughness was shit and he got his chest caved in. Okay, so now I gotta go back to sludge like this. The problem is that dog seems to level their stats crazy slow. So, like, they have really good base stats, but their scaling is abysmal. It's gonna take a while. Everyone knocked out is in a recovery coma. And we're carrying four people all in recovery coma. Yeah, we actually have to walk like this. This is our speed. To sludge! This is at five speed. This is at one speed. We uh, kind of got beat up a little bit. Just, just a smidgen. Oh my god, Jackie almost lost his leg. Okay, we need to get Jackie some leg armor. He can't be losing limbs. We don't have the money for this shit. We don't have the money for Millie's shit yet. We're poor, chat. We're poor. We don't have any money. Uh, well, we've got a fourth of the way there. So far, no deadly creatures. The music does not seem to agree with me. And... Yep. Chat, we're not drug dealers, but how do you do drug dealing again? We, we do, we do... Oh, what is this shit? Who are you? Ah, oh, it's green katanas. Okay, back off, back off. One speed it, one speed it. Fuck him up! Never should have come here. Wow, that was sad. Take his katana. Yeah, take that patchwork armor. Honestly, why have we not been doing that? And Hammond, take off these shoes. Hammond's ring? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, everyone, put down your bodies. We got this. It's a 5v10. An even fight. 
We even got new fire up. New fire's down. Okay. Green Katana is butchering new fire for meat. New fire is dead. They killed my dog! We only got to day 13. He was still a pup. Well, there's new fire. They are. Uh, they slaughtered it for meat. Yeah, I don't think we're getting out of here without at least one death at this point. Things kind of got foggy. Okay, you know what? Can we put meat back in him? We cannot. Can you not be dead? We also cannot. There's almost no chance that we get... Out of the fucking swamp without getting our shit canned. We, we've actually been extremely lucky so far with not getting a pack of blood spiders. We also haven't lost any limbs. We lost our dog, I'll admit. That sucks. But, uh... Huh. Oh, goddamn blood spider. Why did I not... Okay, I need to remember to get their goddamn meat out. You missed the dog. We'll get us a new fire. We'll, we'll get us a new new fire. Chat, we'll get us a new nude fire. It'll be better. Yeah, this is the problem, dude. The swamp, there's so many things in the swamp that kill you. Okay, we're going back. We've made it a third of the way there, chat. That's why I'm saying it's like there's there's nothing we can do. We're going to lose at least one character on the way back. Fortunately, it was the dog. We can get a new dog. We'll call it Neo New Fire. We will come back for the green katanas, I assure you. It's very hard to keep animals alive in this game. Lots of enemies will just immediately slaughter them if you get downed once. Again, that's why a lot of people use the Animals Grow Faster mod. Because, uh, as you might imagine, it kind of sucks. I'm on day 13. They take 30 days to grow. So, what's the mod? Does it work in UWE? Did I just get downed again? Jackie is out of leg. Are you kidding me? Here's a question. Why did that not knock him out? How much fucking toughness that he has that a dog ripped his leg off and he's just like, I'm fine. Okay. Jackie's getting back up, chat. 
We got two more to go. Come on, Jaggy. Take their leg out, Jackie. Jackie's down. Wait, they stole... Oh my god, that's what happened. They stole half our weapons back. Chat, we took those weapons from them, fair and square. And then they took them back from us. Those fucking bastards. Wait, they took... They took Green's crossbow! Okay, Jackie has finally been giga knocked out, chat. That, that was apparently it. He ain't got nothing more in him. Okay, let's continue the trip back. We're almost halfway there, chat. <laughs> Remember the guy who said, are you saving up enough meat for the entire campaign? Um, we're actually almost out of dried meat and we're going to have to start uh, cooking everything. God. So we went from needing one leg to two. And also, almost all the shit we were gonna sell got stolen from us. Even after we fairly stole it from them. So now we don't have enough money. Hmm. Did they steal our rotten meat? Who even does that? Jackie, give your bag to Yashua. We're just cooking all the meat we got, Chad. You know, we didn't even make it to the beak things. We were gonna beat up the beak things for money. We didn't even get that far. Is that all the meat we have? Oh no, we got some more meat. Okay, that's all the meat we have. Okay, we got enough food for the trip back now. We just walk into town like this, they're like, uh... We're like, you have no idea, dude. They're like, what happened? We're like, you have no idea, dude. You have no idea. You have no idea, man. Dude, Jackie is just not leveling his melee attack and defense. 
Wait. Five fingered man has more melee attack and defense than Jackie. How did that happen? Okay, who's not carrying someone? Green. Pick up Millie. Okay, we move at a semi-normal speed now. A bone cat? Okay. Can't believe Jackie lost his leg. I knew I should have gotten him leg armor. I even said it. Chad, in my defense, I killed so many green katanas, but then they ended up killing my dog. So who won this one? Them, I think, because they got my dog. What is this shit? Why are there so many red sabers out here? I was just here! Guys, help me! You're supposed to be the town guard! Do something! Okay. Well, the town guard beat him. Well, that's why you need lots of uh, medicine, eh? Hey, Jackie's up. Honestly, at this point, just give your backpack to Yeshua. Okay, these sell for at least a little bit. God damn it. I mean, the sabers from the red sabers at least sell for like 200. So like we can... Kinda sorta weasel our way back in it. Okay, now we head back into town again, 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 again. Take their shit. Oh, a foreign saber. It's shit. Well, actually, it's really light, but it's shit. Horse choppers are good because they, they only weigh four pounds. Yeah, it's funny. The 
This is, uh... This is, uh... A town that I'm not even sure will have enough money to buy our stuff. Well, let's see, they do have uh, two shops here, surely, between the two of them. We did it, chat. We only lost a couple limbs and a dog. Oh, no, they have 131,000. Yeah, that's pretty good. So what do I do? I buy hashish, and then what do I do? I just go sell it in another town? What is a she? Does everyone have decent weapons, at least? Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's just sell everything. I mean, everyone has a weapon. So we saw the United Cities. So wait, we run all the way from down here up to the Great Desert in the United Cities? Is that actually the play? Does that make a lot of money? Does that make enough money? I'm gonna need like 40,000, chat. I'm gonna need like 40,000 to replace all these body parts. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, who's got a good athletics? Somehow Yeshua does. Okay, this could work. Yeah, well, I tried to get to the, the beak things, and then I got destroyed. beak destroyed, some might even say. Okay, give all the meat to Five-Fingered Man. Because we... Oh boy. We're gonna need all the weight we can carry, okay. Flat Lagoon? Wait, which one's Flat Lagoon? Wait, is that in the south? I gotta go to the bathroom real quick.
I'm trying to find my phone. Where did I put my phone? Found it. Okay. <sighs> Isn't Flat Lagoon in the south, chat? I, mean, I guess we could sell drugs to United City. That does seem to be our thing. Okay, so Five Fingered Man has a bunch of food. Everyone just stand next to Five Fingered Man. Yeshua. He, I guess, is gonna make some, uh, Okay, so value, sell value, average price. Okay, we bought all the hashish. It does not stack. Let's buy more hashish. That's cocaine. Which is not hashish. Chat, we're not coke dealers, we're hashish dealers. Who does this game think I am? Oh no, wait, this is opium. Okay, well, let's, uh... Hmm. It's gonna be a while if we want to go to the United Cities. Well, screw it, let's run up there. We're just gonna giga level our stealth. Slave trader gear sucks. So the thing is most enemies in this game suck. That's a big thing. Most enemies have shitty gear. If you actually just outfit most of your troops in like plate armor, they should do fine. I'm just leveling stealth right now while running through. Because, uh... Let's go. Um, if we go to Squin, right below the border town, most of the time they have gear. I would recommend just doing plate armor with samurai leg pants, I think it is. It's like plate chest armor. Because it doesn't really debuff you. It covers everything, it reduces damage. From there on, you just put on a, uh, what is this? Yeah, just put on a chain shirt. Chain shirt and plate barely debuff you. Hackers are extremely good. If you're playing purely vanilla, katanas are extremely good. Did his leg just get hit by that coincidental attack? Are you kidding me? Wow. And, uh... Huh, that sucks. He just lost 20% of his speed from an attack from that stupid thing. Huh. Oh wait, let's not go through the deadlines, because I don't want Acid Rain to hit his leg any further. Generally speaking, about weapons that are low weight and do damage, which is generally what katanas do, which is why people just always go with katanas. Hey, 
It's nomads. Well, I do believe there's nomads. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's nomads there we can buy dogs from in the future. Flat Lagoon is east of Swamp. Well, I guess we could go check the prices there because we don't need to sprint across the entire map. That's ideal. If you go to the nomads, you can buy animals. Vanilla dogs are extremely good when you start the game because they just attack a lot for high damage. But they take like 30 days to grow, which, uh, boy oh boy, that was much longer than I think it was going to be. Thought it was going to be. Yeah, Flat Lagoon should be here. I think it's right here or here. Uh, Subtle Nomads are here. So it's not too far off the hub. The only problem is the uh, beak things sprint through there nonstop. What are you guys? Dust Bandits. Why are Dust Bandits this far out? Holy shit. What's in Venge? All oh, right, death laser. That's why you never go to Venge. What are we doing now? We're gonna sell drugs. Then we're gonna use those drugs to uh, buy prosthetics so that we can actually move our characters. Now two of our characters are lacking legs. Now I, I dealt with it when Millie. No, it's not legal to sell drugs. That's why you have to run really, 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 really fast. Attempted smuggling. Illegal goods, no. Wait a minute. How do I sell to these people? Uh... Huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, he doesn't mind it. I knew it would be the tavern over. Okay, that made a cool 12,000. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, so now we go to... Well, you know what? If we want... High-end prosthetics might be a bit beyond me. I don't think in vanilla you can take over AI bases. Okay, he does have good- well, not good, he has okay prosthetics because he's a tech hunter. Okay, so Jackie needs a right leg, a good one, and then we need a left leg, not a good one. Skeleton leg specialist. That's 13,000. Then a left leg. Skeleton leg high Going from high to specialist does not seem worth it to me Well, let's see we could also get Bartholomew an arm But I think he might enjoy not having an arm at this point Mm. If you if you wear slave trader gear, lots of people just sort of sprint into you. So Bartholomew needs a left arm.
Not having an arm fits his character. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it, it kind of works for him. I just wish I had a better leg. I don't need an amazing leg, but I kind of wanted a little bit of a better leg. Like a scout leg or something. Ah, screw it. Well, let's see. We also need a skeleton repair kit. How much are those again? Where are they? They should be here. Um, not everyone hates slave mongers. It's just a lot of the secondary factions will. So, like, not really any of the major factions do, but a lot of the secondaries will randomly hate you. Okay, where is the repair? There we go. Okay. Wait, that's the shitty one from the hive. Yeah, we need an actual skeleton repair kit. And then we need... Let's see. There are only two right legs here, and one's really expensive, and one's really shit. Damn it. Okay, well, let's just go to the skeleton leg right. And then we need the left leg. But we can't have the athletics being debuffed or it kind of ruins you. And then while we're here, screw it, let's get a thieves backpack. So we actually have more backpacks. Okay, now run back. Oh, I took all our money. Now we don't have we don't have any drug money, Runny. Damn. Oh, that's okay. We'll go, we'll go fight the big things now. No, actually, we need to kill. We need to kill the 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 dragons because they're evil and they killed my dog. I'll never forgive them for killing my dog. Seriously, I won't. I'm actually gonna go kill them. I'm gonna wipe them out. Chat, what do you think? Is that a good idea? Or do we just let, you know, bygones be bygones? You know, I killed like seven of their people. They killed my dog. We're good. You know what I mean? Can I do it? Yeah, dude. My dudes are trained as hell at this point. My dudes are like murder machines. Slaughtertrons. Destructobots. Should I get Wendy's, Taco Bell, or McDonald's, chat? Now, what's wrong with the burning forest again? Can someone remind me what's wrong with the burning forest? Is that just acid rain? Or is there something wrong with it? I remember I always avoid the burning forest, but sometimes I don't. No, it's not actually acid rain. So what's wrong with it? Well, I could get, I mean, if I go to Wendy's, I could get spicy chicken nuggets. If, you, if you're just concerned about spicy. But it's not actually burning. There's no acid rain. I can't believe we actually afforded the legs. I thought we were kind of fucked on legs. Not gonna lie. Like, once I saw two people were out of legs, I was like, ah, oh, god damn it. But we actually did pretty good. And we even got a backpack. Okay, so Jackie gets the good right leg, and Millie gets the acceptable left leg. Millie, you can walk! Jackie, you actually get a good limb, though.
Holy shit, we're actually good to go here, chat. Uh, let's see, Yeshua, give that backpack to Jackie, too. Oh my god, the thief's backpack is huge. Okay, so you want me to get money now? Millie, why are you still beat to shit? The hell? Weren't you sitting here healing the whole time? Okay, now we're good to go. Who had the food? Oh my god, wait, it wasn't in his backpack. There, oh, damn it. Okay, I see what was happening. No one was eating because I didn't actually put the food in his backpack. Now it's in his backpack. Now everyone can eat. Okay, chat, what do you think? Revenge or money first? Because, I mean, I think we can take the green katanas this time. I mean, last time we had a dog... And it was actually doing a lot of work. But this time, we're slightly more powerful. The tiniest bit more powerful. And with that 5% power edge... Remember, Chet, we work on DBZ logic here. If you're, like, 1% more powerful than someone, they can't do any damage to you anymore. Could you guys stay grouped? This is kind of the... Hide out. Where did we fight them last time? It was right here. Get revenge and steal their legs. But who's gonna eat it? You know what, chat? I'm gonna put it to a poll. Vote really quick. Okay. Which? McDonald's. Wendy's. Taco Bell. All three of them have deals right now. By the way, so all three of them are, are pretty efficient cost wise. Do we all have weapons? Some people don't have the best weapons, we do all have weapons. Seems all y'all are voting for Wendy's. Okay, Wendy's is a buy one, get one free on Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers. Where are you going? What the hell is this shit? Uh, chat. Why is there a fish man up here? That's a fish man. But why is it up here? Five guys is really good, really good. At being expensive as fuck. Seriously, Wendy's is way too expensive.
Dude, what are some of these prices? These prices are ridiculous. Honestly, like... Yeah, I'm like trying to mentally justify Wendy's. Like, how the fuck? Let me let me look here. I'll do Wendy's, but Jesus Christ. Wendy's is way too expensive. Okay, now we're on our revenge mission. So there's two tribes of fishmen in this mod. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies that are really weak, but just spam the fuck out of you. Which is why also, um, a lot of people like having more attack slots, up to five. Because some enemies literally cannot do damage to high-level characters anymore. How much? I mean... Depends. I paid for it, Deep, but it killed me. Explain attack slots. Attack slots are how many people can be doing an attack animation at once. Uh, if you do re-Kenshi, you can increase that. Some mods also increase it. In base game, it's one. Most people put it at three to five. The problem is, if you have too much melee defense, enemies will literally never be able to land attacks on you. Which means, like, fishmen, fogmen, cannibals, they actually just become useless once your character reaches, like, 60, 70 melee defense. Because they'll attack, you block, you attack, you hit, like, three people, they attack, you block. It's fine... For the game, because like most people won't, most people won't get to that point. But if you know what you're doing, you can kind of get to the point where like, yeah, some areas of the world that rely on heavily outnumbering the player just cannot hurt the player anymore. So some people play three, some people play five. There's also the giant starving bandit squads that are out east um and how many i mean i mean the fog people can be anywhere from like 10 to 20 to 40 people trying to attack you at once depending on how many squads that grow on you you can also adjust it manually with world population and stuff like that it's like i have 1.5 times world population with a 1.1 modifier in squad size Um, most people, I think, do, like, one-man squads, which is why they don't mind it if one person's unkillable. But a lot of people will actually... If, if you'll watch a lot of streamers and stuff like that... Well, I don't know if you want to get streamers, but, like... Most, like, YouTube videos, let's put it that way, are just, like, one- to three-man squads. And that's fun, and people enjoy it. The people who get into Kenshi and start playing it more and having bases and stuff will typically have like 10 to 20 man squads. With like full on bases, training up like armies and shit like that. Okay, where are these ninjas? A lot of these people don't have their weapons anymore. I yoinked them. It's about to take over town. Um, so that's why you get... So there's, uh, in base game... Okay. In base game, if you wipe out a town, 
there's scripted world states where like if a town dies another faction could take over in the base game it's fine but not really that reactive if you know what i mean i think there's a couple i think but not that many It's why a lot of people use reactive world. I think it's like... Yeah, of mods that actually impact the game, it is the most... downloaded and subscribed mod. With 420,000 subscribers. Granted, a lot of those don't play the game anymore, but it, it still maintains being enormously popular, because reactive world... Um, so, I could just read it. Uh, if you kill the Dust King, the Dust Bandit split into four different people. Um, if you kill the four leaders, Dust Bandits will stop spawning entirely. A lot of that is done so that, like, because the later and later in game you go, um, you don't really want Dust Bandits and shit raiding your cities and doing all that shit all the time. It can kind of suck. Uh, I mean, it's not exactly hard to deal with, but it just gets annoying. Um, the Fogmen can take over certain cities. I've never had that one actually happen. If you kidnap the Western Hive, they start trying to take over the world. Um, the hub can be rebuilt by the Shek Kingdom. I don't know how that works with UWE, though. There is UWE compatibility patch, but a lot of the reactive world stuff doesn't seem like it would affect UWE. UWE is a bit advanced. I, I wouldn't recommend that one. It's probably less fun overall, I think. Just because, like, selling weapons and armor being nerfed so hard means you have less money significantly. Um... The big one is Reactive World by default splits the cannibals into 17 tribes. So instead of there just being giga cannibals running around, they fight each other often, blah blah blah. It makes the region more lively and fun, rather than just like 70 fucking cannibals sprinting into you every time you try to go up there. A lesson learned for you. Never stray into the swamps. First off, half of you guys don't have weapons anymore because I took them. Second off, you guys are done. Jackie, Samurai Jackie's got a new leg. Hiya! Did he just got kicked in the stomach? Hiya! Hiya! Keep spamming the same move. There! There, keep spamming the same move. Keep spamming the same move. Keep spamming- Oh, you tried a different move and he dodged. Spam the same move. Green katanas are not hostile towards you. They killed my dog. Um, Kenshi doesn't do dual wielding or anything. Oh my god! There's so many of them. Are we winning? We're definitely not losing. Are we losing? I mean, there's a lot more green numbers than red, I think. Jackie's down. Oh, that's not good. Grieger, get up! Grieger, get on land! Grieger, why are you in the water, you dumb asshole? Get back in the water, Grieger! Oh god damn it, now there's a spider. Okay, everyone back out of the spider, because then it'll target them. There we go. Dad, the spider is tearing them to pieces. 
Guys, just get out of the spider. Get out of the fucking spider. Sprint away from the spider, goddammit. See, look, dude, the spider just took out like nine of them. Easy. So I told you, easy revenge, chat. I'm like the John Wick of this game. Probably want to bandage your chest so you don't uh, bleed out here. Satan, how we're just hitting all the ones with their legs damaged. Easy. He didn't even have his armor. Or his uh, weapon. Okay, now, uh... Oh, wow. I took so many of their weapons earlier. So many of them could only kung fu fight. Oh, my God. Wait, does that mean... Are you the bounty one? Yes. An exit from an anonymous account of the escalating sectarian violence engulfing the entire swamps. Hiver chain shirt. Oh my god, wait. He's a hiver. A high grade bandana. Yeah, but I can't really wear that, because then I'll look like a green katana. Wait, is green named green because he worked with the green katanas? Well, shit. Uh, let's see, he's got the Hiver Chain shirt. That's fine. Okay, the hivers are- the, the green katanas are coming back up for round two. But I think we got enough bandages. We just have to yoink all their weapons off them. If we just keep taking their weapons when they go down... We will slowly eke out this win. Wait, which one of you had the bounty? You did. Pick him up. Um, you first aid him. That's worth 10,000. Who is he wanted by? United Shitties, Czech Kingdom, Highlanders, Western Nobles. See, Chad, I told you, super easy. Just keep yoinking all them gear off them. Take every weapon off them so when they get back up. I think we got all their weapons off. Yeah, the guy we're carrying is wanted. He's got a bounty. Oh, fuck me. Krieger's gonna die in the water. Hamad, you don't have a med kit, you dumb bitch. Give some shit to Hamad. Hamad, go get Grieger.
Are we, are we healing Grieger? Oh my god, he's back in the water. Guys, can someone go get Grieger? Okay, put him down like where we're safe, yeah? There we go. Okay. Okay, guys, stop chasing a single dude all the way over there. We, we gotta, we gotta stay focused here. Stay focused. Okay, Jackie, continue to take all their weapons. I see a weapon on you. No, I don't want to see a weapon. There we go. Like, what about all these bodies in the water? Oh my god, there's so many weapons on these water bodies. I mean, they're all... gonna drown, right? My god, how many people fell in here? Is that all of them? Okay, I think we got them all. What did you say, chat, that we weren't gonna be able to do it? And then I did it. And I got a guardless katana for it. No, so I got the Mito Ninja Blade. Me too. Me too. Let's see, guardless katana. Hamlet is a razor cleaver. I'll be honest, I think shit. Hamlet, you can be upgraded to the Mito Blade Ninja Blade. What the fuck? Did the bowman come back and then sprint away again after missing a single attack? Now, a single arm dude uses a long cleaver, because it's very funny to me. It's very funny to me. Oh, god damn it. I accidentally put down the bounty dude. Okay, you lay down. Bartholomew, you gotta first aid the boss. Green Katanas are no longer hostile towards you. Did he just pick himself back up? He ran out of medkits. Oh my god, okay. Bartholomew, just take some more medkits, buddy. Okay, Jackie, I'm gonna need you to hold this dude then. Is everyone here? Everyone's here. Okay, Grigor. Yeah, sure, put Grigor down. Then you go down. Then you go here. Then Millie, you lay down. Then you lay down. Oh, 
Okay, is anyone actually like combat capable? Okay, apparently it's always you, Bartholomew. Apparently you will always Oh my god, they're all flooding in. Okay, we're gonna get back up. Except you, Millie, because apparently you just you're you're gonna lose your other leg. And green, you also stay down. You uh You're not doing so hot there, buddy. Where did they get all these weapons? Stubbs got captured. The fuck, Stubbs? Millie got captured. Millie, pick the lock, you fucking moron. Okay, well... Yeshua. Where are you at, Yeshua? Why are you all the way out there, buddy? Yeshua, start yoinking all these weapons off them. I don't know where they got, like, a fresh squad with weapons. Where did they get all these people? I've killed so many of these green katanas. Okay, that's got to be all of them. Everyone get back inside. Millie is apparently unable to pick her own lock. Okay, green is healing. Yeshua, you go heal. Grieger, you go heal. Bartholomew, you go here. Hamid, get up. He's in a recovery coma. Are you kidding me? You go heal then. You go heal. Jackie, apparently you gotta just man the shit. Yo, pick your lock. You're not skilled enough. Wait, are you serious? Then how do we get him out? Uh... Whoa, is this like a prisoner cage Mach 2? Uh, how do we get him out? Millie, just go practice lock picking. Yeah, Jet, the music is here so you don't sleep through the awesome stream. You wouldn't sleep through it, would you? Uh, okay. Uh, Stubbs Mamuso might actually be locked in there because we have no one who can unlock it. We don't have tools and no one is strong enough to just break it. So this is, uh... A bit awkward. Okay, everyone get up again. Is there an officer I can help? I don't even know. We did all that for a 
Okay. I'm hoping by power leveling Millie's lockpicking here. Because she's at an 8. Maybe you only need like a 10? Something like that, maybe? As long as she fails enough here, we could get her lockpicking up to a 10. And then maybe we can pick it. If not, uh, I think he just dies. Not gonna lie, I think he just dies. Oh boy. Um... Okay, we got enough skill. Okay, it was a, a 10 threshold. That's what I figured. I didn't think they'd put like a giga cage here. Millie's only useful talent, picking locks. Actually, Millie's leveled her attack and defense higher than some of my other characters, which is very confusing to me, considering she spent the first half of this run unconscious. So there's nothing in there, there's nothing in there. Let's see, severed arm, lots of severed arms. Really, this is your job. Let's see, we got a, this, a book? We got a book? Of course, Millie is the only one with a damaged leg. Um, hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That took a while. Oh, good. Thief's tools. Just in time. We haven't gotten a new character. We still need to get Dogfire back. I mean, the green katanas are dead, right? Residence max, dead. Actual number of residents, dead. Roaming current max desired, dead. Roaming population, four. Number of roaming squads, two. Apparently there's still a few of them left out there in the world. Is he just gonna sit there? Chad, it's you, he just sits there. I'm not skilled enough. 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 Oh, that's a lot of food. It seems like you, buddy. Dude, is everything here locked? Cigars. Sure, why not? Is that everything? I think we took... Well, I mean, there's still some lockers over here. Nothing in there. And that's it, then. And that is just a bunch of severed arms. Alright. Millie needs to go lay down so her other leg doesn't pop off. Not pop off in a good way, either. How do they lock a barrel? Padlock, maybe? Remains to be seen why we couldn't just, you know, <laughs> open it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Millie's entire leg heal. 
because, uh, you know. So this guy's not, he's just sleeping, but he's broken and he's just leaking coolant and slowly dying. Do you have anything left on you? No. Okay. Well, bye. Bye. Bye, green. Oh my God. Why? Why is it just eating every attack? Jesus Christ, she didn't want to die. You guys hear that? The, oh, that's the raptors. Yeah, let's not fuck with the raptors. Honestly, I could easily take their money. Okay, let's uh let's go back to sludge then. Whose leg got fucked up? Really? Not you, Millie? Now I could have sworn Millie's leg would be popping right off like an action figure. Kinda crazy that this game has an average of like 5k players. Well, when you make a game that treats the players with respect and lets you do anything and you can have fun and people enjoy playing it, you know. Make the music stop. I mean, I could get out of the swamp, but do you guys really not want that? It is sitting there minding your own business. Do 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 do. You're just sitting there. Ah. Honestly, chat. We we got a good trained party now. Lots of, uh, people. We just need to get some animals in here to really, uh... Chad, what's the mod called that lets dogs grow faster? Because I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I can wait 30 days for a dog to grow. I've been playing for five hours and it's day 17. And I spend most of it on five speed. I don't think 30 days... I, at first I thought, ah, it's fine. 30 days isn't that bad. And now I'm sitting here like, yeah, maybe 30 days is a bit long. Jackie's carrying the body, so he can't lay down. Wait, your dogs die of old age? Why would they even program that in? That seems unnecessary. Like, like who's sitting here like... I was sitting here like, damn. Dogs are fun and all, but I wish they were dying of old age in my video game. The game's already pretty sadistic, the dogs, with enemies literally butchering them for food. There was a video making the rounds on Twitter yesterday of a, a pit bull that broke into someone's house and ate its cat. It's like the creator of Kenshi watched that video and was like, cool. I did see the bridge crash, yeah.
Taylor, I vote you get arrested. I'm pretty sure Turkey is an extradition treaty. CIA is going to show up at your house and kick the shit out of you. Where is the shopkeep? There he is. Said sell the mead. The shopkeeper can't afford that. The shopkeeper ran out of money. How? Where is the shopkeeper in here? There you are. Sell the mead, corn on the cob. This is all good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Tools. What a useless feature tools are. Wakazashi! Eh, he doesn't have a better weapon. Honestly, I, I probably should have given one of those better weapons to... To stubs at this point. Everyone else is like good weapons and then stubs. Honestly, why didn't I look through those weapons before selling them? Some of them were actually pretty decent. Wait, I only have 11,000 after all that? Oh no. Uh. Stubs? There we go. Okay. Do we still have the body with us? Yes. And so let's do 10,000. Okay, now where do you sell to? There's the question. So let's see, he sells to United City, Czech Kingdom, Highlanders, Western Nobles. Northern Nobles, Western Nobles, Southern Nobles. Who the hell are the nobles? Oh boy. This is gonna be a while. Well, at least Jackie gets some strength training. Or not. Apparently he's strong enough to lift the body, pretty much. The blue cleavers are beating the red sabers. Okay, fair enough. It sounds stupid until you think about it, dude. In real life... A group would definitely call themselves like the red sabers are evil and we oppose them. What do you call yourself? The the blue sabers. <laughs> the, uh, so you oppose the red sabers? Yes. So you call yourselves the blue cleavers? Yes. Okay. No, I think the reason Kenshi is popular, in all honesty, is that it has a high learning curve, but it's also the sort of game that can just randomly fuck you, even if you're good at it, which makes it funny to play. Um, it's got a good viewing base, because it's just funny to watch. And I think, importantly, um, it just, it has a lot of... F it's like the dude who programmed the game did a better job than Bethesda at making a bunch of things in the game that oh god damn it yeah he aoe's really hard that's the thing about the beak thing is that they aoe so hard that like one person can block and then it'll aoe your entire squad away yoink 
Is everyone bandaged? Bethesda... Bethesda has an issue where they really fucking suck at making repeatable open-ended content. Even though that's all they want to do, even though they want to make content like that so bad, they really suck at it. I don't know a better way to put it. They keep trying to make games like that, and, and they did do a pretty good job at Fallout 4, I'll admit. Um, but I think the problem is they want campaigns to last like 50, they, they, they want a campaign in that game to last like a hundred hours and they don't want it to last like 30, 40. And the problem they keep running into is they don't make it replayable enough because they don't want you to miss any content. But then the problem becomes that it's not really even that fun to do. Because, like, you don't change the world. You don't change anything. You can't, like, you don't start a new run and kill the Bandit King. Or not kill the Bandit King or ally with the Bandit King or do whatever. Because, like, um, they want to make sure you don't miss anything. Okay, so we got the bounty. Um... Now let's go to the Settled Nomads. We're not going back out yet. I honestly think Bethesda's insistence on not letting you miss content is a problem. I think, if anything, Elden Ring has kind of come out ahead in proving that brute forcing handcrafted content is a way to go. If that makes sense to you. They keep trying to make procedural content, but Kenshi does procedural 20 times better, which is funny. That one dude working in a studio, not even knowing how to program, managed to make better procedural content than Bethesda, right? But the second problem, uh, and I think Elden Ring did this, brute forcing so much handcrafted content that Brute forcing handcrafted content ends up being superior. And it sounds lame, but that's just kind of how it works. If you just get 300 developers all developing content for a game, all adding content for the game, it'll end up being better. Now, one thing Bethesda has not done. That thing looks weird. That's got to be from a mod. One thing Bethesda has not scaled with is Bethesda doesn't actually have that many developers. Um, how many people worked on Skyrim? Wasn't it like 80? Like one of the biggest selling games of all time had like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to Google this. Number of Skyrim developers. A hundred. It was a hundred people. Compare that to any AAA game. I mean, let me let me look at this. Uh, let me look at Elden Ring just as one example. Three hundred. And I know people don't really understand that, but that means that they could have created Skyrim. Like like the amount of people developing on Elden Ring was three times as much as Skyrim. Skyrim had one third the developers of Elden Ring. A lot of people don't really keep that in perspective, you know what I mean? And you have to remember there's a lot of people that you only have one of. You've got, like, one dude doing music, maybe two, maybe three, right? You got one supreme executive, you've got one of all this stuff. So, like, when you, when you start looking at it from that perspective, that 100 people maybe only has 50 people producing content. Because, like, even if you look at Skyrim, um, people always say, oh, but there's only, like five people doing quest design, right? Well, yeah. And that's why Skyrim doesn't have the most, like, in-depth quests, because they had one dude doing quest design. I 
Okay, we're gonna go try to get to the subtle nomads now. Yeah, 250 people worked on Starfield. Where'd they all go, I wonder? Bioware doesn't exist anymore. And I don't say that to be mean. I mean, they literally don't exist anymore. All their developers have quit or moved on. I'm not even in the swamp! Kick the roots! Yeah, group point! Kick the roots! Oh, also, the other thing is that attack slots make these big battles. The reason they only use one attack slot is so big battles look better. Because then people match up better to each other. If there's only one attack slot, a character will move past a target and go for a different target in a big battle. So you'll notice, like, right now, by adding more attack slots, it's less clean. If you know what I mean? Because I'll have, like, three people attacking Jackie rather than, um... So what'll happen is only one person can be swinging at a time. But if you have, like, three people on someone, what can often happen is one person swings, he finishes, another guy swings, he finishes, another guy swings. Like, three people can loop indefinite attacks. So one attack slot works just fine for the majority of the game. If you're outnumbered, it's very hard to win. Three attack slots makes it nearly impossible to win when outnumbered unless you're just, like, freakishly higher on skill. So realistically, one attack slot works best. But you can see, like, you, you notice even with three attack slots, it does, like, the, the battles will split up and you'll get kind of cool-looking 1v1s throughout the fight. It also has a problem where if you have three attack slots, three people can start swinging at the same time. The majority... So... I can't remember if anyone if anyone played this game longer than me be sure to tell me I think in the beta there are originally more attack slots if three people are swinging at the same frame I'm pretty sure they all go for the same body part so one block will block all three attackers because the game was coded like you can see you can just increase the attack slots there is back end code that can very easily adjust the attack slot logic right like, there's, it's very much designed to have that, but it was put at one because it makes larger fights look better, and it makes it more capable for one character to be able to, like, play out a battle, if you know what I mean. Okay, these things sell for shit, but you do have band-aids. I think they're big spears. Yeah, they sell for 400. They're okay. They sell for shit, but... I mean, as you saw earlier, I actually almost ran out of first aid. So, it, it is a good idea to pick it up. Why am I taking these? Get out. It's like not even worth the effort. Who doesn't have band-aids on them? Okay, let's get two to green. You don't have any. This might seem tedious. Like, stuff like this seems tedious to some people. Like, managing all your medical supplies once you get to, like, 10, 20 party members. But... I kind of like it, especially because, like, this game rewards you very heavily for managing your stuff properly. I think that's a big thing. This game very much rewards you for, um... Did I drop that? No. This game very much rewards you for properly managing your medical supplies, for managing your armor, for keeping everyone up to date, blah, blah, blah. Is that a beak thing? Where's the dog? Uh, he got eaten. Yeah, do dog got eaten by the katanas, but I killed the katanas, chat. Don't don't worry. He was avenged. And if it makes you feel better, I uh We're getting another dog here. 
You're part of the nomads. Well, I don't want to piss off the nomads. So I'm not going to steal their shit. But... They're not going to rescue these dogs anyway. Might as well take their meat. Anyway. On to the step nomads. Okay, now where are you guys? Also, this game is like ludicrously easy to mod is a big deal Like it's it's just it's just ludicrously easy to mod Uh-huh mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Brown graveyard wolf Also, somehow, and I'm not sure how. Wait, do you want to be a cat? I think the bone cat is stronger than the dog. Black graveyard wolf. Oh, no, that one looks interesting. It's an adult. Well, let me think your bone dog. It's a pup. I, I really don't want to raise another pup. White graveyard wolf. Hmm. White Graveyard Wolf Male Teen. Okay, I think I buy that one. Chat, why would I get a goat? What do goats even do in this game? I don't have that much money. What do goats do? Okay, I'm gonna buy White Graveyard Wolf. We're gonna call this uh Better New Fire. No, we'll call it uh uh Dog Fire. <laughs> okay, yeah, this one's way better. Much better stats. It's melee attack and defense is like bizarrely low. Much better stats. Its toughness still sucks. It needs to level up. It'll be fine, though. It's got a good base amount of HP this time around. Newer fire. True. Why do you want a goat? What do goats do? Neo dog fire. Oh, wait. That's right. Um. Yes, he's got the graveyard wolves. Well, hold on. What are you? It's 2,000 gold for a scarf. I'm buying the scarf. Hey! He's got the scarf now. Now he's got a lot of inventory. What does it do? It, it, liter it literally doesn't do anything. Huh. Okay, now he's got a scarf. Chat, was this worth it? Okay, unfortunately I don't have money. Hold on, I'm gonna go get my food. But, uh, chat, why would I get a goat? I think the pack mules are good, but they also die too. The problem is once you start using animals... Yes, you can get a beast of burden, but the problem is you get a beast of burden early game, the NPCs fucking love to kill them. They... Like, the problem is, you're bringing an animal, a giant meat popsicle, around a bunch of people that are fighting to the death for food. The second they knock you out, they are killing your beast and gutting it. I'll be right back.
it's really hard to not lose. The uh, unfortunate side. The game very much levels you more based on the amount you get your ass kicked. So, yeah. Okay, so, we got Dogfire back. So, um, now what? Well, we're decently strong. <sighs> Unfortunately, this expanse is hard to cross. Well, the goal is to take down the United Cities. At some point, we'll need a base. Where do I put a base? How? You build a base, you work on an armor smithing character. You start forging high-tier armor and weapons. You get high-tier training dummies. You train 20 elite commandos. Jet, where is the best place to put a base? To attack the United Cities. Train a dozen Neo fires, outfit them in fashionable scarves, and send them in. True. How could they beat that? I think we go to the cannibal corpse. I think we go fight cannibals. I think we make a cannibal base. And we fight cannibals. Wait, what's going on out here? Hungry scavengers. That makes sense. Scavengers are trying to raid the nomads to take their land because they have all the animals to eat. Oh my God. How big was this scavenger raid?
I think the nomads actually would have been wiped out without me. Get him, dog fire. Damn it, dog fire. Is there a good base location in Darkfinger? Cause like these characters are pretty, pretty solid. It's like a pretty solid lineup. I think we could take down cannibals with these characters pretty easy. So we just sprint our way through Venge. We don't need to awkwardly run all the way back. Then we just go like that. Then we can train up crews on the cannibals. Mmm! Can you get building supplies silent? That's a big thing I forgot. If you don't have a town with building supplies, it's really annoying. What? That's oh, a baby scorpion. You can wipe people out. That's what a lot of the, um... That's what a lot of the mods about, like, uh, Reactive World do. Is that, like, if you wipe someone out... Um... If you wipe someone out, like, someone else takes their place a lot. So, like... You, you, you can, yeah, so it's like more, uh, like playtime, yeah, let's put it that way. Where is dog fire? Damn it, dog fire! Okay, well, we gotta space out for this fight. Everyone, space out. Don't get AoE'd. Space. Space. Generate distance! You're too bunched! Grigor went down like instantly.
No, nah, the big thing about beak things, later on they're not so bad. The big thing... Oh, whoa, these are iridescent, so these are the buffed ones. That's why they're hurting me. The problem with beak things is they have super high DPS, which can lock a single character up. So then, like, if you're trying to do a low character run, like one to three characters, they're pretty bad. Then they AoE, so they also hit multi-characters pretty hard as well. So they're kind of just, like, really good at everything. But... Oh, that's not good. Huh. Of course, these are the buffed ones, too. Um... I think we'd lose this. That's not good. Well, if you guys would space out and stop getting a weed. Damn it, dog fire. Are any of them close to dying? Hmm. Jack, you need to get back up. I mean, if it's 1v1, it's not so bad because they don't have good melee attack. But these ones do because they're iridescent, meaning they're buffed. From a mod. Why did I mod them to be even tougher? Who knows, chat. Oh, you're blocking the wrong way, you dumb bitch! Honestly, like, one more good stomach hit. Yes! Okay, we got one. Jackie, you need to get back up. Must finish fight. Get back up, Jackie! Samurai Jackie, get up! No, he went down with the AoE! Are you kidding me? They, they just attack really quickly, so like, they can actually just take total attack priority and overwhelm singular characters. It didn't happen this time, but it can happen if they just repeatedly attack. Are you kidding me? I think this might be the end for me. Damn it, don't get AoE, you dumb bitch. Oh god. This is a really big Oh, we got Dogfire back! Dogfire, run! I get back in there, Dogfire. Run away! Dogfire actually does really good damage. If I can get Dogfire attacking without them attacking Dogfire, he will chew this thing to pieces. Oh my god. Look at that damage. He does 50 a hit attacking over and over. Now maybe don't hit every single body part to low HP, Dogfire. Run, Dogfire! Okay, I have an idea. We just get Dogfire in the back. 
Look at that DPS. Darfar lost his legs. Darfar is going down. Darfar is down. Was it you? I think one of these guys we didn't take the meat from. Was it you? You. You blocked the wrong way, you dumb bitch. Yeshua, you got you gotta Yes! Okay. Oh, you get on the other side of him so you don't get earweed. Damn it! Oh, Yeshua, you dumb bastard! Oh, uh, yeah, see, he's gonna be permalocked now. Oh, no, he got a good hit in there. You blocked the wrong way! No! You stupid bitch! Millie, get in there! There is no way. One of you bitches needs to get back up. Oh, God damn it. Green's being eaten alive, but I think someone will get back up before he dies. I mean, his right leg's about to be eaten. Guys, save him! Get up! Stop it from eating green! He, he, he took a little bit. He took a little bit of his leg, chat. Fine. Saw some bandages on that, he'll be back. Can we not hit every single body part all at the same time? Seriously, guys? Come on, one more hit to the stomach. Why would you not block the right way? It only attacks from above! Uh, Hammond's dead. Jackie, bandage yourself. You're the most important one. Okay, we're bandaging. Wait. 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 Dogfire is actually gonna live. No, Millie ran out of bandages. No, Millie bandage him, you dumb bitch. Yeah, we only took one death. Honestly, I'm gonna call this a successful mission. Jack, you, you Jack ran out of med kits? Oh, that's not great. Probably want to bandage that leg before it pops off. Jackie, bandage yourself. Other people aren't as important. Ah, I just ate some herbivores over here and got bored of killing me. I mean, we did we did lose one of our people. Um, I'm gonna take these. 
Well, Millie, I guess I guess you're getting an upgrade. You get his Me Too blade. Was Hammond important? Not really. I mean, it sucks that he died, but you know what, chat? If we kill like 12 goddamn beak things, I, th I think one death is uh, acceptable. Hammond joined his wife. Oh shit, I forgot. He was a guy trying to avenge his dead wife. Well, I'm gonna be honest, Chad. I don't think I don't think he's avenging his dead wife anymore. Huh? I mean, I, was, I have no idea why I don't get sleeping bags. Um. Hmm. This is Smuggler's Run. Oh my god! Anyone, uh... Chad, the question remains. Are we just gonna leave Hamut out here in the desert? Probably. Oh my god, the pathfinding is so buggy. Did she get stuck? Okay. Why are there so many big things? Control shift F eleven. We've been spending all our life living in a big thing paradise.
Okay, uh, I guess just drop him and get to fighting. Millie, get out there! Oh my god, wait, there's gonna be another beak thing to fight, though. Jesus Christ, how many beak things are there? Oh, there we go. Okay, you gotta 1v1 that beak thing. Why are they all the beefed up beef things that I buffed from the mod? Okay, all people are fighting. Every active man is on beak thing fighting duty. You guys are starting to get a little bit close. I mean, we're only down one person so far. So, so everyone just has to, like, oh my god. Millie, don't let the legs pop off. Why? Dodge! Block! We have to get their meat, or they'll get back up. I mean, we, we got so much leather, dude. I mean, no one else seems to be dying. I think from this perspective, we're actually winning it. Grieger, block up! It's always up! Why would you block anything that isn't up? You dumb bitch. I like how they just have harpoon launchers just shooting them down. Okay, well, Mill Millie's gonna get back up. Okay. Everyone get back in the city. Dogfire got up. Run, Dogfire! Oh my god, there are so many. What is this part of the adventure? Where we run out to the desert and we get shit on? bandit here why is there a dust bandit raid in here how did they even get in here to raid it how did the dust bandits get in here
Why are swamp ruffians in here? Well, he got out the window and then he got shot. Okay, you need to lay down. Wait, Melee got on the harpoon gun. Wait, that's funny as shit. Dogfire, get to the town. Okay, Yashua, go get the five fingered man. Say so six fingered man. Okay. You got him, now bring him back here. Where did Dogfire go? Why is he just out in the distance? Jackie, you're up. You're up. You're up. Now get back in bed, buddy. You're totally fucked up. We gotta go save Bartholomew. Come on. Just a couple more big things to go through. Yeah, sure. Get away from the AOE. There we go. Jackie's inventory is full. Your inventory is full. Millie's inventory is full. We literally can't fit more. Wait, dog fire. Because he's got the scarf. So we can put shit in his inventory. <laughs> oh my god. He stacks leather like a champion. Any direction? I have no idea where the nest is. I'm just gonna leave the shit out of here the second I get out. Everyone... Pack all the leather onto dog fire. Okay. Pick up Bartholomew. Oh. We need Stubbs Mumoso. Only two more big things to go through. Can we just wait for them to pass? Get Stubbs. Okay. I think we did it. I think that's everyone. Oh, well, we got Grieger. There's so many big things. Oh my god, okay, so everyone's good. I thought me, where the fuck are you going? The bed is right there. So these people set up a trading post in the middle of Buckland, and, and I guess they just sit here shooting harpoons at beak things for their entire existence. Their entire existence is shooting beak things with harpoons. Is anyone not healed up? Because it, it, it might be a while before we get to healing again. I, I won't lie.
So, uh... You guys called yourself a trading post. Anyone, uh... Buy him a grog. Now beat it. Okay. Kind of thought we could get a replacement character, but evidently not. Um... Oh god, another... Hiver? The only one to hire here is another Hiver? Screw it. We want you to work for us. I tried to make a go of it all alone. He'll join for 2500. Chat, which one wants to be the shitty Hiver who's gonna get obliterated because he's a drone? Who, who wants to be the Hiver drone? You know what, Scragger, you can be the Hiver drone. Oh boy, we don't even have Hiver drone armor on us. Dogfire's right here. What the fuck, Dogfire? Why is he out here? Do they not have... I'm assuming their shopkeep has died long ago. I'm assuming the shopkeep is, is long dead at this point. I had an extra set of gear. And we have a guardless katana. He has a weapon that... Yeah, that, that that's gonna be a useless weapon. Okay, uh, just drop this. And take the... Guardless katana rama. Daddy is trying... A dust bandit is trying to eat dog fire. Dogfire just runs away like woo 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 Okay, you know what? Take it. Take it. You got him, buddy. Okay, well don't actually die. There you go. Right leg 51. If you actually micro, you can basically determine every single time an enemy will get an attack. And because dogs don't dodge, you just have to walk back each time. And you can get a perfect attack in. Because if you start an attack, it'll land. If they start an attack, you will not block it. Because you're a dog. Why is he sprinting back out? It's like a suicidal dog. Why are there dust bandits all the way out here? Okay, the gang's all here, chat. Oh, well, this was the easy part. Oh boy, now we have to fight an entire white eyebrow clan detachment, but that should be easy. Get him, Dogfire. Dogfire got punched out. Bartholomew continues to be the one-handed ninja. <laughs> what did he have? He had shoddy samurai armor. 
A chain shirt had uh, souls for shit though. Is any of their gear gonna be good? Oh, yes it is. Wait, a lot of this gear is good. A blue chain shirt. Does everyone have chain shirts? Well, except the Hiver, but the Hiver can't wear chain shirts. Hold on, we should check all their weapons. I forgot, White Eyebrow Clan sometimes has actually good weapons. Chain shirt blue. Another extreme high tier long cleaver. But all that stuff there. Okay, Yeshua. Yeshua. Why is this name Yeshua? Did I decide on that? You take another long cleaver. Samurai armor, colored, alternative. Well, let me think here. Dodge skill goes down, combat speed goes down, but we get... Let's think. It's probably worth it at this point, just because it's actual armor. That thing's useless. Short cleaver sells decently at least. Oh wait, he had a Hiver chain shirt. Oh wait, he had a backpack. Now Grigor has a backpack full of water jugs. Thematic, I suppose. I think that's everyone. Wait, was that a blue chain shirt or a white one? I can't remember. That was white. That was nothing. Did I get you? You have a long cleaver. What's your long cleaver? You're a model Katun 3. Model Keton 3. So we actually have pretty good high tier weapons right now. Again. So your Model Keton 3 as well? No, that's just a regular long cleaver. So toss that to Jackie. And then... Yeshua. Give a high tier... There, now Bartholomew is a high tier weapon again. Jet, we're doing good. We're back in it. Did he actually take down Bartholomew like 1v11? Okay. Okay, he took the arm and he's sprinting away again. And now he's being hunted. Again. God damn it, dogfire. Okay, well, he's just gonna die. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kick the shit out of this dude. White Eyebrow Pro Clan have good enough gear. Did he just do. Did Millie just do a spinning katana rama stab? The hell? Okay, fine. Millie, you can now have the samurai armor blue tier. And take that. And Yeshua. Take that. Is that a chain shirt? That is a blue chain shirt. Okay, where did Dogfire go this time? Why does he sprint so far away? Just eat the damn arm. And he's gone. Okay, could you just eat the arm? 
He's just, he's just frolicking in the meadow with an arm now. Did, did you eat it, buddy? Okay, he finally ate the arm. Is everyone good? Do, do we have enough food? We should have enough food. I mean, we got these... Let's go back in and check if the shopkeep is in here, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm assuming one of these people is the shopkeep. And I don't think there's gonna be a shopkeep in here anymore. Yeah, something tells me... Something tells me... The people here might not have uh, been doing good. Okay, so this was the easy part of the journey. Now we need to do the hard part. Does Venge still have the uh, killer robots? I suppose he's different in the mod, they might not. Ooh, laggy. Yep. Yep. It is super laggy. Holy crap. I think it's gotta be that thing. Okay, well, we just gotta sprint our way out of Venge. Let's take a save. And we're moving, and we're moving. Can you ever turn off the death lasers, or is that just, uh... This is, this is just your life. Yep, we're just we're just running, we're running. No death lasers. Now who are you people? You fine fellows. Ah, the death robots. Okay, so they are still here. Can't fight the death robots. See if you try to fight the death robots you get slowed down into the giga laser. Oh my god, I forgot about the land bats. Man, this game has so many more enemies than you'd think, even in vanilla. All made by one dude, by the way. All made by one dude. That's not even a mod. That, that's actually just in the game. Oh no. What if we just pull to the north? Maybe they won't notice me? Maybe they're running at me because they don't see me? Maybe, maybe they just actually really like me and... Okay. Okay, well we have to fight the killer robots then. Okay, do you guys have anything good? Decent grade horse choppers. Ruined samurai armor. Ruined samurai leg blade. Wait, they gave the thralls armor? That's just a dick move. Wait, they had a staff. What kind of staff do they have? Oh, the staff. Okay, so they still don't- they don't get the best weapons, but they can get some decent ones. Oh, he had a long cleaver. Yeah, but we don't want that. Not on him at any rate.
Sells for 200. I mean, even giving them ruined armor is still giving them armor. See, the problem isn't the thralls. The thralls aren't really that bad. The problem is you try to stop to fight the thralls, then you get hit by a death laser. And because the thralls are so tanky, because they're all robots. Granted, I have 11 people of pretty good stats, so it's not too bad. But it also means I could get hit by a death laser. And you really just don't want to stay in Venge, because it's just total RNG. It's, it's literally just total RNG. Whether or not it continues to shoot and hits me. No, it's going the other way now. I thought the Thrall Squad's got way bigger numbers than that. Oh, come on, beak things. Wait, there's a hive? How come beak things are always around hivers? What's the lore on that? Why, why do hivers always seem to be in an area where there's beak things? Okay, we're out. Black Dragon Ninjas. Yeah, you guys suck. They shouldn't fuck with me though. I got too big a squad. At this point, I think the only thing that could beat me... If I had to guess... It'd probably be the skin bots. Our squad's pretty high too. That's it's almost like I, I assault a city and just have to fight like 40 ninjas. I mean, do you want me to fight the Thrall Brothers? The Thrall Brothers are like a, uh... I don't really want to call it preview, a uh... Their whole thing is if like you follow the map based on like um... If you follow the map based on difficulty, you'll find the Thrall Brothers before you find, uh, what's his name? And you'll be like, that's weird. Thralls, what's that? Uh, no fire got eaten, but that's how we now have dog fire. He's better. Oh, sorry, we could do the Tengus Vault. Does that get you a follower? I think it does. I want to get more followers. Okay, let's get a sleeping bag finally, because, uh... Boy, it sucks being out in the wild, just being fucked over constantly. Okay, that leather was worth a lot of money. Hunting big things is very profitable. Dangerous, but profitable. Because their attacks do so much damage, they have a high tendency... Not like as a as like a like a fact of the matter, so to speak, right? Not like oh my god, this will definitely happen. But they have a pretty high chance of because they do so much damage per attack of just like hitting the same limb repeatedly just on chance and then just popping an arm off. It happens particularly on hivers because an unarmored hiver only needs like three hits to an arm and the arm pops off. And the mathematical difference between needing three attacks in a row and four attacks in a row on one limb is a lot. Is there no one to hire here? Normally I always go here to hire people. Scragger pop you off? Uh, no. Where is, uh...
<laughs> you know, chat, we're gonna perform a prison break. Why is he still in rags? Uh, because we ran through the desert. I suppose I could have given him the patchwork armor, but that was pretty low quality. Hmm. Well, actually, we could sell the rags. Now he's not in rags. He's got a Hiver chain shirt, mind you. He's not totally fucked. Okay, uh... Ah, huh. played a card game and won. Neat! Oh, right! For how do you do formation? How, how do you do that, Chad? Oh, shit. Yeah, there, there, there's a full base building with research tree in the game. That's how you do with books, by the way. You need to set up a base, you start doing research, and then you have to, um... Raid the super bases with the Giga Spiders to get uh, advanced research books. And also, when the game was new, no one knew where they were, so you had to follow like really cryptic directions from some in game items. Eventually, they all got mapped out, but. Follow formation military. Does that actually change anything? Where's Grieger? Um... Let's go into this shop. Oh, it's just a uh, way station building materials. I wouldn't want to build here, though. Advanced ancient science book. Ancient science books aren't supposed to spawn on stores, are they? Or are they? I can't remember. I think it's supposed to be like one every so often, maybe. Okay, chat, we're gonna go perform a jailbreak. I'm gonna be honest, I've never jailbroken Tengus Volt. Yeah, these guys, these guys spawn all over vaults, but this one is pretty shit. The big thing with Iron Spiders is they do 10 gadillion damage. Um, how do you add that to their job list? Oh god, I forgot this game does... So you tell everyone to follow him. Okay, yeah, I mean, technically, yes, you can... Technically, yes, you can outrun them and... Yeah, see, look at how much damage they do and how much AoE they do. If they fight, if you have to fight multiple of these guys, especially remember the base game's attack slot one. Only one guy's allowed to be attacking at a time. So they, uh... But they're very lucrative. Yeah, that's like 2,000 gold right there. Dogfire went down. Scragger also went down and lost a leg. Are you serious? We hired him like 20 feet back there. Oh, I don't want you. Okay, hold on.
Oh my god. Okay, um... Yeshua has way too much meat on him. We have a lot of meat to cook. I suppose we could sell some of this. Techie, get the fuck off the meat. Jackie the meat, he'll put the meat in. And then we have Yeshua pick up the cooked meat. Isn't there a thing you can do? No, apparently I can't automate him picking up the meat. How annoying. Um, I'm trying to think. I think there's a way to give him the ability to automate picking up the meat. But I can't remember it. Okay, we have five containers of meat. Oh, that's right, we can give all the meat to the dog for now. Oh my god, how much meat do I have to cook? Get off the fucking meat. Take the meat. Take the meat. Take the meat. Take the meat. And take the meat. And that should be all of it. Jackie, you're out of meat? Yes. Okay, so Yeshua, give all your meat to the dog. All the meat is cooked. Now we need Yeshua to be light because we need an arm for Scragger. Which we have the money to do. But that means we need to go into the Deadlands. And at this point we're rich enough that I can definitely just buy a good one. So like, let's see, what do we need? Bartholomew could use a left arm, Scragger could use a right leg. Is that it? Did anyone else get obliterated? No. And that's literally what I said. About the the spiders is what happens, yeah. Like uh Because they're doing like as you saw there, they were doing like 80 damage a hit. He hit twice and broke Scragger's leg off. That's why Hivers like the the thing about the Hivers, it doesn't feel like a lot going down like 25 limb strength. But the problem is that's like the difference between two hits and three hits or three hits and four hits that is a large difference so their limbs are notorious for just popping off they eat less food as like a balancer but yeah whereas the uh shek the spiky alien people 
They eat more, but in return they get more limb strength. Uh, it depends. If you're not that good at the game, especially when I was newer, I kept running into the issue where I, I made check parties and then I ate so much that I actually couldn't... Like, I kept... Not game overing, but I kept, like, game stagnating because, like, I couldn't, um, keep my people fed and I was just like, wait, what? The fuck is this thing? A crimper salvaged. Okay. Um. Oh, they redid this in this mod. Where is... There you are. Yeah, yeah. Basically, if you hire a hiver, you're basically... Like, resigning yourself that they're going to need, like, 40,000 gold down the hole. Okay, let's finally get Bartholomew an arm. Because he's actually, like, a really high-tier character at this point. So, let's think here. Uh, he needs a left arm. Now, there are some seriously good... I, I mean, I could go with a KLR. Left. 245 limb strength. Dexterity and strength. Now, that means he trains dexterity and strength 10% faster, right? Industrial lifter arm gives him 23% more strength. Or I could just go with a skeleton arm. I can't remember. Is it they train it slower or they have less? Is it a mod? It's something. Steady arm left. That one's really good. You put that on a crossbow user. I mean, yeah, you see that. Can you go above 100 via multiplier? This one seems pretty good. Only 170 limb strength, but you don't really need that much. 170 is totally fine. Only 18,000, and he gives a 25% dex modifier. Put that on Bartholomew? This is a good use of my money. Surely. As for Scragger, I'm sure he's gonna die, but having a good right leg that we can rip off his dead body is fine. KLR is just really... Okay, right leg. Stealth leg is always good. Scout leg I think is probably the best just because I get an athletics modifier. I think with this one it's about 75 per yes, about 75 athletics, you're full. But the only problem with that one is if your character ever goes above that amount, yeah, then then I think it doesn't do anything. But I mean you can just give it giga limb strength. But then the problem is I mean, arms are much better than legs, I think. That's just my opinion. Having good legs is not really that valuable. Good arms? Because they give you, like, unarmed damage and shit. So, like, if you do, like, a Kung Fu Master and you give him two industrial arms, he, like, punches holes out of people's chests. Stealth legs. Stealth legs are... Stealth and athletics. I mean, it's okay. KLR, that's just... KLR is... It's just not worth paying that much. I don't think... I just don't think it's worth paying that much. So what do you... We need a right leg. KLR series... Fucks his stealth and swimming. Swimming, okay, screwing over your swimming is like kind of shitty actually. Because it gets really annoying later in the game. If you ever need to do any swimming and you're like, all oh, right, yeah, that character fucking sucks. Okay, I, I think we go with a stout, a scout leg. Right scout leg. Scout leg right. 
That gives it an athletics giga bonus. Doesn't fuck over swimming. Totally okay. HP. Okay, um... We should find an inn and heal this guy so the acid rain doesn't destroy his leg. And then... <laughs> And then he's like just dying out in the open. Where is... I should get the uh, Grigori mod again. It adds an even bigger iron spider called the Grigori. These people add... Crimper salvaged, but I feel like that's not exactly I feel like this mod's trying to be like super loreful, but this one in particular feels janky to me That doesn't really feel like the world of Kenshi so to speak Okay, seriously, where is the inn? Do they not have an inn in the mod? No, there it is I was like, because the robots are weird, but they don't ex they don't actually hate humans. In fact, they're always like it's always funny because like you talk to them and they're like, "Oh shit, a human! It's been a while, and it's been like ten thousand years since you've seen them." And they're like, "Oh shit, I haven't seen a human in a bit." Um. Die, skeleton, attack. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Isn't there a unique named skeleton here? Does that mod remove it? I think the mod removes it. There's a unique skeleton here normally. Who's like... Hmm, maybe he's not in here. No, there's a unique named skeleton. And, uh... He's like, I've experienced everything in the world. And you're like... No, you haven't. He's like, all right, bet. And so he joins you and he keeps joking like, you know, you guys are going to die. And then like 500 years from now, I'm going to forget you ever existed. And you're like, ha. Ah. And he's like, no, I'm not joking. Seriously. Are you recruiting? Okay, we can find skeletons, but I think they removed the named one. This mod seems to remove a lot of the actual named characters, which is annoying. Hmm. That's fine, we don't need a skeleton. I feel like if it was constantly doing acid rain, the ground would be a bit rough to walk on. That's just me, though. He's like a depressed robot, and he's basically like, I think I'm gonna just kill myself. I've experienced everything there is in this world. And so he's just super depressed the whole time because he's just like you you like you do anything and he's like yeah I already did this. You like raid a lab, he's like yeah I already raided labs. You like fight fishmen, he's like oh yeah, fishmen. Yeah, I I did that too. Okay, so leg to scragger, arm to Bartholomew. Bartholomew finally gets an arm, chat. See, I told you. Now he's got a super high-tech arm. I just heard the robot. I shouldn't say the hype. There we go. We're back on track.
Are you Yeshua. Okay, do medicking and then follow. Shift follow. There we go. And now we have a military formation where apparently the dogs go in front. Got it. I'm noticing one problem with this, though. The back characters aren't going to keep up. Yeah, that doesn't actually work. I mean, it kind of works for keeping a formation, but... Uh... The merry bunch is on their way. Okay, if anyone sees that. Oh, that thing right there. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. I've never actually managed to beat this. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, here are the skimmers. That's what makes the desert such a really annoying place. They don't kill you, but once again, they're just another one of these enemies that do so much damage that especially the low tier players, they have a tendency to lock your entire party out where no one will stand up or pop off enough limbs because you'll end up fighting the skimmers enough that they pop off enough limbs that uh, you just get fucking destroyed. And if enough of your party is at low tier limbs, then you basically should... Like, you either need to start abandoning people with low tier limbs, or, like, you can't move, you can't run, etc, etc. Is this it? Yeah, no, this is definitely it. Okay, so how good are their samurai guard? They're pretty damn good. And how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have nine. And they're all better than my best character. I actually can't beat them. Shit. Because they're all geared up too with samurai armor. Hmm. Yeah, these are skeletons. Skeletons just sort of weirdly roam the land. Oh, they killed their security spider. Wait, the skeletons roam with an iron spider? I feel like that would, uh... Piss some people off. No, 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 no. Skimmers are easy, but I still don't want to do with them. Aren't there more skeletons, or sorry, more samurai in there as well? Now, what are you guys? Why is Holy Nation out here? This is literally outside their Giga Vault. The hell are you? Why are shrieking bandits out here? That is a considerable military patrol. Like, that thing's huge. What the fuck? Okay, chat, where can I go... Raid? I think I could definitely do a raid with this party. Why is there a leviathan up here? I need to do a slave raid to get some recruits. Do they AoE? Are they one of these weird enemies that AoEs? No, they're not. That's like their only weakness. Yeah, they shouldn't be too big an issue. I guess we could use them to power level because they have enough HP for us to hit the shit out of them. I mean, the whole point of this run is to beat the slavers. So... Maybe we can't... The fuck, buddy?
dude sprinted it. Okay, well, Scragger got fucked again. Okay, we probably need to get some better armor at some point. What's the chance if you buy a slave that they join your party again? I just buy a bunch of slaves and try to build up a party that way. I'm probably gonna need like 20 people if I want to start doing actual raids. What are you? What are you? What are you? Narcos Disciples. They're not that good. But they're not exactly weak. There's like slave camps and shit you can beat up. But they have actual guards. Let me think. Well, I was gonna go fight the cannibals. The Great Desert. Problem is, if I start doing base building. Man, if I start doing base building, it's it's real tough. Cause uh getting followers in this game can be annoying. God, I haven't done base building this game in probably two, three, four years. Who are you guys? Oh, you're just rebel farmers. Okay, let's go get some practice. Do you guys wanna... Do you guys wanna fight? Ooh! 3,000 gold bonding for United Cities. Well, honestly... There's a lot of people with bounties here. Oh my god, there's a lot of people with bounties here. Here's what I'm thinking, chat. I'm thinking maybe we do a little bit of bounties for the United City, then we take them down. Okay, they're kind of kicking our ass. Guys, seriously? Guys, fight back! Fight back! Okay, he's getting pretty good with the katana, though. Okay, can the rest of you guys- come on, guys. Take him down! Dogfire gets taken down instantly every time. Cause he doesn't dodge, cause he's a dog! Now you're the one with the big bounty.
Let's pick you up. Okay, you got a mini bounty on you. Why? Why? Let's pick you up. The chat pull gives something up. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, so we got we got we got a good win. Everyone, uh, good fair fight. You know, gave the rebel farmers a uh, a good run for their money. Uh, guess we ended up winning. You know, with pure skill and significantly superior equipment. Where are the other guys with bounties? Shit, why is he dying? There's, I thought there was one more guy with a bounty. Am I crazy? Well, there's been one more dude with a bounty. Am I wrong? I thought there were five. Did anyone have backpacks? Anything like that? No? Shit. Okay, let's make sure everyone... He's dying, so we actually have to turn this in quickly. Let's see what have you. Oh, we had rag plate. Oh wait, blue leather vest. Well, that does me no good. Hakama trousers blue. Oh, that's the least armor for that dude. A rattan hat? Give that to Scragger. Hey, they got a hat now. Hat man. Razor cleaver was decent. Sell that too. Okay. Now I have to sprint to a city. Well, not really so much sprinting, I guess, as we are walking there at a leisurely play pace, because, uh... New, new, new fire. The, the dog fire is fine. He hasn't been eaten once yet. Old new fire, yeah, you got eaten. New dog fire, much better. Do you guys really need to get let your legs get beat up every time? Like, come on. Of course it was... Ugh. Oh my god, of course Scragger got his leg destroyed. And f six fingered man get his legs destroyed. Like, like pilgrims? We're making a pilgrimage. Yeah, I know we said we're gonna destroy the United City, and we are. But also, I, I kinda want their money. So I can get some better armor. Actually, does everyone already have chain vests? That's why we're hard to take down. Everyone's got chain vests and shit. What do I call the bull? Backup new fire? For when new fire inevitably gets eaten by cannibals? Actually, wait, would cannibals even eat a dog? Chad, give me your opinion on that. Do cannibals eat dogs? Oh, it's man hunters. Wait, why are they red to me? I'm not a slave. 
I don't think I'm even hostile to the United Cities. I hope I'm not, because I'm going to go try to sell them a bounty. This would be real... I'm not. So why am I hostile to the Manhunters? Do they, oh, do they want my bounty? Would they kill me to take the bounty? <laughs> the, the cannibals would feed their cannibal dogs with new fire. You're like, wait, you can't eat me. You're cannibals. I'm a dog. A little dog cannibal comes out the back. You're like, ah, oh, fuck. volume no one complains about it whatsoever what the hell is this a dune renegade this is just what the desert sounds like okay it's a very realistic game why are the united cities hostile no 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 Yeah, why, why are the United Cities hostile? I came in with a bounty and everything. My disguises are all super low. They shouldn't possibly. Is it the White Eyebrow Clan? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Do I really need to drop all my expensive chainmail? Damn it! Okay, well, they're just gonna kick the shit out of me. If someone has a bounty on their head, you can freely attack them without any trouble from the police. Wait, is that true? Shit, I'm gonna have to drop all my expensive chain mail now, dude. Wait, that's gonna make me so squishy! Okay, everyone get in. We're gonna test everyone for disguises. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's a rebel farmer. Fuck's sake. He looked like a rebel farmer. any 
disguises anymore. Okay, we should be good. Yeah, these are the sounds of the desert. This is what the desert sounds like. Have you ever been in a desert before? Sorry, it was actually hurting my ears. Dude, it was literally blowing out my <laughs> ambience ruined. Chad's like, I don't even feel like I'm in a desert anymore. Okay, they're not red, so we should be good. My immersion. How do I even know I'm in a desert anymore? Yeah, check my stuff. I'm not using any contraband. 90% of the- isn't it like- isn't it like even if they check your gear, they only have like a 20% chance to check contraband? Because they're trying to simulate that the guards don't actually really give a fuck. Okay, are you the bounty officer? Yes, you are. Wait, don't we have one more? You. Yeshua. I mean, that was some good quick 6,000. You just hide it on the dog. I, th I think you literally can just put all the drugs on the dog. And the police don't even check. Okay, so we have 3,000. We need to go check an armor store. Unfortunately, everything here is slaves. I don't think there's any armor out here. It's a clothing store. Hey there, newcomer. Uh, ah. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Yeah, see, it's the problem, dude. You just go blind. You just go plate. You just go plate on every character. It's ridiculous. Makes the game a lot more boring once you realize that, like, 90% of situations just get polite. Not like that. It's like, it's like almost every single situation you're in, just use plate. I'm trying, I'm like deliberately trying to not use plate to make it more interesting. Hmm, so we have a leather shirt, so we don't need any chain plate. Well, let's sink here. We could get chain mail. Chain mail is basically giga under armor that lets you use other armor without too much of a penalty. 
We have chain shirts. Which give a little penalty, not as much, but give significantly... Yeah, it's a, it's a, well, can I pair green to green? No, because I only got the one. Do I have any green chain shirts to compare? No. Well, that's what I'm saying, you literally just go chain, you just go, um, you just go chain mail under, uh, black plate, and, like, 90% of the time, that's the best armor in the game. And it kind of gets boring, because, like, yeah, that, that's, that's literally just the best armor in the game. And, like, no mod maker makes better armor than that, because, like, they don't want to, like, power creep the game, but then it just ends up being... That, like, even with all the modded armor, even with everything, you just go plated, and it's just, it's just boring at a certain point. It's, like, boring. I'm bored of it. Okay, I, I should probably get better legs at some point so our legs stop getting, like, shit on. Samurai cloth pants are fine. So you have samurai cloth pants, but they are uniform slave traders. I'm going to try to avoid having that. I'm going to try to do at least blue samurai cloth pants. Uh, did they run out of good? No, they have high grade here. So let's uh, do that. And you guys are s hivers. Can hivers even wear? Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Padded. Wait, sneaky chain? I don't know what that means. Reinforced? What is it? Hivers need special chain shirts, but I got a high grade one from the green katanas that isn't counting. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to specifically not. Like, I'm going out of my way to not get plate jackets. Because last round, I. The thing is, once you get full plate jackets with chainmail, as you noticed the last time, your characters end up so much tankier than the AI. Because the balance in this game is a bit... Eh. So, like, once you reach that point, the game can actually start getting boring. Because, like, the enemies will hit you for, like, 7 damage, and you'll hit them back for 40. So, like, you get to the point where, like, as you saw, 9 dudes can run through basically all the content until late game without much of an issue. Chain mail. Should we get chain mail? It is green, but it's 17,000. Okay. Low key, this is why it's uh, if you ever want to play this game and you ever want like an easier run, go to Bosk and just sit around until you find a paladin and then just take chain mail off them. And then you can have green chain mail pretty early in the game. And then as you see, like, you, you might have noticed Jackie is, like, really hard for the opposing people to drop. Um, that's not entirely true, because, like, I'm using a strength mod, yes. But if you overload your characters, um, if you overload your characters, they, they strength train pretty goddamn fast. It's, like, annoying for the early game combat, but that's why what I do in the early game combat is I just... Use the lightest weapons I can find. Like, I never... You might have noticed, like, the high, heaviest weapon I used was 9. 
Every other character I loaded on with armor, but then I put the lightest weapons I could find on them so they didn't screw themselves. Um, yeah, but running around will drag up your strength really, really, really fast. All it really takes, if you're playing vanilla, all it really takes is you just pick up a body and you just sprint around for like 10 minutes until you have 30 strength. And then you're pretty much good to go. Holy sleeveless shirt. Why are you guys selling that? Okay, Nata Naginata. No. Do we have a good weapon? No, we just have a stolen comma. I might know. A flat topper. Oh, that's right. We have it a flat topper we got from the holy people a while ago. Um. Is that weapons? That's range. <laughs> Let's see. To be fair, green is supposed to be using range. He just hasn't been. Yeah, exactly, Kenneth. That, that's why I don't really even mind it, because strength training isn't hard. It literally comes down to just doing the same action. You, every single new character you get, you just you just pick up a body, load them up with stuff, and you just sprint them back and forth for 10 minutes. And it's fine, but it also doesn't exactly make for the most uh, compelling gameplay to watch. The only thing is this mod adds a stupid black pla black plate pants, which are just extraordinarily overpowered, and I refuse to use because what the fuck did they do? It's literally samurai chain cloth pants, except like 10 gabillion times better. I don't even know why they did that. Noble Nodachi. Flat topper. Iron club. Dude, I've tried to use iron club so many times. They just don't work. Their weight is outrageous compared to their damage. They would need to do like double the damage. Curved sword. Oh, I remember the desert saber. I remember the desert saber being really good. Why well, almost all swords of this game look like the Buster Sword? I could give you the answer, uh, cause they, it's cool. Cause, cause it's cool. That's the answer. Cause people look at it and they're like, dang, that's cool. The Desert Saber looks cool. It is a saber. It, uh, well, what's its weight? Nine? That's a pretty... not amazing. For nine pounds, it's low, but it looks like... It looks like they have specifically gone through and given it bonus damage against every single animal from every single mod. Which is kind of incredible when you think about it. Someone actually did that. I don't think any of these look that good. The weapons you pick up are just gonna be better. I'd rather spend my money on armor that doesn't give me jank disguises. I'm using armored rags? Don't I have mods with like 10 billion armor types? How do I not have anything better than armored rags? I like want to go to the holy city just so I can. You know what? That's it. Okay, whose leg is all fucked up? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. We're gonna get out of town and then we're gonna sleep. We need to go to the holy city. 
I was gonna go to fight the cannibals, but we need better looking armor, chat. We look like jackasses. Look at us. Wait, what are we... Why do you have a body on you? I just got in the habit of always pausing when I do stuff like that. If you don't have the comp patches, the restock ID won't include them. Um, well, the holy armor I don't think even has one yet. Because the Crusader's armor came out... One and a half weeks ago. So... What are you guys? United Heroes League. Why is a Heroes League attacking me? What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Is that the- I, they, they said the Crusader armor... Yeah, it's only craftable. Yeah, I did notice the Heroes League talked a bunch of racist shit right before attacking me. Wait, they got arrested for that. That's right, assholes. The people here aren't as racist as you. They're like twice as racist. Idiots. I don't want to pick up any more armor with disguises. Even though I'm fairly certain the Heroes League isn't actually hated by anyone. Dude, they attacked me and got arrested by the samurai. How do you even see out of that? Not the, what the fuck? There's no eye hole. Who's gonna... Okay. Let's see. You, go lay down. Feel your damn leg. And else is leg acting up. True, I forgot he will just, uh... Escape slave. Why can't I turn him in for money? That's one thing I don't understand. Why, why aren't you allowed to turn people in for money? Chat, is there still the thing where you can, like, beat the shit out of the rebel outlaws, get, like, ten people, take ten bodies, and sell all ten into slavery? Is that, like... Is that still possible? There we go, now we can move at a rapid pace. Okay, so the Crusader armor isn't actually available on vendors, it's only available to buy. Oh boy. Chat, I need, I need a mod that adds armor that I can buy so I don't do goddamn plated steel, or plated shit on every character. Because it's like the only armor you that's worth buying. It's like literally the only armor. Well, you do 800 cats times 10, because you have 10 people, though. Especially, like, if you loot a bunch of bodies after a battle. That's, like, a good way to make money early game. Granted, I mean, then you're a, quite literally a slaver, but, you know.
Yeah, the problem. Okay, so I'm looking at it. The problem is there's like 10 good trillion weapon mods, and that's why I have so many weapons. But there's like no goddamn armor mods. Ugh, but I don't want every single character wearing plated, dude. It just becomes like the problem is it, it just becomes way too strong. If plated was like five times the cost, I wouldn't mind it because then, but like it is so easy at 4,000 for blue quality. I could go buy five sets of plated armor right now and I would have five giga tanks. You know what I mean? Then why do I even use UWE? Why do I even use UWE if it has so many compatibility issues? The problem is the armor issue is actually like kind of a legitimate problem. It, it kind of legitimately sucks that all your characters are eventually just going to be using um, plated armor or you're going to move up to samurai armor at some point maybe. But you don't even need to move up the samurai armor. Plated is probably fine. I think that's why most people make everything craftable. I mean, should I just... Hmm. I could just start setting up a base, but it takes forever. You know what? We gotta go set up a base chat if we want to make armor worth a shit. I have recruitable prisoners and I have recruitable prisoners compatibility, so it should work. Holy Empire's not hostile to me. My god, their patrols are so big in this mod, dude. Dude, why are the holy patrols, like, a goddamn army? Empire peasants. How is that a peasant? These guys are worth 4,000 gold. No, 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 let's get, let's get our base going. But where do we build a base, chat? I think we need to build in an area. Now hold on, where where can we build a base? Oh, it's gonna be complicated. Because we need a base in the north, so eventually we can take down the United City. But the best area to put it is near the cannibals. But then we're gonna get shit on by the cannibals. Yeah, this area is a combat zone. I, I wasn't gonna settle there. I was gonna go on the coast or somewhere with some water. But we're also gonna have to get a lot of people. Base building is when you start having to, uh, go macro. Okay, so this mod is a hive here. Isn't that where people like settling bases? Because that's the city over there. Well, more of a town, really. Let me think. That should be a cannibal camp. Uh, 
I mean, we're in Canulon right now. Cannibal land. Yeah, see, that's what happens. Cannibal packs start getting big. And then you start getting slapped by two of them. But these guys are literally scrawny cannibals of the Skull Drinker clan. They're pretty shit. Okay, where do we want to build a base? Let me think. So there's water. All the water is in the north. Stone is everywhere. Iron and copper are over here. I can't remember. Does this... Oh, the cannibals got us. That's fine. We can easily take... These are scrawny shitters. Look at them, chat. Oh god, there's so many of them, though. I feel a lot more red numbers than I should. Okay, there's the green numbers. Come on, guys. Take down the cannibals. Easy win. Gregor got downed. Why is someone healing Jackie? Jackie, heal yourself, Jackass. Get it, Jackass, and... Okay, we're gonna need to make sure we have plenty of medical supplies, cause uh... Cannibals are not very strong. But, boy oh boy, do they raid you a lot. Like, a lot. Like, a lot. Like, it's like a constant cannibal barrage. And then eventually you start running out of medical supplies and you're like, Wait, what? Okay, fine, we'll bring back the music. There, music frequency will be turned all the way up. Okay, well while we're here then... Let's uh... Everyone here is dead, but there's 39 of them out roaming. Why is the sky red? There, it is now... I, I literally can't type 0. 0.5. It doesn't allow you. Um, what does the Eclipse event do? Does this, like, power up the cannibals? This game isn't really supernatural. Okay, I think this camp is dead. So I think we should be good. We can just build a base here. And then... We build the base here. But then the hive's too close and it kind of annoys me. I don't like the hives being that close. I like to live dangerously, chat. 
This is too close to safety. Plus, this area kind of lags. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it kind of lags. Why would there be a hive here? It doesn't even make any sense. It's literally Kenya Balon. Like, so this is the northern coast. Here's the Cannibal Plains. Well, what does Sinkun do? Because I know Darkfinger is just Cannibals Part 2, but what is Sinkun? Is that just Cannibals Part 3? What What's in here? What are you guys? Goat herders camp? Why are goat herders in the cannibal area? Okay, does anyone know what's in Sinkun? You know what? I'm going up here. Because now I'm just curious. Dark Finger is Cannibal Part 2. What is Sinkun? Yeah, we're in Sinkun. Like, it's an actual named area. There's a tower with cannibal goats. Now, did I hear that right? Cannibal goats. Oh, well, here are the cannibal hunters. How come they get to build a base on a hill? Why can't I build a base on a hill? Okay, well, is Sinkun just cannibals part three? But I haven't seen any cannibals. In fact, I haven't seen anything. There's nothing out here. Chad, there's no fogman over here. This isn't the fogman area. Why would the western hive be in the east? I'm just trying to make a base here. Oh, you can't get through there. Fort Yatoba. Uh. This isn't much of a fort. Did. Did they forget to add the fort? It's rebel farmers. Is there just nothing in Sinkun? I haven't seen any packs of anything. I haven't seen anything. There's just some rebel farmers chilling. Well, this area is 
boring. What, what are you? A single skimmer. One skimmer. Okay, there's an outpost up there. It's kind of a really big skimmer, though. You know, what are you? Dune Renegades. Where are the cannibals? Chat, that's what I was asking. Where, where's the goddamn cannibals? Where's anything? It's like the safest area on the entire map I've seen. Nothing happens up here. It's just rebel farmers. Is this where you're supposed to go if you play in the United Empire? You're just supposed to go up here and farm this area? Is this like a giga starting zone? Oh, it's the rebel farmer's base. Can I join the rebel farmers? Now I'm just curious. I've never been up here. So this is what you're supposed to do if you start in the United Cities. You're supposed to just go west over into Sinkun and fight the rebel farmers. Now I know, but I'm a little bit over leveled for this. These guys are not bad though. I mean, some of these people are quite powerful. And there's a lot of them in here. Can I go in here? Are they going to fuck with me? Oh, well, everything seems weirdly good. Is there a faction leader? Is there someone to talk to? Right? Dude, I've never been up here. I don't- can you join the rebel farmers? There's no one to talk to. Who are you guys? Swordsman Captain Greasepot. Here we go. You should be the leader. What is it? Have any work for me? Then hunt for a hunter. Check the wanted posters. Search the outlands or criminals in hiding. Then bring them to me for your reward. Okay, thanks for the info. Let's just say I have the money. You have my friend. On second thought. So this is their... Huh. Yeah, all the people... Are are they fighting me? Okay, yeah, this is just an early game zone. You fight like one skimmer at a time or some rebel farmers. This is not the high octane fuckfest that I expect out of the cannibal planes. That's it, chat. I'm going to the Cannibal Plains. If I'm not being surrounded and attacked by 50 cannibals at a time, then I don't want it. Yeah, that's the thing, dude. I don't know why anyone would side with the outlaw farmers or the uh, rebel outlaws, because, like... They just, like... They just... Attack you all the time. It's just ridiculous. Like there's no reason to ever side with them At least I know where the uh Wait Fort Simeon is hostile to me now What did I do? Biggest monster is the Leviathan The Leviathan's not actually that hard to beat
See, look. It's a Skull Drinker clan and the Meat Lord's Horde. And they're working together. Well, actually, they shouldn't be. This is why I didn't turn on the music, Chad. Yicha! Wincha cha 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 Hoitcha! Hoitcha! Wood block! Ta ta ta! Woodchi ta 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 ta! Oh, that was a cool attack. Okay, now sometimes the bigger cannibals will have bounties, but we're not fighting any bigger cannibals. Yeah, the Skull Drinker clan seems to have uh, bigger cannibals. The, sorry, the Meat Lord's Horde. The Skull Drinker clan seems to be small shitters. Oh, I know, Jet. Yeah, I, I know. I, I've played Max Population Cannibals. By the way, this is, uh... This is only 10% larger. Here's the Painted Tribe. This is on... This is literally only 1.1 squad size. These are the Cannibals, Chat. <laughs> Everyone, gather up. Oh, I see. They're going to war. Wait. Oh. Sometimes these big dudes have bounties. If there's anyone with bounties, we gotta get in here. Because their bounties are always like 11,000. Yeah, because it's the Painted Tribe is going to war with the Skull Drinker clan. I do not see any bounties. I mean, there's one with a 500. That's it. Yep, and see here, you can see this, the scrawny cannibals spilling through. The uh, painted tribe and the reliance on numbers seems to be overwhelming the Skull Jinker clan's greater quality. Um, from what I know of the lore, basically what happened is it's not really talked about more than that, but at one point, all the cities up here in the Cannibal Plains and all this area, all the northern cities just like one day, all just like woke up, got out of bed, and started eating humans. And that's why there's so many cannibals, is because like the entire, and this is before, this is like one of the events that caused the Giga Apocalypse that has been fucking this world, is that all the northern cities just emptied out into cannibal tribes. And so there's just a shitload of them. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure I can get through here. So let's just go around. You can actually go find the cities too. And then if you go and you look in the cities, you can get diaries and books that talk about like... Um, some of the villages one day were like... Huh, that's weird. Lot of people running at us. That's odd. Like here, let me see if I can find that. That one's called Village. Yeah, 
Yeah, so like here's here's a blind eye kin. Any bounties? No, just a small little 500 gold. And they're gonna be wanted. Shek, United, Holy Nations, Cannibal Hunters, yeah. Anyone in here? Maybe sometimes the bigger dudes. Oh, wait, there's a chest there. What do you think's in there? Yeah, you even have a start. Like a vanilla start option is to be a cannibal hunter. I'm gonna wipe this area out. Cause I wanna see what's in that chest. Uh oh. Okay, honestly we should space out a little bit better. Cause we put too many people in the middle and then we get AoE to hell. Scragger instantly got put into the fire. It was like three seconds and they captured him. Can, can someone... Can someone... Yes, cannibal hunters, you literally start... You literally start... In the middle of a uh, cannibal horde and you have to cheese it to outrun them like it's not actually doable unless you know how to cheese them that's what i'm saying this game very much often with a lot of different ways specifically expects you to cheese the game wait that was actually a decent enough weapon Yeah, most of our weapons suck, but that one was like, uh, actually not a bad one. I mean, you can get some mods that allow you to join the cannibal hunters, but no, in vanilla, they are, uh, very much intended and expected to be evil. Oh, actually, this Razor Cleaver is not bad. That's a uh, pretty decent hacker. Does anyone have terrible weapons? You do. Take that Razor Cleaver. It's only six kilograms, despite how big it is. Say like six pounds. Yeah, this is six pounds. Yeah, cannibals don't wear armor. In, in a lot of these mods, they'll give them armor, but then they make the armor coverage so terrible that it doesn't really matter. Because if cannibals wore armor, as you've been seeing, it would be a uh, a bit difficult. Especially like if you play at like higher squad sizes. You'd literally be like, yeah. I mean, again, no one knows. The, the, the diaries are literally, like... The diaries are literally people just sort of woke up one day and, like, everyone in the cities was sprinting out of the cities. And just killing people. That shit. Wait, Skeleton Cleaver? What is this thing? Armor pen 20, attack bonus 1, not too weighty, not too high damage, very low blood loss, but, but overall not a, uh, not a bad weapon.
That kind of looks like a decent enough weapon, and it is. Another decent enough razor cleaver. Kill the shit out of this dude. Uh, no, because in vanillas, the cannibals are united. Most mods make them different to try to make, like, they make them different clans to, like, make it interesting, because, like, a lot of the north, like, this entire section right here is cannibals, which isn't that big a deal in, like, game terms. Like, there's surely more than that in big things, right? It just, you know... When, when a large section of the north is cannibals, people get bored. So most mods, uh... No, everyone's good. Most mods, especially the, uh... The most popular mod, Reactive World, just splits them up right at game start. But, like, in vanilla, all the cannibals are united. We can get up and go lay down, buddy. But Scracker in bed. Who is here? There's one of these. You, you had a full med pack. Got caught stealing? What are you gonna do about it? We've been killing all you cannibals. Can someone put Scragger back in bed so we can heal? Jesus Christ, how many of these cannibals are there? Ugh. See, this is the problem with fighting cannibals. If you're not, like, high-tier characters that can kill very quickly, like... Yeah, like, you see how, like, we're doing, like, 50 damage a hit. We only need a couple of hits to drop them. If you don't have this high of stuff, like, oh my god. Well, a lot of times the Kenshi lore is just like... And then everyone became a cannibal. In effect, that's what it is, right? Like, you can... You can say it's more interesting than that, but like... Effectively, that's what it is. It's just, everyone became a cannibal. Haha. -ha. So... Yeah, I mean, you can make inferences because the game is... How did he get locked up again? Oh my god. Are we... Did we just fail 90% like seven times in a row? Can someone set him free? Where did all of Green's armor go? The fuck? Yeah, you, you, you see how I'm literally non-stop fighting cannibal swarms? Are we just hanging out with them at this point?
Fellas. Don't let them... Oh my god. Stop letting them take them captive. You go back to laying down. Heal up. I need a building for my beds. Well, I'm not trying to stay here. I'm just trying to, like, heal up. I, I was not expecting to have to hack off, like, 19 body parts to get these people to bleed to death. Look at how many people I had to kill! The fuck? Gets even funnier when you realize they killed half of their own people just trying to eat them. Okay, let, let's let's get out of here. Yeah, they're just gonna keep coming back. Or not, I mean, I can't really say. Worth noting is none of them tried to eat dog fire. Oh boy. Okay, so we go back and uh, let's see. We'll, we'll try to build a base here, clear out the cannibals, then we take down the United City. We, we got a little bit off track here, but I assure you, once we have enough gear, we take down the United City. Oh yeah, I mean, I tried to fight the United City. I looked at their dudes and I was like, I can't beat that. And then I gave up. We just, we just need a home base. Once we have a home base, we're good to go. Can't you take back the cannibal cities for the regular humans? Chat, do you want me to just go raid the United Cities right now? My weapons are shit and I don't even have enough people. Let me think, how many people could I recruit? That's a doctor. We can get Bug. Oh, wait, was Bug not the one you could recruit? Pissed, you're hiring. Why so secretive? Because if my brother finds out I'm leaving, he'll throw me to, to the cannibals. Sure, you can come with us. There, we got some on. And you. It's our slice of paradise. Sounds good to me. We need to spread our influence. Tell the story of the one great dead cat. What's that gonna do? Interesting. Ten thousand? Dude, I don't have 10,000 for that. I got one person, that's it? I thought you normally could recruit a lot of people here. I thought there were like three people you recruit here. What the fuck? Where'd they all go? And you wanted 10,000. Hmm. Okay, don't we have a special shirt for Soman? That we had a spare shirt. There we go. Shoman, put on this shirt. 
I learned from the old family business. Meguro Kiri, terrible. Topper, decent enough. Mm-hmm. So, uh, is anyone going to heal Dogfire? Oh, Dogfire is healed. Okay, I think I saw someone with a weapon I wanted, but I think they also just got arrested. That was you, Razor Cleaver. Okay, that's a perfectly fine weapon. No room for that item. Okay, well, who has the bag again? It's Yeshua. How do I keep forgetting that? Yeshua, take this. Then give the razor cleaver to Soman. Soman, you now have a weapon. Yeah, we can set up. I mean, okay, so let's say we set up to go kill the shit out of United Cities, right? The problem is. We need enough building supplies until we go infinite. And then we need water. As you might imagine, it's kind of hard to get water in the, quote, Great Desert. And then I'll be honest, the raids aren't really that fun because it's just, you're just going to be samurai over and over. This area of the world is like the least interesting raids. Down here, you can get skin bandits. You can still, for some reason, somehow get Holy Empire. I don't know how. I think they literally just sprint across the map because they fucking hate life. You can get fishmen, you can get all sorts of funny stuff. Up here, you just get raided by the United Cities over and over. It's like not really actually that exciting. Cannibalon isn't really that exciting either, to be fair, I guess, because all you're going to do is fight cannibals, but I think what most people do is they kill the cannibals and they just restart their run. I think that's why fighting Holy Empire is more fun, because they're just like way stronger. Surviving against the Holy Empire is actually like an ordeal. I could do Skinner's Roam. Do we have enough food in our backpacks? No. We have like no food. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's why we have no food. Because we, uh... We have all the food there. Um... Chad, if I want to take down the United Cities while also having an area that's actually interesting, where do I go? Yeah, the thing is, the cannibals don't really seem to have any tricks. Like, they can't pull up super cannibals. Whereas, like, the Holy Empire starts pulling up Giga Raids of Doom. I don't think the cannibals really have, like, a backup plan. Like, once their raids fail, all they do is they just keep raiding, you know?
Okay, Jet, where do I set up a base to take down the United Cities? The South Wetlands? Do you mean Flat Lagoon? Or do you mean Bone Fields? The swamps? That's like on the other end of the map. Below the swamp? How do you fight the United City from below the swamp? That is literally the opposite end of the map from me. I'll be honest, I really haven't been down here for a while. I remember I once tried to do... What did I try to do? I tried to do Gray Shelf. Let me tell you. Uh, that's pretty hard. Is there any Holy Empire down here? Okay, fine. Let's do... Hmm... I mean, this is probably the least played area I've done so far. <coughs> but I kind of need an area to actually take out the main United Cities area. I think that's a problem. I, I want to beat the main United Cities, not just their, like, offshoot, you know? Although I always find it weird that, like, the United Cities are, like, here, pretty blatantly, like, here, and then also weirdly down here in the hook. Never actually done Fishman Island. Oh, that's where I was. I remember, yeah, I was, I was in like this area. And it was funny. Hard. Funny. Pretty sure at this point I could easily crush the majority of the map. Been a bit indecisive. I mean, we need to we need to free the evil future with Samurai Jackie. But where does Samurai Jackie go? Well, let me think here. I I could do. I wanted to do a prison break. The Holy Order. They would just crush through the swamp. Dude, I swear to God, people have built bases in the Fogland and watched the Holy Order slaughter through the Fogland just to make them read the Bible. Vanilla Paladins are just so much better than everything else. It's funny. Hello, very fast player. Like, you'll, you'll literally watch, like, the Fogman get... You'll, you'll see it in the distance. You'll just see the Holy Order coming in Taking out hundreds of fogmen, banging on your gate. Read the fucking Bible! You're like, how the fuck did you do this? Okay, here's a question. You know what? Let's not focus on cannibals this time. We're staying focused on the United Cities. First, we need to do a prison break. So we need to do... Is there any water down here? I mean, skin sands. Surely there's something there, right? Yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna build a base. We just need to figure out- I, I need to defeat the United Cities, but I need a base. So I'm, I'm trying to- Trying to figure out where I put it, yeah? 
But I also need a, an area where I can actually get started. Or I could just not build a base and get my party by uh, raiding the shit out of people. But because of how this game goes... Crablands, that's uh, that's over here, right? Or is that down here? No, what's that? What are you? Oaken's Fist. Watchtower. It's just called Watchtower. Oh, that's a holy nation. Out of bounds. Leave it once. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Chat, we don't need labs. We just need to set up in the skim sands. Okay, we're gonna be skim sanders. I'm pretty sure the skim sands is a very hospitable place. You can hear it in the sound effects, right? Hospitable. My god, it's taking so long to load everything. Okay, is there uh is there any water? You think? Around here? Anyone uh Anyone see any water? Chad, did any of you guys see any water around here? There's probably water up here, right? I mean, there's definitely stone. There's good stone deposits. Not seeing much water, unfortunately. Yeah, I, uh... I don't see any water. Okay, chat, maybe, and hear me out on this one, maybe this is not the perfect area for a base. I'm contemplating Wait, does it still do that thing where the skimmers wait in the sand and then pop out in front of you? You set up a base here before? I mean, is there any water anywhere? Surely there has to be something, right? Huh. Well, whoever existed here is gone. This is Black Dragon Blood Raiders. Who are the Blood Raiders? Scorpion Village. You know, if Scorpion Village isn't just a bunch of scorpions for absolutely no reason, I'd be disappointed. Did 
think the Blood Raiders would attack me? Surely not. Holy shit, it's actually just a bunch of scorpions. With a village. Are this are they scorpion people? I gotta get closer. They're not actually hostile to me. Oh, they're actually pretty decently steaded too. Yes, they are. This has got to be from one of all the mods I added. I added uh, a couple mods. Okay, you know what, chat? I'm doing a jailbreak. That's it, chat. It's jailbreak time. It's time to stop being cowardly and start jailbreaking. It's time to jack to the... I'm trying to highlight my people, but it's so laggy. It's like not working. Okay, now my mouse isn't working at all. Um, huh. Okay, let's just click the move. There we go. I hate the skim sands. I don't think there's any reason to be in the skin, Sam's. Why would they have a hiver in the United Cities? They're all like decently statted too. We clearly didn't get enough practice against the cannibals. How do we get up there? Okay, it's time for jailbreak, chat. Okay, all you people... Hold. Wow, they, uh, they warn you, like, instantly. You can't even get close. How many samurai are in here? Oh, God, it's a lot. Can I do this? That is so many samurai. Back off, back off, lure them in. Lure them in. Now kick their ass! A good opening volley. Good attacks. Taking down the samurai. Easily dropping dozens of them. Chad, it's a jailbreak. We're jailbreaking. The Naginata. Take that. Crossbow bolt case. The Uchiganata. And oh god, all their stuff is high grade. Are you kidding me? Why would you even do that? Get in there, buddy. Get in there. Honestly, I got a good feeling about our odds. They're, they're dropping quicker than we are. Oh, he got him with the headshot. Okay, you blocked the wrong way, buddy. I think we're winning.
Okay, other than being shoved into their giant prison complex, I think we're winning. Okay, they might have enslaved literally everyone, but I think we got this. Okay, uh... If we could fight like three or four samurai at a time, maybe. Uh... But... There's like a lot of samurai. Am I finally fighting the UNC? Uh, you know, that's a funny way of describing it, really. Look, we're gonna do a prison break soon. Maybe later, though. For now, we're gonna go raid their slave centers. Yeah, that's why I came here. Oh my god, why is it so laggy right now? Oh, it's because I... Okay, I know what to do. Why do we... Jackie won. I need to restart my game. Why prison break? Because we get a unique character. Plus, you know, it's like thematic. You're doing like a prison break. You're, you're, you're thematic, chat. Don't you want to be thematic? Don't you guys like themes? Theme of getting my ass kicked? No, theme of kicking their ass. We're kicking their ass, chat. Might not look like it, but this is what kicking ass looks like. Okay, this is so much better. Yeah, it just occurred to me that I've been playing for like eight hours and I was memory leaking out the ass. Oh my god, you want the music again? Okay, you know what? Fine. Chat, fine, we'll have the music. But don't complain when it blows out your eardrum. We're gonna do a raid on the UC. We're gonna free a bunch of slaves and get some recruits. It's time, chat. It's time to destroy the United Bitches. Um... I'm trying to think, so that's a major city. Shouldn't there be slave farms? that aren't major cities, because that's Stout out there. That should be a major city out there. That's another city out there. Where is, uh... Oh, we have indeed Fisher D. Okay, well, let's get a good city first. You can abandon cities, right? Dude, where are their evil mining posts and shit? Everything's just empty desert. Don't they have like evil slave camps and shit? I mean, I don't remember specifically where they were, but I kind of figured I'd see them with my camera that zoomed out. I can see a city all the way out there in the distance. I can't see evil, evil slave camps. Where are the evil slave camps at? Why is this desert so big? It's like it's a great desert or something. Did 
That looks like an evil slave camp. Fort Mirage. That definitely looks like an evil slave camp. Oh my god, it's the Heroes League. Wait a minute. Wait, the Heroes League sucks. Fuck you guys. It just occurred to me. Heroes League sucks. Space out, space out. Come on guys, flank them, flank them. Get in there. I told you, Heroes League sucks. You guys are bitches. Okay, Millie just doing straight up gymnastics kung fu. Well, they're not doing very much good working for the UC. I'm taking their helmets, because what are they going to do about it? Does someone have stats? Oh, she kind of does. Did any of these people have a bounty? Oh no, it's the ultimate showdown. And we beat him in a pure 1v1. So uh, what did we get for beating the shit out of these people? <sighs> Their weapons were ass. Let's see, these helmets, tin can... Ooh. Jeez, tin cans aren't even bad. Yeshua just... Wait, he didn't have armor? No, he definitely had armor. Did it get stolen? Did someone steal his armor? I think they've got good gear on average. On average... Let's see, tin can colored, okay. What an Okren's bleeding tits. You're not Holy League, what are you talking about, buddy? Take that helmet. Ooh, a Mitau Razor Cleaver. That thing's crazy good. That's okay at any rate. I'm going to green. Yeah, I think they're called the the Hero League, like ironically. Someone. A masked helmet, blue quality. Okay. Okay. No, 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 come on. Wait, what is this helmet? A conscript can. I just look stupid. But here's mercenary armor. I don't care if I look like the Hero League. Because they're bitches. Uh, I got these conscript cans. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, we got nothing better. They're decent, I suppose. No, I, I'm not. I'm not breaking for anything less 
and blue quality helmets. Did I check everything out here? I also kind of need some armor. Conscript leather armor is fine. I think it's the same armor. No, the mercenary leather is actually better. Green, get out here. Put that on. Okay, now we need to find... Oh, a masked helmet. There we go. He can't wear that. Right. Millie. Is it this one? There we go. Wait, Millie doesn't have armor? I swear to God, am I putting armor on people? Is it like vanishing somewhere or something? Okay, there's another masked helmet. Okay, I think we have at least... Now where's Yeshua's armor? I swear to God, am I not armoring you people? Tin can colored. Okay, so everyone should have at least blue quality decent helmets, right? Is that blue? Damn it. He just, he just lays back down. Eh, never mind, he says. Okay, we, we got a decent weapon and we got good armor upgrades. Now the only problem... Now the only problem is the Holy League is gonna... Not the Holy League, the Heroes League. But the Hero League should be dead now, right? They're dead. They have no roaming patrols or anything. Wait, Millie was training lockpicking. Yes! She can do it! Why is the Holy Flame here? Wait, is the Heroes League secretly... evil? I mean, I know they're evil. They're literally slave catchers that call themselves the Holy League. Or sorry, the, the Heroes League. What was in here? Beautiful Tengu. And rather dull text written by a famous rebel, Lucan, who was forced to write praise about the Emperor during his time in Tengu's vault. Whether Luquin is still alive or not is... Unknown. Oh, this is food, blueprint, naginatas. Oh, that could be good. And then that's just food. That should be your territory, buddy. Is that really it? I kind of thought raiding these people was going to be a bit more uh, rewarding. Raw stone. Once again, they have locked the barrel, those bastards. Water jug, water jug, carrot stock, pale ale malt. It sells for 800. Is that it? That was a whole thing? Huh. Wait, an armor plate. Doesn't that sell for a lot? Yeah, 500.
Gringer, the fuck happened to your leg again, buddy? God, he's so fat. Okay, well, we destroyed Fort Mirage. Um, we have more than enough food for everybody. And, uh... Scragger lost an arm? When did that even happen? Dude, I swear, this is why I hate Hivers. It's basically like they, they're slightly cheaper to buy, and then you forget they're, act, they're actually going to be 20,000 more expensive because you have to keep buying parts for them. Is that the moon's reflection when the moon isn't moving? Holy shit, the sand ninjas. I haven't seen those guys this entire time. I thought they got removed or something. Okay, well, we destroyed the Heroes League. Now what? I cannot find any of these slave camps. What about you? Discovered Port North. Wait, this isn't even a slave camp. Oh no, wait, this is definitely a slave camp. I've got every United City city is a slave camp. Um... Where is the bartender? Bartender? Bartender. Hello? Bartender? Bartender. Let's get down to business. To defeat to do, do, the Huns. Just arranging, selling. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I know they're bounties. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do, chat. We need to get more troops. I'm looking to buy some slaves. So, what are the chances? Chat, what are the chances that slaves stick with you? Like, what are the odds? Like, is it more worth it to go for slaves? Or to go for the 3,000 hires? Because I could get a bunch of slaves. And then they stick around, right? Hold on. Well, they're all the cheap ones, chat. They're all a thousand gold. Okay, we're gonna buy slaves. We're gonna buy every slave. And let's see how many stay with us. Not you. Not you. Chat, I can't afford to have more hivers. <laughs> Chad, the hivers are already destroying me. Oh, God damn it. Uh, 
Um, well, the uh, the slaves are, are quickly getting durability training. Gretch died from blood loss. Okay, tri a couple of the slaves did not make it. They seem to have instantly died to a crab that was 10 feet outside. I am not sure why it was here. Uh, the rest of them have been knocked out. Axe is, uh, just straight dead. I know Axe is not dead. Bartholomew, pick up Axe. Oh, that's right, you can't. Okay, well, we got four new hires. We got Meow, Europe, Axe, and Penlo. Yeah, I did not expect to walk instantly out into a crab which destroys us. Wait, we can go back to Fort Mirage and gear them. I'm a genius! Okay, this is, this is a good squad now, Chad. We got a good sized squad here. Unlock their shackles. Does that work? You're free! Free to go! But also, you're now warriors. And also, you're unconscious. So, uh... You know, figure that out. Oh my god! They just respawn? Okay, put them down. Wee! Did did they all just respawn? No, they have no jobs assigned. Shit, this would have been great training for them. Yeah, uh, I'm not joking, Skarger, when I say hivers are such a goddamn burden. What do you mean I'm gonna lose now? I'm just killing the Heroes League again. I told you they were bitches. Their weapons are shit and their stats aren't that good. They call them- Chet, their stats are like slightly better than bandits. I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys know the lore, but, but the actual lore is that the Hero League- The Heroes League are literally a bunch of slave- Owners, or sorry, slave uh, catchers, who pretend, well I guess not pretend, they call themselves the Hero League because they heroically run down and pick up slaves. And, as you might imagine, it's not really that hard to do that. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to find what oh, Tachi. That's not too bad. Really, this is the best gear they got? Man, they are not making the Heroes League like they used to. Oh, that's the other thing. They have good gear, like they have decent armor for early game bandits, but they are effectively early game super bandits, you know? There we go. God 
God damn it. Yes, hivers are good for manual labor. That, that's that's unironically their thing. They are uh, not good at like anything. So, okay, so the actual in-game reasoning that they have to be bad, um, it's not really spoiling it to tell you that the in the left is the fog lands, and. Uh, So, if Hivers weren't shit, uh, the Foglands would be basically impossible. Now... There are... Um... Oh my god, there's just nothing here. Yeah, so, there are, what do you want to call it? Meow doesn't have a weapon, so give Meow that weapon. Did everyone else get at least a decent weapon? No, Europe didn't. Don't we have a backup? No, there we go. Do we have a... Yeah, what can we do with a backup? I, I want to make sure everyone's got at least blue quality helmets, because the uh, stat quality change is uh, pretty substantial. Yeah, how do you guys like it? You're being used to train slaves. Yeah, so basically, um, hive drones are just there as manual labor. They suck at everything else. Hive warriors in the base game. Don't hive warriors have like 200 limb health? They're like crazy strong. There are... So, like, the Foglands just spams drones at you, like, packs of 50 drones. So, if drones were tougher, it would break that. Now, of course, they could just make Foglands people different, but it's just kind of the game's, um... It's just kind of the game's silly balance. I'm gonna put it that way. These guys definitely had Hiver chain vests. Chad, did someone steal their hive chain vests? Okay, I know what I need to do then. We need to go to the northern hive village. We need to go to the northern hive village. We need to buy them hive chain vest. Well, I mean, what we could do... Why don't we... Yeah, we should just go take out the rebels. And then turn them in for bounty. We'll probably get something there, too. But yeah, um... I think hive soldiers in the base game are really good. But they don't scale that amazing. And I don't think you can spawn in as them. I think you can spawn in as a noble or a drone, but not a warrior. Um... Nobles are the better ones. I can't remember I, Nobles do something. I think they're like they're good at something. They're not they're not as shit as the drones. So the nobles have good limb health or not But hivers eat 75% food Shek eat 125% food So particularly like as you're setting up a base 
Can you only spawn as base hive? Is nobles a mod? Yeah, like I think... I think... Hivers are just kind of a meme. I don't know a better way to put it. Most mods... Like one of the first things they do is they start letting you play as the actual soldiers. Yeah, I thought... Now does Prince have noble limb health or reduced limb health? I think... Dogfire. Give more food to Yeshua. Discovered hive. Wait, there's just a hive right here in this mod? Oh, okay, we can get the chain... Someone stole the hiver chainmail. Prince has 80 on everything. Do the drones have... So the drones have 75 and the prince has... 80. I think... So doesn't the prince actually have a reason to exist, though? Because he he's really good at crossbows. They're kind of like the squishy crossbow users. I don't have anything to sell. Worthless flubby one. We don't serve your types around these parts. Go flubby one before it's too late. And stay out. Okay. Oh, they just all turned on us. Uh... Yeah, this is basically how it goes in the Foglands, too. Okay, I did not realize these people were, uh... Gonna attack the fuck out of us. Normally, I ignore what Hivers say because they lie about literally everything. Hivers don't like no hivers? Yeah, evidently. I think I could have taken like half that hive because they're pretty shit, but I don't think I could have taken literally all of them. I was just gonna try to buy some chain mail. I suppose I could send in my hivers to buy their own chain mail. Maybe we just go beat the shit out of cannibals for a little for a bit as like a like a training course, you know? But let's go beat the shit out of the rebels. There should be enough rebels out there for us to have uh who are you guys? Rebel farmers. Do you guys have any bounties? That's a 3,000. That's a 1,000. Is that it? There's a 1,500. It's not that much, but it's a little bit. Fuck you guys. Get them, boys! Now I got a regular ass brawl. Axe is down! We need to get chainmail for these people. I forgot how much damage reduction the chainmail is giving my people. The chainmail actually forms the majority of the damage reduction. The overshirt doesn't do that much. The dog is running for it! Kick its ass! Okay, my newbies are getting decent training from this, actually.
I don't suppose a dog can do medical aid to people. Is our dog eating people? What would Northern Hive Prince Roamer? Non hivers are not welcome here, though, sir. I'm not even close. I don't know. This flabby one looks a bit like a blood cannibal. Okay, well, you guys are assholes, first off. Second off, fuck you. Okay, we need to find the last one with the bounty. You. Wait, did he have... He did have a cybernetic on him. Let's just take that off real quick. He just, he just yoink his cybernetic right off his body. He's just like, why? He just rip his leg off. Wait, did anyone have of cybernetics? No, you just lost your leg. Yeah, it counts as a cybernetic, okay? Okay, I know I said I was gonna take down the United Cities, and thus far all I've done is buy shit from them, chat. But I assure you the takedown of the United Cities is upon us. We just kinda need to, uh... We need money. So we're, we're sort of taking down their, uh, rebels for now. What is wrong? Dude, could you fuck off? Yeah, we need to get these people leg armor, or they're just gonna- Yeah, cause like, you see these samurai pants? They block the legs from getting fucked over all the time. Yeah, the princes shoot crossbows. And I guess in the mod, princes have 90 limb health. Soldiers have 120. So soldiers are actually almost as good as Shek. So yeah, basically in the, the, the UC, UWE mod, Hivers get buffed pretty hard. Did they just attack me? Fuck off. What is this shit? We've got Hiver friends. Okay, well they took down Meow. Why is her name Meow? Why is a northern hive being an asshole? Well, hopefully they got chain mail. Do they have chain mail? They do not. I got a ranger. Ooh, a pretty sweet katana too. You guys don't have chainmail either? Oh, that land sells for a decent amount. So who is it? It's Green and Scragger. That groin plate only has 10%. There's a 10% chance to do anything. Northern Hive light plate armor, stomach and chest coverage, as well as a heavy pole arm that sells decently. Nothing really that good though.
We got like a whole ass pack here. And these assholes are attacking us. Spear sells decently. That also sells decently. Specialist grade northern hive masked helmet. Well, that actually is good. High grade northern hive light plate armor is also outrageously good. Oh, because he was the prince. Why are you attacking an entire, like, we're, we're like a platoon at this point. Oh my god. That was our bounty that was worth anything. I just noticed he was gone. Are we just gonna have to continuously fight the hive now? Okay, hold on. So green and Scragger. Scragger. Northern Hive Soldier Plate Armor. It's actually... Stomach, chest, and it blocks the head. No, I think this is better. Wait. Someone needs to pick up Meow. Is this everybody? Okay, we're all gear. Back to Shobatai again. The fuck is with those hivers? Okay, well, the new recruits are at least, like, combat capable. We might be able to actually brute force our way through the samurai now. If we get the new recruits chain armor, so they can, like, eat hits. I think that would be good. Axe, Europe, Meow, and Panlo. Panlo? That's really his name? Panlo? Normally there's, like, a shitload of cannibal, um... Bounties you can do, but evidently not. Normally if you start knocking out uh, cannibal villages Yeah, normally like if you knock out cannibal villages you can get a shitload of money to bastard. Oh Man, this is gonna be annoying. Okay, so wait, what's going on out here? A slave trader got his ass beat by dune renegade And over here... Oh wait, these slave traders all have backpacks. They're fighting sand ninjas. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go. I, want, I, I suddenly am interested in these slave raiders with the backpacks. There's our Kenji adventure is still going. I see backpacks and I think backpack. Oh, Sand Ninja wanted by United Cities, 6,000 gold. Are you carrying someone? Miley, you go get him. Is anyone gonna help? Oh wait, that's not me. Well, that's a slave trader. Oh, but oh my god, the slave traders have so many backpacks. Oh no, the slave traders, they attacked me. Those foul 
slave traders and their evil ways of conquest. Axe got up and instantly just got slammed in the chest. Okay, they're gonna need to get chain vests, dude. Ash is trading with you, Pinch. That's for the Dama. Chat, I, I'm, I'm. Oh my God, did he just triple shot me for zero, zero, zero? Dude, that's why these chain vests are crazy. So the chain mails. Three shot ranger and bolts. Three shot bolts. Hmm. Chad, you don't understand. What I'm doing is I'm trading with the UC, right? And they'll never see it coming. They'll never suspect it. And because they'll never suspect it, that's how we get them. What the, uh, what's going on over here? Okay, I'll be honest, I did not think there was this many slave traders around here. Okay, well this is gonna be a whole thing. So who doesn't have a backpack now? Backpack it. Green. Backpack them. God, every does every slave trader have a backpack? This is just very lucrative business right here. Scragger, fix your light. Get up here. Ah, oh, God. He's just going to be a complete cyberized warrior. I swear to God. Wait, wasn't that guy good? Do we just take down their boss like nothing? Okay. Where's Soman? Soman, get over here. Get this back back. Eh, 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 eh. Flayed Saber. Uh, no, the Razor Cleaver is just the best still. Samurai... Leg plates. Those are pretty good, though. You, go pick up Axe. Oh my god. Wait, he has a bounty too. Uh, no, let's not take out the Dune Renegades. Take that backpack and the healing. And I don't know. I, yeah, I guess I guess you can start shooting people. Take that backpack and the healing, and I guess the gun as well. Wait, leather shirt is better, and samurai cloth pants are better. Wait, go back to you then. Wait, did he have samurai cloth pants? He did. He didn't have a shirt though. Does everyone have a backpack? Okay, meow. It's time for you to get a backpack. And a longsword. And whatever those are. And some more cloth pants. And a shirt. Was that everybody? Holy shit, we just massacred this battalion. 
Who's holding axe? Stubs. Okay, so axe. Take the backpack. Take the gun. Unholy pads. They literally don't block shit. This is giga, giga ultra modded at this point. I would uh, not call this anywhere near unmodded. Ooh, summer cloth plants blue. Oh my god, who is Axe? Bring Axe here. Thank you, the Reaper 6656. Am I excited for Kenshi too? I mean, yeah, kind of, but it's also like, like, what's the right way to put it? It's like I'm excited for it, but it's also like, um, oh, what's the right way to put it? It's like, it's so far off, it's practically not even worth thinking about. Like, it's been at the point where people are saying like, oh man, it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming for like. How long now? I'm not trying to say give up all hope. It's just like, am I actively being excited for it? No, not really. Okay, I think almost everyone has cloth pants except green now. Wait, you're still using drifters love their pants. It's like everyone is excited for Kenshi too, but at the same time... I mean, mods, you, you can come back to Kenshi like every year and they'll generally be something to do, especially because like a lot of the mods update and, you know, you, you can kind of just enjoy yourself doing different things. So there'll be mods. Wait, did I get the dudes with the bounties? How much do I have? I have 1100 bounty. A 6,000 bounty. Okay, I did get the 6,000 bounty. 1,100 bounty. 1,100 bounty. That's axe. 6,000 bounty. Wait. Shit. We lost the other giga bounty. I have a lot of animation mods right now. I think Kenshi 2 is being made by more devs at this point. But yeah, it's not, it's not like I'm saying give up hope. Kenshi 2 will never happen. Grr. It's just like... If he announces it's a year away, I might start looking into it. But like, when did people start telling me, Oh man, it's in beta tests and stuff. Like, that was like three years ago. You know what I mean? It's like... Um, yeah. So, like, they swapped to the Unreal Engine five years ago. So, five years ago is, like, a decent amount of time. That means, like, reasonably you could expect some news for it in the next year. But you also need to remember, from what I understand... From what I understand, Kenshi spent a lot of time in early access, and despite it actually being really successful, and despite a lot of people liking it, um, he himself did not like it that it was in early access for so long, and people are getting different ideas on it. So he decided that he didn't want to do the early access at all. But you have to remember, um, Kenshi spent, what, like seven years in early access, plus original development time? So, like... If the dude doesn't want the game in early access and just wants to listen to like internal feedback. Like you might be looking at like a 2028. Personally though. Personally, I thought the early access was really good. And although some things got changed that overall, I think the thing is, something's got changed that people will argue and say whether or not it was good. Kitty, come here. Why do you do this every time? 
every single time she goes to her cat pole and she scratches it like she wasn't just meowing at me. And then she goes back to me like, oh, did you want me? No, kitty, you were the one meowing at me. <sighs> Why are you so prissy? You are such a stupid cat. Why are you like this? I mean, I'm looking at it in 2019. That's when they swapped to Unreal. So I started to port Kenshi over to the Unreal Engine as well. Kenshi 1. Which is something interesting, I guess. I don't know why they would have done it. But yes, for some reason they decided to swap... Kenshi won over to the Unreal Engine. And if they kept trying to do that for some dumbass reason, they might have locked themselves into like a multi year issue where they were trying to port it for years. And I'm not sure why they would try to port Kenshi won. I'm gonna be honest, breaking every single mod. And using like two years of time seems quite stupid to me. Like, I don't really know a better way to put it. I don't know a nicer way uh, to put it, you know? Okay, everyone with fucked up legs, get in the bed. I just need to get better leg armor so people's legs stop getting fucked up and delaying my trips. Oh, that's right, Scragger's out in arm. And Ole uses his iron club now. Don't we have something better than an iron club? Give him the stupid katana. Um... Oh my god, it's Scragger. He's the one. I didn't even notice his leg was all fucked up. He tried the Warhammer 2 mod for this. Why... The Warhammer 2 mod? What do you mean the Warhammer 2 mod? You mean like War Total War Warhammer 2 had a Kenshi mod? We need to wait for Scragger to heal, because his leg is just fucking our movement time. Oh, yeah, those mods aren't going to be good. Uh, I would probably never use a Warhammer mod for a non-Warhammer game, because... How do I put this delicately? Warhammer players are giant, whiny man-children who throw little baby rage fits when their favorite faction or race or whatever isn't overpowered as fuck. 
As a whole, I would say that's not true of the Warhammer community, but it's a bit weird to describe. It's basically like, if you're talking about Space Marines, people will readily admit, oh yeah, Space Marines would get destroyed by anything like Superman or Goku or any of that. They're just not that great in the grand scheme of things. Like, yes, they're superhuman. Yes, they could fight like 50 regular humans, but like, you know, they, they don't have hypersonic speed or anything so when they talk as a whole they'll be reasonable and be like yeah i mean it's more of a grounded sci-fi in reality like it might have some ridiculous aspects to it but it's not that absurd but then like you talk about like but what do you think about the world eaters and they'll be like oh the world eater he could be superman a world eater chaplain yeah he, he could he could he could punch out he's like i don't know a better way to put it oh boy It's the, uh, Heroes League. Why are you guys out here? Fuck you guys. Chat, I told you, Hero League is bitch made. Look at these bitches. Dropping like bitches. I mean, if you go to, like, the thing I would say about Warhammer... Dude, holy shit, they just dropped like flies. I was not expecting that to be that rough. I like how no one... Oh wait, why is the United Cities attacking me? Criminal, arrest them. I didn't do shit. What are they talking about? Chad, this is racial profiling. I had bounties. Alarm raised? I'M INNOCENT! Chad, what the fuck did I do? Yeah, I killed the Heroes League, but... The Heroes League is bitch made out of bitches! Everyone will kill the Heroes League. But they shouldn't... Uh, do they think I'm being disguised? Oh, I got the fucking Northern Hive? Are you kidding me? That's really good armor, though. I suppose I could sell it. God damn it. Dude, why are they jackasses? I just need armor. Can I explain it to them? Like, whoa, 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 I got this from killing the hive. I mean, are they that stupid, Chet? Think about it. I got a regular ass mob peasant here. Peasant army. Mob of freedom fighters. The freedom mob! If you will. I don't think I've ever had this many actual fighters before. I honestly, we were pretty close to beating those gate guards too. I just don't want to break with the UC quite yet. Because, like, the problem is, once I set up a city... Once I set up a city, I kind of need, um, the UC. Because, like, otherwise... Why, why is the UC fighting me now? Why is the alarm raised this time? Now, hold on here. Are they just mad that I'm wearing United Heroes League armor? Ah! 
Um... Huh. Okay, I, I think what's happening is they're allied to the Heroes Guild and they're mad that I'm wearing Heroes Guild armor. Which isn't great, because... Wait, but the hero- but wait, they're attacking the United Heroes Guild for attacking me, but then attacking me for wearing United Heroes Guild armor. Okay, let's just all back away. Oh my god, okay. So we can't wear the United Heroes Guild helmets. God damn it. You can't be Northern Hive. And that's United Heroes. Okay, so we have to take. We have to, so this green is just gonna be stripped. Oh my god, I'm gonna have no armor at the end of this. I replaced all my armor with United Heroes Guild armor. Shit, it's gonna be expensive as shit to redo all my armor. Damn it! Hey, I'm using UWE. Okay, uh... Boy, oh boy. Okay, I guess we're gonna sell all this armor and we're gonna put in these bounties Okay, no one's attacking us because we did it correctly I Can't beat the UC too many of my newer recruits are kind of shitty and now they're completely ungeared That's okay. We build a base we buy a shitload of books The UC is gonna tax the fuck out of us Ironically, the UC taxing you is not even close to as bad as the, uh... The UC taxing you is not even close to as bad as the Holy Knights. Okay, don't you guys have a officer? Is this not a police station? Wait, no, it's not. Where's the police station in this town? Does town not have a police station? No, that's gotta be a police station. It's got the whole police station thing. Why is the entire UC attacking us? Now what? I didn't do shit! Oh my god, two people were still... Okay. That's why I took my quick save. Did- didn't I check everything? I swear to god I checked everything and I- Okay. Let's just take all this shit off. There. No one has any Heroes League gear on.
Why? Hold on. Why are they randomly attacking me? What did I do? Take off the helmet. You guys aren't wearing any sh- What is our criminal? What What is our crime? United Cities. It's so man. So man must have stolen something and, and now they're just going to beat the shit out of her. There's not much I can do about it. Now, are they trying to go fight or something? What, what, what are they trying to do? They're on passive. What are they trying to go do? Oh, they're gonna go try to heal her. Okay, everybody get out. Go over here. Soman will just pay for her crimes. Okay, she'll just pay for her crimes. That's fine. It's 60 hours. In all honesty, it's not that big a deal. Okay, I need to take off this staying close order. Because it keeps fucking with my brain when they move slightly, and I'm like, what are they doing? What are they up to? Okay, yeah, no, that could be a few things done better. Okay, we got one bounty. Two bounty, three bounties. Okay, we got all the bounties. Let's take a save. I don't know what so man stole to be put in jail, but I'm just gonna eat the charges, chat, because there's no point in fighting that. And we can stay on the good side of the UC for a bit. Okay, so that's helmets. I oh, sorry, the city only sells helmets. It's the only city I've ever seen that literally only sells. Helmets. Specifically, only helmets. My favorite customer. I have never bought from you before in my life. The heavy scrap helm is better. But they don't seem to be doing any heavy scrap helms here. We could go for the Ronin Helm? No, let's just do Mast Helms. Ah, it's boring, but like... What are you gonna do? I'm kind of, uh... You know... I just kind of got shit on by the authorities anyway. I like how if I- I like how if I'm wearing the gear, they can tell exactly what's going on in a split second. They're like, that's stolen, isn't it? But like, if I sell them the, the gear, they're like, wait! Move along, sir. Okay, chat. We should probably just go mask Helm, right? It's like the best- I'd like to get these more paladin-looking helmets, because they're at least different and funny. But, uh, given the situation, I think maybe being a little bit of a min-maxer isn't the end of the world. Given I have a shitload of people to armor and not a very long period of time. 
And for Scragger, I will try to, uh, you can't wear that, you goddamn hiver. For Scragger, I'll try to build a base, but it's a bit rough, especially because the UC is going to scree at me. The green ones are too expensive. The standard grades are the uh, price point, I think. There we go. Now, we don't have armor on most of our people, but we do have, uh, we do have good helmets. So, man, you're staying in jail for a bit. Sorry. I ain't fighting that one out. You know, we are, we are fighting the charges. We're not disputing it. You know what I mean? Um... What we could do, well, there's a couple things we could do. Um, there's a couple things we could do. We could just try to make a base within a base and then just do research there while mining iron and stuff. I think there's some areas down south. That way we're not actually building our own base and we can do a little bit of mining and, and grinding. What's Soman's... So man, you have 51 athletics. So she could catch up with us. She could catch up with us if things are. We need to. We need to build our own gear at this point. I'm quickly realizing this mod desperately wants you to make your own gear. So let's go to hang. And we will start a mass industrialized movement. Go to Mongrel and farm Fogman. That's not a terrible idea. Realistically, that's not actually the worst idea. Honestly, it would also be funny because we get to kill Fogman. You know what? Fine. Why does everyone split up the second you give them an order? Like, I swear to God. Soman can catch up with us. She's quick enough. And I'm just going to have her sit in jail. Theft and assault. She only assaulted you because you beat the fuck out of her. That's attacked on charge. What's the difference between Fog Islands and Obedience again? Which one's gut? Isn't there an area down south? It's down south. I think it's in the bone fields. I think it's like right here. Isn't there an area that's got like a shitload of beak things to kill? And you can just sit a dude there because it's a, uh, it's a, uh, the tech hunter base. Right here. Isn't there an area where you can just sit a research lab and then you just farm to get books to shove into the research lab? Or I suppose you could do that in Fog Island too. Fog Island's probably fun. Plus, we'll get beep. Although, if I get beep, you guys are gonna want me to make him cyber beep, and then all my money will just go into cyber beep. What does obedience do differently from Fog Island, though? Do we have enough food? Yeah. We made so much food earlier. I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna turn up enemy squad sizes slightly to keep pace with the fact that I kinda built a bitch load of people here.
Right, what what is obedience? I, I'm saying like I don't remember. Oh fuck. Chad, they turned so many into a slate. This doesn't exactly feel fair. Oh my god, wait, they attack you for trying to pick your lock now? Oh. Didn't you just be able to just do that for free? What mod did that? That's just a dick move. Okay, Soman is now a permanent resident of the slavery establishment. I've literally never been attacked for trying to pick my lock before. Wait, that guy's got a 9,000 gold bounty. That guy's got 5,000. Chad, here's some armor right here. We're gonna have to go free Soman. We might have to rush our state, our plan for a base. We have pretty decent enough weapons. Cane sword. It's better than my shinobi blade. And what are you? A noble nodachi. Katen number two. That's pretty good. Shinobi G. Samurai cloth pads. Blue. Everyone's got at least blue, right? Not you. And then... Shinobi Hood. I do not pick on slavers. I, I heroically defeat them in the name of justice. And sometimes they die because of it. Which is, you know, acceptable. I think. Pants won't give you the disguise. If you only wear pants, it won't give you the disguise. Okay, pick her up. Which one of you is a bounty? You do. Wear those pants. Dark leather shirt. Get knocked down already. We chopped off her arm. Jesus. Well, that just seems unnecessary. Where are you? You. Get that dark leather shirt on. And then ninja blade. Shinobi blade. Get these boots on. And then... The guy we chopped the arm off of might be dying. Maybe, uh... Maybe someone should quick first aid here. No, they're fine. No, he's definitely dying. I I get the feeling he might not get back up from this one. Samurai cloth pants blue. Put these boots on as well. Take his weapons. Okay, we're gonna have to go back to Shobatai. Actually, Shobatai doesn't have armor. We'll go to Stoat. 
We will free Soman though, chat. I promise you, she will not live in slavery forever. Does she have a little slave collar on? Well, they're just mean. We didn't lose one. We didn't, we know exactly where they are. How could we have lost them? Um, yeah, if you have only pants, it doesn't count as a disguise. From what I can tell, helmets and chest count. Oh wait, these samurai cloth pants aren't even giving us a disguise. Oh, they don't even count. Sand ninjas don't count. Apparently, they're not a real faction. Which means that they probably just count as, uh... Advanced bandits. Which is weird, because I think all the other uh, ninja factions have, like, bases and actually count as a faction. I'm pretty sure Sand Ninjas are a faction, so that's kind of weird. They must not have properly, uh, tabulated their gear. Police station, there we go. Where's he at? There we go. Let her be and she'll be the reason for the future arc. Yeah, we don't have an arc. She just... She committed a crime. Okay, it wasn't my fault. A crime was committed. I didn't do it. She did the crime and now she's doing... The time. Okay, I feel like you guys, you're like, this is a huge setback. I can't believe you let this happen. Oh my god, you're a terrible player. Chad, it's just, it's one bit of slavery. Okay, these things happen. How much, uh, materials do I need to start a base? I'm keeping that noble... Nodachi. Yeah, but how much do I need to do to do a base and then like I don't have to constantly run back in here and rebuy shit? Let's put it let's put it from that perspective. Well, I mean at the very least until I go infinite, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm hearing you guys. I'm hearing you guys. No one's giving me a finite number here. We don't need steel bars, do we? Stones become building materials. I think we need iron plates as well. We'll, we'll just work with that for now. And then... We probably need to go to the coast so we can actually get water. Unless someone sees a better way. I don't- I don't think there's any other way to get water. I mean, we could go up here. Yeah, 
you think go to gut? Is gut gonna be a good base or is this gonna be a meme? We can go up to the UC for slaves, so we have people to man the base. Then we go and we should have, um, oh boy, there's way station over here as well, so we can get supplies there. I think this will work out. They should be, I mean, how close can I be to Sonora Stark before they decide to, uh, you know... Cause I'm gonna be honest, I've had I've had good teams get completely destroyed by Sonoris Dark. It uh it don't fuck around. You have to be right at the border? That's weird. I've been at uh I've been up here. Maybe they nerfed it, because I haven't built down there for probably four or five years. Since the last time I streamed this game a lot, which was a bit ago. Know what I mean? I mean, how far down south can we go? Stobes Gamble, I think that's a bad place. Uh, there's a popular blood mod. That, uh, I use. It's, like, popular. Um, I could look up the name later if you pester me enough. Okay, that's water, right? What if we go, like, right around there? Okay, we're gonna kill these Garu. Cause, uh, it occurs to me, if we're building a base, having a lot of food available is a very good idea. Well, I kind of want to go further south because it'll be more fun. Because you go too far, like, the, the problem is the, this coast doesn't really do anything. It's like, I feel like the east coast is the most boring area. Going down south is fun because you hit, you know, you got Fishman Island, you got Sonoris Dark, you got uh, Killbots of Doom. There's a lot of big things. Why am I going into Beak Thingville? Even if I'm strong enough, there's like no reason to go into Beak Thing City. Yeah, I've been here before. It's just death. Even if you're as good a squad as I am, like you just die. Like, 17 beak things sprint at you all the time, and you're just like, huh. Well, no, hold on. How many beak things eggs is that? That's a lot of beak thing eggs. I'm gonna be honest. There's not that many beak things guarding it, and there's a lot of beak thing eggs here. And we all have backpacks. And we do need armor. Oh my god. Green just walked up and one-shot that beak thing. I forget, does killing the beak things alert them or does taking the eggs alert them?
But dude, that's so many beak things. Like, holy shit. X, what are you doing? What are you possibly aggroed on? What is in that direction? Okay, give all this stuff to Dogfire, because he can stack leather like a champion. Give all the food to Dogfire, because he can stack food like a champion. Um, let's see, who else can carry that sword? Only you can. That's right, because we have all these building supplies we're supposed to be dealing with. Okay, um... How much do you sell for? 2100 each. Oh my fucking god, does he have to be up your ass to trade with him? That's a lot of money. Can he just pick up- no, he can't pick up them himself. What is this, like an elder beak thing? Elder boss beak thing? How did someone get attacked? That's odd. These things suck. Okay, I mean, Dogfire is, I mean, that's what, uh, 10,000 per stack of five, so it's 20,000, so... Honestly, we find one more... We find one more beak thing nest. And we're pretty much good. Yeah, we're gonna try to get a base. The only problem is this nest was kind of way easier than the other ones. You know, in retrospect, I don't think it's a good idea. How you doing, Soman? Why are you still getting your ass beat? Chad, they seem to uh, be beating the shit out of my uh, companion. There's some beds up here. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, Cumin. Dad, we, we'll, we'll save her. We just gotta make some money, buy some armor, set up a base, and we're good to go. Okay, who has the fucked up legs? All the original crew is fine. Which is what makes this so funny. Make waystation grids drays. Not sure how this- wait, did they just kick her out of the city? No, wait. Oh, they're taking to a slave camp now. It just keeps getting worse for her, Chad. Just don't- don't think about it, okay? She's fine. She went to a farm in the sky. Okay, everything's fine. Discovered market. I wonder if it's a market. Wait, are these? No, these are just scavengers. Take them down! It was good training for the newbies. So look at that dex training, chat. Scragger went down again. It was, uh, three seconds in the fight and he just got his ass whooped. What's the plan after the base? Well, at some point we should probably free Soman. She is still being dragged away. I feel like this is exactly where she was before, which is very confusing to me. Okay, now we're at market. There, it's a slave market. You know, I'm gonna be honest. It had not occurred to me that this was a slave trader city. Makes sense. In retrospect. Makes sense. Dog fires. Sell the furs. Sell the eggs. Uh, uh, uh. Wow, I... The eggs sell for half here. Fuck. I did not realize that. Why do the furs sell for nothing here? Nothing sells for anything here. Fuck this area. I just sold everything. I should have like 70,000 right now. Why are we walking? Who destroyed your leg? Okay, go just carry him. Um, okay. Can you join the squad? Yeah, if we get someone. We need... I'm thinking we put a base, like, right here. That seems like the ideal position. 
Where do you think would be a fun area to put a base? I mean, realistically... The fog near Mongrel? I think... Going for the south wetlands is probably the best. Realistically speaking. For fun value. But also, we're trying to destroy the UC. Can you actually ever destroy the fog? You know what? We'll, we'll check what's out around here. Okay, the Manhunters tried to enslave us. Kind of a dick move, really. Not a single mod has enabled you to end the fog, huh? Dude, how did one dude who designed a game make a game engine? And I'm not saying it's the greatest game engine, but it's not actually shit. And does exactly what you want it to do, which is really weird to me. Well, let's see, if we go about here... That puts us close... Enough to the swamp that we can make infinite trade runs back and forth. Where are we now? We're in Venge, but like, not in Venge. He didn't make the engine? Well, then why would he possibly use this engine? Okay, okay, this area looks promising. Large, flat expanse, water. Shit, is there already a base here? Discovered ruined town. I mean, I think it speaks well. I think it speaks well that people already tried to put a town here. Well, everyone's invisible. That's not usual. We're gonna go ahead and load our own save to, uh, hopefully. There we go. See, I know how these games work. And... It's kind of weird that there's just nothing in here. Not a single item. Nothing. There's just nothing in here? That's creepy. And what are you? Oh, it's just land bats. There's a lot of them. Are they herbivores? Black Gorillo. Okay, that thing's really tough. Maybe we should stay away from that thing. Alarm. Okay.
Oh, the water is made out of acid. Oh, I see, because the acid volcano is right there. Hmm, chat, I don't know if I want to settle near the acid volcano. Like, I, I could probably handle the, the land bat packs. That's not a big deal. The black gorillas? Yeah, they, they'd be a pain, but we could definitely fight that. Oh, yep, see, there's a black gorilla. Why are the bats attacking? Oh, for the love of God. Right when we have to fight the black gorilla? Well, we lost most people to the goddamn black gorilla before we got to do anything. Oh, they give shit for loot. Okay, I, I, I suspect I know where this one's going. down land bats give shit loot wonderful there's a lot of them if they gave too much lead they would probably break the game I mean no one lost any limbs we're fine Yeah, this area sucks. We can get Tin Fist, but... Hmm. Free settlement. Doesn't sound very free to me. Okay, the newbies got absolutely caved in. They are not prepared for this sort of combat at all. Europe actually is learning really fast. Everyone else... Hey, Panto too. Europe and Panto are doing fine. Meow and Axe are just... Not very competent. How do you donate? Uh, well, you could join as a member. Or you could, uh, do a super chat, I suppose. Or you do Streamlabs. That works too. Okay, uh, well, fuck. Scragger is out for the foreseeable future. As is Meow. As is he. As is he. As is he. As is he. Oh, well, we got everybody. Uh, let's head back north. Acid rain, acid lake, acid volcano land with giant black doom gorillas. Honestly, could do better. 7 out of 10. Yeah, I know it's acid water, guys. Just, just bear through it. It's only a little bit of acid. These are goats. Yeah, I think we go back north. Maybe we settle... Maybe we settle in the unwanted zone. Maybe it's unwanted because it's so good. You know what I mean? Like, it's like no one else wanted it. 
because they, they thought it was too easy. How could a ship wash up here? Like, this, this is pretty far inland. You know what I mean? On the coast, sure. Over here, I'm not so sure. Um... Oh, great. We technically count as in Venge. We have good water. Iron is everywhere. No copper anywhere. Well, we have okay water, is what I should say. We do need copper, though, or else we kind of get hard fucked. Okay, I guess we go back to the north, and... Well, okay, we can't be in Venge. So, the unwanted zone? That seems like a pretty good zone. I mean, Summon's life seems to be going perfectly. Oh good, it's the Southern Hive. Oh, I forgot about the Southern Hive. Fun people, the Southern Hive. Well, unfortunately, we don't have much of a choice. Oh good, is it called the unwanted zone? Because it's got more fucking beak things in it? Dude, how are the beak things everywhere? Think about it. You'd, you'd think they would have a natural habitat or something. You don't think they would literally just spawn everywhere. There's iron and copper there, and decent enough water. Is this our base, chat? You know, I, I got a bad feeling about that position. I don't know what it is, but something's screaming to me and saying, yeah, may maybe, maybe not there. Maybe not there. Oh good, the alarm is raised. They're gonna beat the fuck out of Soman again. Hey, I think it's Jamar. More Kenshi th streams? Well, in D D D D D D D. That is my plan. Bads! Bads! On land! Some sort of land bat, if you will. What was that, like, anime ass death right there? Okay, okay, let's wipe out the bats. Come on, guys. What are they doing, like, little anime spins for? Okay, Jackie. Oh, boy. Okay. We need the beds. That's on you, Jackie. You got the beds. Guys, get off the bed so I can see them. Ah, why did I only get three beds? Should have gone for four. Four made more sense. I never get around the beds.
Oh, God damn it, Bartholomew. You're out a leg now? Where did your leg go? Second question. Why are you not passed out? Is there, is there like a thing? I think it's Jake the Jamar Slicey. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, can I like it? Am I allowed to like that? I can heart it. Hey, I hearted it. Okay, so you're pretty much fine. Jamar. Okay, Bartholomew. Oh, shit. I should have kept that spare prosthetic. Scragger's out an arm again. No, your donate went through. I saw it. I mean, I assume. I mean, because I did see it. Okay, there's not much left for Bartholomew. He he's not really gonna get better. This was a terrible decision to come this far south, but actually was it here's what I'm thinking, what if we go east? But east is kinda boring, because all you get is crab people. But if I go too far south, that's also not great either. Well, let's see. Skrager's got his arm and a leg. He's got one arm, one leg. That's, that's, that's all he's got left, though. Okay, anyone who's, like, healed up enough, go here. Well, you're never gonna be healed up enough. Should've gotten more beds. Oh, that's right. We got a dude on the ground. Okay, we're gonna have to spend all our money getting new prosthetics again. Okay, okay. Let me think here. Let me think here. Let me think here. Honestly, Flat Lagoon's always fun. Um, we do the Bone Fields next to Fishman Island. You know, what? let's do the Wetlands. Then we can raid UC in the south. Is that thing sprinting across the entire map to get to us? Holy shit. Where did this thing come from? Land dusk bat? It's a land bat, but only at night. During day it flies. Um, can I... Can I just get its leather real quick before it bounces everywhere? Yeah, fine chat. We'll we'll do the South Wetlands. And we'll take down UC with miraculously high technology. But also we were supposed to go back north. We were supposed to be north to uh A do the you know the the prison break and then b uh so man is kind of still getting her ass kicked she she in fact do we just consider so man dead at this point like they're they're literally just beating the shit out of her okay you guys swam in that i i did i did not say to swim in that that was all on you guys i like how millie sees everyone else swimming in an acid and she's like 
Yeah, sure, fuck it. If you guys are doing it, let's get in that acid. Woo, acid! Discovered outpost. Oh, God, is there more land vats? Okay, fine. Just take them out. Easy win. Bats can't defeat me. I'm invincible. They seem to be beating us. Honestly, I think we win this. Maybe not. Axes died from blood loss. Okay, maybe... Maybe we shouldn't fuck... Scragger is now dead. Green is now dead. Axe has been eaten alive. Okay, you know what? I have a better idea. Like, I'd be fine with like one death, maybe two, three, sure. Four deaths and one of them eating alive. Yeah, I, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe we don't go to Land Bat Fuck Island after taking an acid bath wash. I didn't let Scragger die. He sprinted in and got himself killed. see what kitty's up to she's doing something she's up to. She's batting at something. It runs away if I go over there. And then she goes into hiding. But she's like, she's like really bad at hiding. She's like really comically bad at hiding. Her response to me staring right at her, like her response to me staring right at her is she kind of ducks a little bit more. Like I'm staring dead at her. She's staring back at me. So she does this. She goes. And still watches me staring at her. Like, like. I'm going to duck my head just a little bit more. Now you can't see me. And I'm staring right at her. And she's staring right back at me. And I'm just like, are you serious? And she's like. Yes, you. Are you gonna go in the scratching post and you're gonna... I, I don't understand. Are you just stupid? Kitty. She does this every time. How does she do this every time? Every single time she meows at me, meows at me, meows at me. Then goes to the cat bowl. What are we loading? What is it possibly loading that we're at permapause? Oh good, all my characters went invisible again. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? Chat, I think the grand search for my base will uh, take a small break for now. I think we'll continue this tomorrow. 
We we can't we're kind of getting our ass kicked by uh, land bats, bats of the land, if you want to call them that. Any. Tomorrow we get our prosthetics, we build a base, and we beat up the United Cities. This time for real. I have no idea what I did for the last eleven hours. Does anyone know? Anyway, see ya, Jet. Have a great rest of your day.